My bad, I woke up late. Well, that ain't good. Ah. Hmm. Why is that? Huh. You are right, I did not test anything. Hmm. Please take a look at some real quick. I didn't plug the wires into the back, Kermodo did. Put it into the out slot on the capture card, not the in. To be fair, he doesn't know, dude, he doesn't need dual PCs. Said he doesn't like dual PCs. I mean, I like I like dual PCs. I think dual PC is the only way to fucking stream, if I'm being honest. Single PC is kind of a fucking headache. Okay, let me make a scene. Video game game capture. Game capture. Is the AV1 stuff coming soon? Who knows? <laughs> All I want is to be able to stream in 1440p. That's all I want. That's all I desire in life. That's all I want. I don't know. Streaming on one PC ain't bad. Streaming on one PC is pretty easy, actually. Dual PC, it's like you gotta fucking have your split audio. It's like I gotta open up voice meter potato. I've been thinking about maybe going back to a single PC, but... I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Robinks, thanks for the 33 months. Cody, thanks for the five months. Haunted, thanks for the two years. Clarence, thanks for the 49 months. I just want to be able to do 1080p, 60 FPS on a single PC. What type of graphics card do you got? I feel like that's easy to do. I feel like I was doing that on my 1080 Ti. Like sec six fucking years ago. My 2080 Ti was crushing it. Chad, is a 6900 XT dog shit? What is that? 
What is that chat? What is a 6900 XT? Mookie, thanks for the 23 months. I mean, I streamed on a single PC for... Why did I just feel like I sounded like a hillbilly for a second? I used to stream on a single PC for... Huh. I like the way that sounded when I said it. I streamed on a single PC for a long fucking time. I actually like streaming on a single PC. Single PC's easy. You don't really have to set much up. Just kind of like... Only thing that's like a bitch is like your game capture. I mean, if you're a dumbass, you have to worry about leaking all your shit, but... It's like pretty simple. But I I think I think once you stream with two PCs, there's no going back. If you have dual P computer setup, why not use CPU for encoding? What does that mean exactly? you mean when you say that fucking nerd well actually why don't you use what the fuck does that mean use my pc for the encoding what does that mean what are you talking about you want me to keep your dog company all right that's my dog now That's my dog. My dog. I can't have a dog right now. I don't got a good backyard for a dog. Thinking about getting a cat. But I do not have a good backyard for a fucking dog. Kyle needs an admin menu with restrictions. No. Then people are going to ask me to do things for them. And I'm not doing anything for anybody that isn't me. Why would I help others when I can help myself? Yo, Dens, thanks for the 29 months, dude. I appreciate it. A master of how to raise cats? I feel like raising cats ain't that fucking hard. It ain't like the fucking people I know that have cats in my life are, like, these uh, fucking intellectuals. You know what I mean? It seems like everybody has a fucking cat. I just make sure it has some dog shit that it needs. It's like a plant. Well, I wouldn't ignore it. I'd want a fucking... I'd want a cat that actually wants to be around me. Training a dog's fucking easy. All you do is you just say, No! 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 That's all you have to do. And you point at him. No. And then you open the door and say, potty. Potty. And then when he starts going pee or taking his shit outside, you go, yeah. Yeah. That's, that's how you train a dog. A deaf cat? Nah, man. I want a cat that wants to get in on the action. I want a cat that once I start fucking yelling at somebody on my microphone, it comes, puts its like little fucking furry face next to mine and meows at him too through the fucking mic. Fuck you! Fuck you! 
Meow, meow. Be like my fucking. I want to get a cat and name him Meowth. That's what I want to do. I either want to get uh, one cat named Meowth or two cats named Jesse and James. That's what I would do. They'd have last names. Their last names would be Rocket. And they're going to be house cats, not those weird outdoor cats that are like basically feral beasts. You know, my mom took care of a bunch of fucking cats. My mom has like five house... Alright, listen, bro. My mom's got like five cats that come to the house. <coughs> yeah, dude. My mom's got like five cats. <coughs> I need fucking body armor. One oh nine. Oh, yo, the O nines are the best apartments, I think. One oh nines are the best apartment. Chat, what time did I start my stream at yesterday? <laughs> 11? 12? That was 12 CST. Holy shit. I did, I did start my fucking stream late. Holy fuck. Load! <laughs> Apartment load now! I am Hey Carl, I am your leader! <laughs> load now! Never have too many fucking taser cartridges. I got my MDW. My taser, my nightstick, my infinity apartment key. I'm from Minnesota. <laughs> One, two, fuck you. Thanks for the six month resub. I really do appreciate that. I do need you guys to get more subs in. That is a given. Bro. I'm stuck behind the TV! Oh shit, I might actually be fucking stuck behind here. Okay. I was a little worried. What would Hat Carl watch on TV? The Twins games. Frazier? I think he's a Frazier guy. Frazier, Frazier, Mash. College football. Welcome to your new home. <laughs> Gee, you look great. Don't BS me. I do not look great. I spent Monday on the bathroom floor. You can still see the tile marks on my face. <laughs> Gives you some idea about the ride over in the car. <laughs> well, uh, here we are. <laughs> Mr. Short, Frazier the, Crane, the, start with your the psychiatrist, beer, Ballantyne, and returns to his hometown of Seattle, Seattle, Washington. I just uh, rented a Following Charles Bronson movie for marriage Let's and life in Boston. Speech. We all know why I'm here. And you saw Girl this in Cheers. Left alone for ten minutes without falling on his ass. 
Wait, Frasier was in the show Cheers? Wait, is Frasier a spin-off? Wait, Frasier's a spin-off? I had no idea! Really? How the fuck do you guys know so much about fucking Frasier? How old are you? My mom used to watch this show when I was a kid and I was like, what is that boring shit about? Daddy, mom, why isn't Frasier play sports? You know what my dad would tell me about Frasier? I can't repeat it. How fucking old are you guys? My viewers, man! No, seriously. I want to trade you guys in for some die-hard... Oh, my fucking God. Oh, oh my... What do you mean you're all over 30? Bro, there's no fucking way. Dude. I really am only watched by uh, old fucks. That's something. All right, let's get to work. Holy fuck. Bunch of old fucks, dude. They should be advertising Blue Chew to all you old fucks. Hey, how you doing? Um, hello. Hi. Oh, you is that the future about... mayor? No, I fucking lost. I came second. Drump one! Drump! No. Drump the mayor! Drump! Not Down Trump, with not the Trump. liberal left! Up with the conservative no, right! Drump for mayor! Alright. It was his name was his name was Sean, okay? And uh, but don't worry, I'm gonna come back and get him next time. That's don't loser worry, talk. Long. How is it? Yeah, getting second place. Getting second place is the worst. I'd rather you get blown out and know there's a lot of Look, room for improvement than I know I'm barely hard, not okay? good enough. And I worked hard and I did what I could. You know what it was? They just opened the ballots way too early. And I was Sean at your orgy the other day. Campaign. What orgy? Oh. The music thing you had playing in the park. Everybody was grinding on each other, sweating. Oh, uh, yeah. What, did you have fun? No, 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 I was in disguise. Oh, what were you wearing? I can't tell you, it's my fucking disguise. Oh, oh, okay, of course, of course. Well, I guess I'll keep an eye out for you then. So Trump didn't win. No, his name no. was Sean. But who's gonna drain the swamp? Swamp? Yeah, who's gonna drain the swamp now? What mm, about Sean's emails? Sleepy Sean, Sean you mean Sleepy Sleep Sean Dean won the mayoral election? Uh-huh, Sleepy uh -huh. Sean Dean. Didn't even go to the last debate. Sleepy Still Sean Dean to. won the mayoral election. Uh-huh. That's right. 
That's right, yeah. Mr. Haghole. He's gonna be right. the boss of you now. Dark Braden. Good luck with that. Well, I would have treated you well, huh? I swear, I would have. I would have treated you well. I've got to give you a good paycheck. You gave me a but, flashlight. You know, I did. I did. And you know what? If you need another flashlight, then you let me know. I, I'll still help you I out. didn't vote for you. I voted for Trump. Oh. <sighs> That's fine. Because honestly, I would have made Trump my deputy anyway. So. I gave you a fucking flashlight for that. Give me the flashlight back. No, I'm not giving you my flashlight back. I gave you a flashlight and you said you'd vote if I give you a flashlight. I lied. What do you mean I gave him a flashlight? You can't really, you know, you can't really pay for for votes. You well, know what? I don't I don't care. Of don't, course you can pay for I don't votes. Give a shit. It's not illegal. I also told him my my like policies and he was happy with it, so oh, okay. yeah. not happy enough for it. You know what I would have done if I was running for mayor? <sighs> what would you have done? I would have done so much. Okay. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, I would have done a lot. <laughs> uh, like? I would get rid of the queue. Everybody gets in. <laughs> mm, so they're just super speed trains constantly going 24 7. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's a, you know. <laughs> So smart, Hat Carl. You know what? Maybe when I run again, I'll have you on my team. No. I don't like you. Okay. You got a That's scar on really your fun. face. <laughs> cool. Minus one vote for you, I guess. I voted for Trump after I took her flashlight. Okay, you know what? I don't give a fuck about a flashlight. You keep that flashlight, okay? You go I and am. use whatever I the fuck am. I got my flashlight. flashlight. Okay. I got my taser. I got my nightstick. Mm -hmm. I'm mm -hmm. a bounty hunter. Great. I'm sure everyone's going to love you, Hot Call. They do. I have four different groups trying to murder me. And they haven't gotten me yet, but I keep getting them. They say I'm like the roadrunner and they're like the coyote. Oh, the coyotes. I'm going to ask you. D. <laughs> All right, ha. Look, I got to I killed a man you. yesterday. Oh, you did? Did you? Who did you kill? A guy during a murder trial. Oh. Bye, fire hair. Killed a guy in a murder trial. Well, that sounded kind of sounds kind of like it makes sense, I guess. So what are you doing? We're going upstairs with these lovely ladies, okay? Do you need a security guard? Oh, that's right. Who's going to try and kill the runner up to the mayor? I need to find Sean Dean. Sleepy Sean Dean. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor Candace. I think Candace would have been a great mayor. Uh, you know what? I think Candace would have made a great mayor, and I would have loved to be the first lady. I would have loved to be her rock. I would have started talking like this. Don't you worry, Candace. We'll make sure we get everything done. Bill DeFit, a dicker last name. Did Fred vote? Ah, shit. Wolf of Bell asks, yeah. Fred did vote. If I run for mayor, we're going to have less slots on the server. I'm tired of people getting in here thinking they can just come in here whenever they want. <laughs> we're going to build a firewall and they're going to pay for it.
like walking on this side of the road, not that side. Who asked? Redneck Mike, thanks for the 22 months. Safety feature, thanks for the 57 months. VR, thanks for the 14 months. Scooby, thanks for the 13 months. Appreciate that. Holy fuck. I haven't seen Emstrogen on the server in a while. It's because she's uh she plays late, huh? It's always funny. I kind of can't make the decision if I want to fucking start later in the day. Or just kind of keep streaming like this. Hey, St hey, Style, thanks for the fucking 20 months. I appreciate it. Don't betray you. I'm going to be honest. Listen, I might have to betray you. I... I really do think I need to betray you because you guys just don't gift enough subs. Like, I mean, at the end of the day, all right, you, you don't understand. Okay, everybody else, 20% of their subs are paids in primes, 80% gifted. Me, uh, it's 80% of my subs are paid and gifted. I mean, paid in primes, 20% is gifted. That's good, though. No, it's not good. Brother. It is not good. And viewer pickup in the morning is just dog shit, too. When I can start a couple hours later, sleep in. Have more energy. Actually, less energy. My internal clock is set to want to get off at 4 p.m. Or 5 p.m. Well, that's when my internal clock's like, I gotta get off. Swedish Marcus with the 23 months. Yeah, that's another, you know what the main reason is I don't do it? Because I'd be saying goodbye to sunlight at the end of my day. But I think it would be cool to wake up in the afternoon and sit outside. I mean, I could get plenty of sunlight then. I'm the type of guy, dude, that I need my sunlight. You know? Like, I fucking need my sunlight. Alternate times. Alternate times? Alternate. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Open your blinds? What the fuck did you just say to me? Streams a day? Brother, I would fucking die. Didn't he do that shit for years? Like, he did that shit for a long time, didn't he? Dude, is today Sunday or Monday? I'm freaking out. Today is Sunday. Very locked in. I didn't last for a week. Oh, wait, that shit's awful. I would never do that. Dom, thanks for the 34 months. Hey, you better get that fucking mask off or I'm gonna rip it off your face and shove it up your fucking ass! Morning, Carl. Hello. Howdy. Oh, God. The last thing I need here is like 20 security guards. I'm not going to be able to get away with shit.
Hey, how you doing? Is this your desk? I'm taking your pen. I didn't save the Trump outfit. Should I wear this? This shirt with the American pants like I'm supposed to? Did I say like Trump was robbed? Sleepy Sean can't get away with it. What all, what, what all do they say? What are some of the stuff they say? I demand a recount. Stop the count. John rigged the election with Russia. San Andreas should secede under Trump. Trump was robbed. I demand a recount. Trump was robbed. Drain the swamp. I demand a recount. Listen, listen. I miss old DMV when like 20 people would run in here stabbing people and it was, I do not miss and it was that. a show. Hey! I to be a safe and secure environment. Old DMV, hey, bro, was call. lit. I demand a re- You need to look into Sleepy Sean Dean. We can't let him get away with it. You think there's election fraud Carl. going on? Sleepy Sean Dean beat Donald Trump. I see. I mean, maybe that's one for Jerry Callow to look into. We need to get- We need to get- we need to get Sean Dean out and jump in. Yo, that's like the corrupt looking into the corrupt. He's he gonna get. He's gonna drain the swamp. Which which swamp? A lot of the swamp. swamp. Yeah, the swamp. I need. Uh, uh, hey, I need some body armor. Oh, okay. You need body armor. Yeah, security. Yeah, I need some body armor. Uh, sure, hat car. If you're holding it down here, you can use some. Body I don't want armor. your hand-me-down body armor. I Tough want a shit. fresh one. Tough shit. This, you I want a fresh hat body car. armor to do my job. Make sure you you uh you scrub your armpits after using that. This one's only sixty percent. You cheap piece of shit. Well, don't don't get. I look. I, that lasts me the whole week. Okay. Typical it liberal. Hey, you better get that fucking mask off! Get it off! I don't think I will. Alright! You're lucky there's a lot of people here, otherwise I'd beat the shit out of you. Place is starting to get a little hot for Hat Carl. What are you calling there, Hat? Hey! Fifty dollars, man. Hey! Deputy! You gotta be pretty... You, you gotta be pretty bored to ride a Nice mask, are you an anti-vaxxer too? Down with Sean Dean, up with Trump. I got a guy wearing a mask, I want you to charge him. For this what? guy here? Yeah. It's not, it's not illegal to wear no, a mask. No, not him, the guy that's actually on the property. I don't give a fuck about this green guy on I the sidewalk. Hey, like, haven't you got rights to uh, excommunicate people, get them out? Yeah, but normally there's too many people here for me to, if you're here, I'm gonna have you do it. If you weren't here, I'd tase them and cuff them. Jesus Christ. This guy here, the very mask. This son of a bitch won't take off his mask. Hey, so you can't be on the property with this mask on? Uh, actually I can. Oh, well, actually this is still the boundary of city property. Once you pass uh, if you read you your SOPs, it does indicate that I must be inside of the building. 
No, well, I'm telling you right now, okay? You can tell me all that you want. I'm a but lieutenant, so I'm going to cuff you and take you to jail. Looks like this is escalating. Take them to jail. Like you need to, then that's I'll be a do, witness. I'll take it to bench trial. Well, the problem is the only judge is conflicted right now because he's just heard and seen all of this. That's fine. Then it'll go on the docket. You can't be lingering around property. I'll do you for loitering then. Very There's a hundred well. million charges. I could fuck you, sir. Just take your mask off and be Get cordial. Get it. Do it. What is, uh, what is the him. reason that you're so inclined to make me take my mask off? Oh, because you're reason? out here and people are concerned, okay? This is a government I'm concerned building. that this man is walking around with a gun. Does that mean that I need to yeah, take Yeah, but he's, he's allowed to I'm carry a security a guard. He's a bounty hunter and security guard. And I'm not I'm allowed to wear man. something on my face. No. Not, the, not if you're near a government building inside it, no. It, correct. Inside of it is the truth. Yeah, and right now you're loitering. She's just sitting out and doing nothing, sir. So you can pick two or two options. Beat his, Beat his ass! Beat his ass! I need to change clothes. Trump was robbed! <laughs> Trump was robbed! They rigged the election! The game was rigged from the start! Hey, how you doing? Hello. Goddamn Sean, uh, Sean Dean supporters running outside yeah. wearing masks, talking about SOPs. <laughs> uh, Sean's a really good guy. He deserves mayor. Fuck you. Oh, you goddamn fuck you Democrat. <laughs> yeah, well, at least I, I don't, I don't. I'm a patriot. I served in Nam. Did you? Yeah, I did. did. You just eat your way through it what are you calling me over there, sir? i'm an old man okay so getting old wants a, t a tummy and, and yeah, have, you it does. Watched that have you watched that shit in like the last i don't know i've been month? sweating like a mad dog i'm telling you i went outside that heat hit me like a sauna i just been sweating in this son of a bitch Okay, you should probably, you know, change your clothes. I'm making clothes gravy washed. in these goddamn pants. That's that sounds very unhygienic and disgusting. Well, you asked, you asked about well, it. You inquired. Yeah, I asked about and now me I regret in my it bathing. Because, I bathe. Well, why don't go go bathe? Go change your clothes. Go wash your clothes. I'm on work now. I can't go home and bathe. Yeah. Okay. So I'm at work. When you go home tonight, are you gonna go home and bathe? Of course. I listen. Let me let me tell you something. I'm a hygienic man. Cap. You I don't roll look. around in the mud like some fucking pig. <laughs> are you sure? I mean, sir, respectfully, unrespectfully, you look like. You literally slept in dirt last night, woke up, and came in here. Why don't you get some more piercings to feel better about yourself? <laughs> All right. I mean, I'm down. I love getting piercings. Yeah, I bet you do. When you, when you go outside, do people use your head as like a, like a, like a gliding light? How, no, I did not realize how that's what the flashlight's for. Was. You don't need a flashlight. Just use your freaking bald ass head. Light doesn't bounce off my bald dome. Oh, probably because it's all nasty and shit. It's probably no, it's little, not. You, know, you take a look at this head and get, you tell me it looks cleaned. nasty. Your head, you, you look respectfully, disrespectfully disgusting. You look disgusting. Thank you. What what are you? If even this back building was for? on fire, and I had to run in here and grab my bandana, or you, I'd grab the bandana and kick more rubble on top of you. Ah, uh, I see. I I'd see. stand on top of a desk and inhale the gas just so I could blow more CO two in your face as you laid on the ground unconscious, just to make sure the job got done by the burning building. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> now I need to change, pervert. Are you gonna watch? Are you gonna change your clothes? You actually have more clothes to change into? That's surprising. I got tons of clothes, pervert. 
Unless you want a peep show. You know what? I want you to watch me get dressed. <laughs> I I don't want to be scarred for life seeing you. I want you to watch. I want you to watch me get dressed in this office. <laughs> I knew you couldn't resist. It's all right, honey. Take a good look. I know you like oh. your men old. No. You pervert. My client, I'm not gonna, you know, just accept the deal. Where'd the cop go? And not looking at the the evidence. So, uh, damn, did we build a bit just strong? Left. I don't know. He just took off. How come that guy still got his mask on? He's, he said he was going to leave him for you. I don't know what that means. I know what that means. It's JP. Sir, I'm going to have to ask no. you to leave. <laughs> for what reason? Loitering and wearing a okay, mask. Let... Wearing a mask is not illegal. Well, it may not be illegal, but policy here is, you know, as a security policy guard. Policy inside of the building. Sir, I'm going to have to deem you a threat. All right? At this point, you are threatening. I, I am asking you to leave. Are you refusing to Words leave? are not threat. Are you Simply refusing to leave? having a conversation is not. Am I leaving where? Sir, I'm going to have to. You're, you're 86. It's like when you go to a bar and you've Ooh. had too much to drink. You're gonna have to go. I'll I'm call you a cab. Old, sir. I'll call you a cab. Oh, it's all right. Nice you. you went for the cab instead of the taser. That's pretty good. Oh my God, he's learning. Hey, what's up? How you doing? Watch where you're walking, asshole. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, so what was it? The the deal that they get to a bench trial is better than anything they could do at the in the cells. So for one, it allows me to a chance to look at the evidence, make sure they got it right, and then two, mm -hmm. they get a better deal in the end of it. Hello. So I'm incentivized. Hey, to go there's to this guy. He's unconscious. I'm gonna need to get a taxi cab for him. All right, um, Gonna I'll be, be there at soon. The DMV. I... All right, all right, I'll be there soon. Goodbye. All right, bye. Hey, how's it going? Not bad, not bad. Woke up just a little while ago. Yeah, I've been like taking short interviews. Hey, one, one, how are we? I want you to have some shit. Hey, I just trespassed a guy, and if he doesn't leave, I'm gonna need a fucking ambulance for him. All right, <laughs> what about you, son? You let me guess, DMV. Yeah, I'm at the DMV. He's All been right, no worries. He's we'll come down. to leave, but there's too many witnesses for me to beat his ass. Yep, I'll be on the way. No worries. Bye -bye. Perfect. Come get him off the property. I already called him a cab. All right, did, did you need us to leave, Mr. Carl? So oh, no, no, no. no it's fine. Okay, all right. <laughs> Yeah, so, okay, talk, talk me through this process. They won't give you anything until At you're all. actually in the cells. They tell me, no, they won't give me anything in the cells. I really want to buy that I truck. I say, can I see the evidence on this stuff? Mm -hmm. And they say, no. How am I letting they, the guy with the mask stay? Yeah, just let me assault a trial. man in front of oh, okay. two lawyers and a fucking and judge. You request a with another trial, security guard standing there doing outlooks on shit with an open window. And only if I ask people one. right by it. I mean, I bet you I could go through an entire trial without even getting the report. Yeah, let me just do that. It just seems like there's so much time where you could be reviewing that evidence. I it's agree. Over here, also, so even that, I mean, we could, I mean, I know you guys, you know, want want to get smacked too so I might have yeah to it's apply a trap for that. sure but, um the other part is like i can actually look at this evidence and say look man you got you're dead to rights we go in there you're gonna look like a fool i think i but hear a bike i don't know if they're gonna look like a fool until we go in there 
Yeah, I mean, I don't care necessarily about you guys like being able to Hey, get that mask, mask off! There with the actual physical evidence. What you should be wearing is a yeah, helmet. Um, hey, fuck you too, biker pussy! But if you're gonna be like, taking it to trial, there's no point not giving you that evidence. That's the other part too. We... Yeah, absolutely. And then the other part of it is, is then I, I even when I when I go to the uh, are we all secure here? Yeah, we're secure as shit. Uh, what do you go to like uh, a guilty pit to squeak. file an appeal? <clears throat> I got still business there. I have to file the plea. Oh man, well, it could even not be in order my... to get it. So I mean, it's whatever. It's just an extra step. In the <clears throat> oh, sorry, old man. All right, I who's, the, who's the one who's been chased by? Very... I am a bitch. You're their, lucky the cops are here. Against people. Crack at the sidewalk. This guy's being trespassed, loitering and refusal to take off his mask on DMV property. He's refusing to leave. And there's too many witnesses for me to beat his ass and drag him out of here. Thank you. Hey, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. You do realize he's loitering as a... Uh... Bring him to the side next time. How you doing, JP? Fucking pussy. Hey, Chris, how are you? <laughs> pretty good, pretty good. You good got a case today, right? Here. I do. I'll be there, I hope. <laughs> Who it's right, here, lay man. on your back like the whore you are. Hey, I called the cab for the guy with the mask. He's paying for it. Who's There's the a tow truck here. Though. Watch out, don't let him tell you. No, no, I'm All right, here, he like, won't get towed. Go help the next person in line before they get upset. Hey, form an orderly line, you fucking animals. That looks more like an L. I want a capital I formed. Let's go. Stop standing next to each other holding hands. I'm, I'm not, get I'm in not fucking in line. line. If you're not in line, you're not you can line. fucking leave. Form a goddamn line. Fucking animals! Hey, you go through the metal detector. You don't go over the velvet Sorry. rope. All right, I just tattoos. had surgery, okay? I just had surgery. Hey, hey, you just had surgery. Who the you gives a shit? <laughs> hey, Carl, the Matador. Hello, Pat Carl. I just realized I've uh, I just missed a call from yourself. Yeah, I called you to try and get a, ta a taxi. Okay, have you managed to get one, or do you still need one? Yeah, I got one. Hey, this guy's okay. taking so what do I all do day. With this guy? Hold on. All right, hold, do I? All right, listen. I'll just beat the guy's ass. You can drag him out of here. Why you here? You said you're here to view, which is not their purpose. Which is what I'm doing on the back. With words. Beat him with words. Yeah, I'm good. I don't need anybody else. We got everything here. I already got a cab guy down here and everything. Beautiful. All right, then, Hap. You have a wonderful day, sir. Sorry for bothering you. It's all right. You have a good one, graceful loser. Thank you very much. Goodbye now. Hey, you better not be littering on my property, asshole. You talking to me? Yeah, you better not be littering. All right, I'm I know a litter bug. Man. I'm just waiting for my. Friend. I know a litter bug when I see one. That's, that's not me, man. I think you need some new glasses. I do need a new prescription, but I can see fine. I mean, well, I'm not a litter bug, so. I can see the both of you. The both of you. <laughs> that guy coming after me. Hey, they trespassed him. Guy got lucky. There's so many fucking witnesses. 
Fuck you! Fuck you. Fuck you! Get a job! I have a job! I have many jobs! The cops actually did something. Hat Carl's gonna help them learn quick. And Hat Carl's like the litmus test for the PD. If you can handle a few Hat Carl situations, you'll be a better officer because of it. Maybe the early shift. You gotta realize we have like 200 cops. I don't think a lot of people are used to, like, a lot of people, I think it takes a little bit to get used to the environment that Onyx is, where it's not like uh, other places. It takes a while to get used to it. Because it's not just, like, cops v. robbers, you know? Like, we want the cops to, like, care about the public. Otherwise, it devol the server divulges into cops versus everybody. This is not good. Hey, Carl, hey where did you go? Him. That guy doesn't want to get a ride, and someone's got to pay me. So who's going to pay me now? All right, sir. You're going to have to move along. He's just here for the movie at this point. Oh. Uh, no, yeah, let's like, not go. Like yeah. So he's over there now. He's been told that he's been trespassed. If he does come back within... Put a note on his profile. I'll just yeah, attack him. Sir, you're yeah. going to have to move along. Yes, sir. Okay, just pay me my money so I don't have to, like, ask for your superiors. You didn't do any there, rides, though. Why would I pay you? I did, but I wasted my time coming here, so pay me. I'm well, your time is money. I don't pay you to stand around. That's my job. I get paid to stand around. You get paid to drive. You didn't drive. You don't get paid. You called me for a service. No one needed a service. I told you for you a service that time. you didn't do. All right. You're, if you want to, if you want to get paid to stand around, you should be a security me. guard. If I'll compensate you. Course, uh, then you'd be compensated, but it's not. All right, I'll perfect. compensate you. Yeah, but he you. called me. And, yeah. What's no, your state ID? One eight one zero. You have an incoming transfer. Fuck you. <laughs> Awkward. Uh, that's a good tip, sir. Okay, nice. A huge I'm training. calling you for everybody yeah, that needs a cab around here. I mean, that works. Okay, that works. Call me if someone else needs a ride. Who's not unconscious, first of all. Second, uh, who actually needs a ride. That guy needed a ride. Thanks a lot. He didn't. I asked him and he said no. Well, he didn't need a ride. He, he just didn't paid. want a ride. Yeah, he should be paying. I you. asked him. And he let's go get the, the money pay. from him. Come on, let's go get him to pay. All right. See, this is where I'm lucky. Harassment isn't in the penal code. Yeah. Watch out! There's cars coming through. You don't want to get hit. What's your name again, uh. Roberto? Ro, just Ro is fine. I hate my last name. I'm done again. I'm gonna call it. I'm you. Gonna find... Your name's Roberto. Ro, just Mr. Ro is Berto. fine. I'm gonna get rid Mr. of my last name. Mr. Berto. I'm gonna marry a random woman just to get my last name changed. Trust me. All right, Mr. Berto, calm down. What do you want to? Why do you hate? Well, that's your name. You should own it. My it's last my family name's Carl. Name is the last connection that I have to my family that has fucking kicked me out. So just. Sir, this okay. man's demanding money from you for not using his cab. Yeah, Mr. for wasting Carl, my time, you man. You were the one who called him. I did it on your behalf. Listen, you're not some you hot. Don't get to you're not some hot drunk chick at a bar. Me. Yeah, I, well, I just did. Look at you sitting on across the street, bitch. That wasn't a choice, you dumb fuck. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. You should have no, just took wasn't. the charge and went to jail, pussy boy. We'll yeah, see. how you feel now? You talking big shit now? Sit, so you keep watching from across the street, you little bitch, man. I will. I give what this guy twenty dollars. What's going on between you two? What's going on? He likes He's wearing masks on my property. Yeah, why Nobody you wearing wears mask, masks like? on the Matador's property. Yeah, that's understandable. Well, you're not going to get any money, so I'm not sure why you're standing here. 
Well, I'm trying to figure out. If you want me to be a witness to sue him, I will. Mm, I, no, I don't want to sue anyone. I just want my 20 bucks so I can get out of here. Hey, he's giving $20. Right, how about 15 Just give me 15 and I'm out half of the cab ride. Go ahead, Hat. Give him the $20. I'm not giving I, him I, I'll take 15 dollar. I'm not even greedy like that. It's $30 for a ride, 15 for me to come get you, right? And 15 to take you there. So I only did the first half, so give me 15 and we're good. Listen, yeah. I'm an honest, you, hardworking guy. You should take out your phone and call the number that called you. You guys figure it out and just give me 15 like seven and a half dollars each between you. Just figure it out. Come on. Sir, I'm going to have to get the cops to cite you for loitering over here. We're going to have to get you to go further up the road. I'll be back. It's $15 or I spend my day getting you trespassed and loitering tickets wherever the fuck you are. I'll follow yeah, you like a goddamn dog gone, to the gates gone, of hell. We'll end up all the way in fucking Polito. What he doesn't understand is that's precisely what I Officers, the people down at the DMV don't feel safe with that menacing masked madman sitting across the street. Can you hit him with another loitering ticket and get him to move further up the road? Go. You can go loiter him again, bud. Yeah. Go hit him with loitering again and get his ass moving further up the road. Get him to move to the park or something. <laughs> Maybe Sandy. It's anywhere but here. I'm just doing my job. Yeah, I mean, that I'm guy's just kind like of a you dick. guys. I'm just doing my job. Yeah, he didn't like being told what to do. But as far as I'm concerned, Hat Carl, this 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 uh tall strip here, that's the perimeter for the DMV, you know. It is. I just couldn't hit a man. Well, that's, I was going to tase true. him and put him in handcuffs, just have you come get him. That's what I normally do. So, uh, you a new officer? Or just the, the, the guy over there. Who me or Bud? Not you, oh, Bud. Yeah. Oh, Bud's fairly new. Maybe a week or two in. So, you Good know, experience for him. Send him over there. See what, how he comes back. Yeah. My my presence deter, deterring violence. That's something yeah. somewhere. It sure is. God damn it. There's always a guy who pulls his truck in front of their camera. Yeah, the creep. He said he. Just I asked him his name. He's like, call me V. I'm like, what the fuck is the V? I know like four V's. So he's like, no, I'm V, the viewer. I'm just gonna keep watching you from across the street. I was tempted to, but then I was like, maybe he won't give me my fifteen dollars. And hey, you better get that mask off. And you better park legally. Hey, fuck you. That's for you, buddy. Right there. Hey, I got one for you too, asshole. Fuck you. Fuck you. Hey, That's this car's you. stolen. He just told me his car is stolen. Ow! Yo, you okay? Is your hip okay? Don't you worry about my hips, just like Shakira says. Shakira, Shakira! These hips don't yeah, lie. That's my favorite, man. Yeah. And These they don't, they don't break parade. either. <laughs> hey, form an orderly line, you goddamn animals. I want to see that line perfectly straight. Oh, shit. Sorry, sir. All right. Perfect. Now, now, take another step forward. The spacing ain't the same. Perfect. No, no, not you. Take a step back. Take a step back. Line yourself up on the cracks, look. Line yourself up on the cracks. Go to that you guys crack. have to be Go one to cube crack. away from there each there. other. There you one. are. There you perfect, are. perfect. What? Yeah. Hey, you have to be two feet separate at all times. Uh, I don't want to see you guys passing any fucking germs around here. What would you hit first? Uh. <laughs> the egg. Did he come back? Oh, who? Where are we at? What? Did, Did he come back, the car that ran you over? We tried to chase him, but we didn't get him. No, he didn't. 
Next time okay, he hits right. me, I'm gonna shoot him. Okay. Hey, officer, is it self-defense if they hit me and drive off? <laughs> If that man comes back, I think I can articulate in the courtroom that he's a that he's a violent threat to my being and I have permission to gun him down in the road even if he's driving away from me. I think I could win that case. <laughs> no, no, that's fine now. Well, 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 look who's back. Why now? Let's get you to your I'm desk. Getting... Yeah, 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 good now. Let's make sure you're Excuse safe. Me? Come on, let's yeah, get you yeah, to your desk. Come on. Maybe he's got the he can got it block all my Come on, little lady. Let's get you to your desk now. Which one's yours? Is it this one? Yes, it's the one on the right. All right, go ahead. Let's get you all safe and sound in your desk. Got to make sure you're good. Hey, no I, climbing I, on the desks. No I'll climbing. Climb I want to climb. No I'll climbing climb on the I desks. Climb. I'll climb where I want to climb. Them desks ain't ladders. They're desks. Well, they, they're climbable and I climb Listen, them. Listen, sit. I, you better I, hope I, I don't I get sit, mace I soon. Climb. I see you climb a desk again. I'm going to mace you every time you do like a fucking dog. Like a fucking, you don't like, mace a, a dog. Like, a diso like a disobedient cat. I'm going to grab you by the scruff of your neck and throw you against the fucking wall. <laughs> I don't know if it's, uh, All in. Oh, all M. I thought it was all in like a poker term. Thanks for the 11 month resub. Tutankame, thanks for the 14 months. Champ, thanks for the 25 months. Snagglepuss, thanks for the 18 months. Hool, thanks for the 31 months. And Dom, thanks for the 34 months. Delta Force with the 45 months. I gotta watch my back for that guy. I'm walking around with my gun out. I ain't getting caught lacking. There ain't no one around. Hit me with brandishing. Or car door. There's been ambient sounds. Here's someone. At roof. Hey, what are you doing on that roof? Hey, you're trespassing up there. Trespasser. Building inspector. Trespasser. 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 We got a trespasser on the roof. His car's stolen too. His car's stolen. In the name of the law! Stop in the name of the law! Is Carl an Oblivion NPC? Fuck, the cops left. I'll take care of this one myself. Everybody remain calm! Everybody remain calm! It's Vietnam! 
Beaten him! I need to get Yoinks to make me a camo outfit. What was he doing on the roof? I got my eyes on you! Was he up here? Go, 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 go. You know, I don't mind being labeled a crackhead. Yep. Was that evidence? Oh, it's a parking pass sign. Keep walking, you goddamn bums. My man, love me. Yo, Classic, thanks for the 15 months. And Chris, thanks for the 27 months. Appreciate those resubs. Oh, yes. Hey, you're standing too close. If you're in line, you have to be one cube apart. Too damn close. No, no lollygagging. All right. My apologies, sir. Eyes open or closed. It wasn't you, it was the woman. Who is it? I'm yeah, watching you. I saw it. I'm watching you. I'm getting some lunch break. Who the fuck ate my lunch out of the fridge? I Who the fuck ate tasty. my goddamn lunch in I, the fridge? I ate your fucking tuna. You don't even good. have a key to get back there. Here you go. Yeah, come do. on, Mr. You Carl. Come here. I, I, got your I ate your tuna. You don't. I don't eat tuna. Hey, does this guy work here? Is he trespassing? I think he. I don't know if he works here. Trespasser! <laughs> Hey, son of a oh. bitch! <laughs> I got I'm one! Him. I'm training yeah, I'm, him, sir. I'm, I'm, I'm training him today. Tra oh, you're training him? Oh, okay. Yeah, he's, uh, he's learning. He's learning. You know, he's a good assistant. <laughs> hey, you better watch yourself. You're lucky. Watch yourself, I don't, sir. You're lucky you got someone wanna... to vouch for you. I don't want to ride the lightning anymore. No yeah, you definitely don't want to. That looks uh, pretty, pretty fun, though. Where's my goddamn uh. tuna? In the fridge, sir. In the fridge. Thank you. Enjoy that, Mr. Carl. Extra mayo in there. Hell yeah, this is how I like it. On a ride. You know, I really haven't had tuna in a long time. I used to eat tuna sandwiches when I was a kid, but never as an adult. You know, my fucking... What did my dad used to make me? My grandma. He used to make me tuna on an English muffin. With butter, I think. Donkage with the 30 months. I don't like tuna. I mean, I can't. I, I haven't had tuna in a long time, so. Come on, I want that last little shrivel of fucking eating. Give me that last little shrivel. All right, fine. Fuck you. Drink time.
I, I don't I don't drink uh I don't I mean sorry drink. I don't eat tuna as an adult. I'm not a fish guy. Salmon and cream cheese. Isn't that lox? Lox on a bagel with cream cheese and chive? That shit actually goes kind of hard. I haven't had one in a long time, but... Yeah, I'll tell you what goes ridiculous. Pastrami on rye. What is it? Pastrami with mustard on rye? Is that it? Oh, yeah, capers, capers. What did I call them? Ty, what did I say? I didn't, did, I didn't say capers, did I? Fuck. I said chives. I... Yeah, dude, fucking... Uh, I remember one time when I was a kid... I don't know why I'll never forget it. We went to a cookout. And what my mom made and brought was a lox cream cheese and capers pizza. And like my mom brought like her peanut butter fudge that she likes to make. Everybody just like loved it all. Yeah. It was like, it was like a uh, lox cream cheese and capers, but it was like a pizza. Like on a pizza crust. And everybody fucking loved it. Alright, you know what I think goes hard? Eggplant parm. Bro, eggplant parm so good that you don't even even have to like eggplant, dude. It literally tastes like you're eating meat. Like, it's like pretty hearty. Chicken parm? I mean, chicken parm is my... Chicken parm sub is my favorite. Why do you hate eggplant parm? I can fucking destroy eggplant parm. My dad would make really good eggplant parm, but my mom also made pretty good eggplant parm. She would, like, put it in a baking dish. And it would be, like, almost like a lasagna, but eggplant parm. It was fucking dope. Eggplant's nasty. Not if it's cooked. If it's done right, it has a, it has a bite to it. Like, whoever's making your eggplant just ain't good, like... Stupid shadows. Come on. Dog, oh, sorry, I didn't mean to get in the middle of the picture. Sorry about that. Do you work here? No, I'm just waiting for my friend over there. She's waiting for a friend. Ma'am, I'm gonna have to ask you to wait outside. Sure. She's fine. Ma'am, ma I'm gonna have to ask you to either have a seat over there or wait outside. It's one of the two. Man, let's go get you down. seated she down. Come on. Fine. Come on. Let's get you seated down. She can just hey, I don't her. tell you how to give out licenses. You don't tell me how to run security. She's with him. Don't care. You give him the license and keep fine. your fucking mouth shut. She's now take a fine. goddamn seat. Uh, uh, okay, just give me a second. One second has elapsed. <laughs> God damn animals. How's the old oh. clucking bell? Uh, it's, it's great, man. I, I do security today. here. Oh, great. I worked there. Are you I here just, on DMV started... business? Yeah, I just got a weapons license. I'm just trying to call a taxi. Sure, I'm going to have to ask that you move along. Oh. Okay. Perfect, right. perfect. Y you have a good day, sir. Hey. 
Uh, how much are they paying you well. for, for being a security guard? I get paid a hundred dollars an hour. What? Is that because of your age? No, it's because I'm damn good at my job. Nice, nice. All right, I'll be on my way, sir. Sorry. Sir, I'm gonna have to ask that you move along, sir. I'm gonna have to ask that you I'm, move I'm along. I'm already moving. Sir, I'm gonna have to ask I'm you continue moving, moving along. Start adding the park to my goddamn rotation. Yeah. Hey, is this homeless guy bothering you, you Your friend? Honor? No, no, he's fine. We were just talking about you know all the patience you we're need to be a bounty about... hunter. We're talking I'm a about bounty self and self restraint and everything. All the I all the traits you need. Don't need any self restraint. Yeah, well, yeah, it's the easiest others. job ever. Yeah. I worked with Biggs for a bit. But I'm Hank Carl, the... the Matador, bounty hunter, bondsman. I think I need to buy a car. I really do think I need a car, uh, but... The sandstorm. Look, if Mantis was actually playing with me, we could grind it in a couple days. Alright, but Mantis ain't grinding. Alright, he's too busy being helpful. Alright, that's it. I'm getting people to give me money. Hey, your honor. Uh, yeah, what's up? Can I have $7,000? <laughs> I don't even have that much. Son of a bitch. Yeah, hey, no running suspenders. We don't have any problems over here, do we? What's your name? My name is Eddie. I'm not talking to you, dipshit. I'm talking oh. to the DMV employee, fellow worker. Uh, my name is, is you know, my name. It's All mine. right, you know. Uh, what, the, are you having any problems over here with this eyebrowless freak? Nope, he's fine. If that changes, you let me know. Okay, will do. Make me sick. Keep moving, keep moving. We gotta keep things moving here at the DMV. Time stops for no man. Yeah, You're here to get your driver's license. Yes, sir. Are you an up and Adam employee? I sure am. You love working there. I mean, I just started today. I literally flew in today. All right, take it easy, you drug addict. What? If he gives you any problems, you let me know. I will, Mr. Carl. Blue Giant, thanks for continuing that gift sub. Hey, you know, I'm going to be out front holding it down. That guy no gives you any asks. problems? If that guy gives you any problems, you signal me. The only one giving me problems is your loud ass. Why don't you just keep making licenses like your job says? Uh, don't you worry about how loud I am. Well, okay, I'll continue to do my job. Yeah, that's what I'm here for. Continue to do your job, then. What's stopping you now? Look, you got a customer standing right there in no, front of you. No, he he's done. He got his license. He's just waiting for me to say goodbye. It's done. Well, then his say your farewells over. and then get him the fuck out of here. How are you today, man? Let's keep moving, sir. Uh, yep, yeah, we'll do, dude.
yada yada yada. Everyone. The hell did you know go? Can you actually put stuff in here? You can. What? God. If I was a criminal, I'd take all of this. I can't on Hat Carl. <laughs> All right, I got to keep this in mind. <laughs> I got to keep this one in mind. Holy shit. Hey, you want to buy a fake ID? Holy shit. That is actually. Uh, what are they thinking by doing that? How the fuck hasn't. Bro. I don't understand. We've had like what? Hundreds of thousands. Of t probably, probably so many hours of playtime. You mean to tell me not one criminal has went into the DMV and checked that trash can? And took the IDs and tried selling them? Chad, I need to poop. It's poop time. Entertain yourselves for me. All right. And Razmat, thanks for Razkamat. No, sorry, thanks for the 25 months. And overrated Phenom, thanks for the 17 months before I go poop.
I'm back! Giving myself hemorrhoids just for you, chat. How much I care about your viewing experience. Need a car though. There's no way we get the uh get right, Mr. Steve. Mr. You can put on the Yo, tray. Yo, Yo, Yo. Um Yo. Call on Roberto. I need him. Both? Wait, how did I lose five hundred dollars? I had over three K. How did I lose money? Hold on. Oh, the ammunition the ammunition I bought. Oh, okay. All right, the the fucking ammunition I bought. Hello. Hey, Mr. Berto, I need a cab. I, I okay. Someone's gotta pay this time, right? It's someone's for me. gonna pay me. I'll right? pay for the cab. Okay, it's a okay, cab okay. for me. All right, all right. I'll come. All right, get you, you know where I'm at. But... Yeah, I'll be there soon. Bye. At Carl got a desk before Pred. I do kind of want to play Pred today. I think I got to take the detective offer. So pussy shit, flicking him off only when he can't see you. Jesus. Nope. Yeah, a little. Yeah, but I want to do the detective. Did you just so. freaking trip me? No, what you're the just, fuck you're is just, your problem? You're just fucking clumsy. What the clumsy. fuck is your problem, you old man? You're just going to trip someone while they're freaking running on the sidewalk? You little... Oh, wow. You're trying to throw your stuff on me now, you creepy old man? You're just clumsy. God. You need to watch where you're going. I'm not clumsy. You tripped me. So what if I did? It's rude. I'm going to get you fired. How dare you trip someone? That's mean. I wish when I tripped you that you landed on a couple bullets. <laughs> I hope you fall and you have no life alert. I hope you fall and you do I have you... life alert. But they say, fuck this person. I hate her and nobody shows up. I hope your life alert battery goes out. Bye, so you know. Happen. I'll be back. Yeah, I got this moment. All right, where are we going? PDM. All right, I got you. And then I guess we're coming back here, right? No, I'm getting a car. Okay. Actually, no, take me to pick up my paycheck. All right, the bank first and then PDM. What kind of car are you planning to buy? I got a truck I want to buy, hmm, okay. but I can't afford it. How much does it cost? Twelve thousand eight hundred dollars. That's a lot of money. You're fucking telling me. How much you guys make at the DMV anyway for security? I make a hundred dollars an hour. That's a lot of hours. Hey, but at KM, you can probably get a discount since you're a government employee and all that. You'll get like a 20% off on the truck. Are you saying the price with the discount? I told me it was 12.8 and then he said, I'll give it to you for 12. Oh, he's lying to you. Yeah, what an asshole. Yeah, seriously. Um, So... 
I bought like three cars so far, and every time they try to hustle you, they're like, oh, this should make some more money on the commission, right? They'll be like, oh, I can only do this much. And I'm like, I know people who work here for longer than you, and I know they can give me a 20%, so I'm just going to call them. And then they straighten the fuck out. They'll be like, okay, you can have the discount. I'll remember that, Mr. Berto. Give me a second. Let me grab this shit. All right. Devastator, thanks for the 45 months. And Mini Vamucha, thanks for the 17 months. I like the guy that plays Flecka. I like it when he's here. Hey, 900 bucks. Batty Mads, thanks for the eight month resub. No tip. Tip this. All right, so I did a PDM. What's your state ID, Berto? 1810. You know, when you get your name changed, I'm still going to call you Roberto. Why? I'm going to call you Berto, Mr. Why would Berto. you do this to me? 1810. All right, 60 bucks. Yeah. There you go. Thanks a lot. I appreciate it. You make decent money doing this cab shit? Nah, I do this so I can meet more people every day, that's all. What do you do You'd for work? You'd be surprised the kind of people I run into. Uh, this is what I do for work. I'm gonna. I'm just waiting for the business proposals to go through so then I can have this and have drivers for me and then I just sit and make money without doing anything. What are you gonna do and then when once they're I skimming make money off money, the top? Oh, I'll have, don't worry about it, don't worry. I have a whole thing in place for that. Uh, but other than that, once I have enough money for the second license, I'm going to have another business that's going to make me even more money. And then third one, and then fourth one. And then I'll have an empire soon, and then I'll be richer than my family. And that's the, that's the goal. This is all about revenge. It's all about revenge? Yes. All right, that's kind of badass. Yeah. Why do you think I listen to people's shit all day, every day? Like, Sounds, it seems like you actually poor. know your I'm way not... around the roads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is what I do for a living, of course. If I don't know, like, I got to get people where they need to go the fastest time possible, right? There's a reason why people call me or other morons. I'm always going to call you, Berto. Hell yeah. Oh, uh, no, don't call me Berto. Just, you cannot... Okay, listen, I see what you did there. Nice one, but don't I'm call me I'm always going to call you Mr. Berto. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, I appreciate it regardless. Here we are. And take care. Congratulations on your new truck if you have enough money. If not, just... I'm not going to have enough shit, fucking money. I'm going to see if they'll do a payment plan. All right, let me know if you need me again. Nobody here. You're calling me. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, I'm looking for a car. What kind of car are you looking for? What was that car called? Chat, what was that what truck kind? called? I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm old. Oh yeah, don't worry, don't worry. You Sandstorm. Sandstorm? Yeah, Sandstorm. Oh, baby, you have uh, picked a, a beautiful car out. Let I was told that the end. PDM's paying for most of it. Are we? Uh-huh, that's what I was told. I was told, look for the guy in the orange and red suit. He'll give you the rest of the money you need for the car and they'll reimburse you. Oh, really? Who, who was this? Seth. Seth. I don't know any Seths. Seth. I don't, I don't know a Seth. Why not? Hey, I remember you. You're the guy when the bikers tried to kill me that was here. Yeah, that was. Yeah, I was. I protected your building. 
from four oh, bikers. I appreciate that. Did they, did they ever catch him? Yeah, they did. But they also kept me in a holding cell for three hours while they tried to force charges onto me, but then just let me go because I didn't break any laws. That's crazy. Hey, I need, hold on. Yeah. I need to talk to my friend over here. Why don't you help this guy? All right, all right, sir. Come on. In the white. Hey, all right, listen, I saved your life. I need $70,000 yeah, so I can get my sandstorm. <laughs> you're speaking, uh, Motherfucker, I don't got $7,000. Come on, pass me the cash. You don't get paid shit here. I got a government job. I'll pay you back. Just pass me the money. No, I legitimately don't have anywhere close to that. We get paid like shit here, dude. The guys that cut onions up and fucking up and out and make more than us. Do you have any idea what kind of vehicle you want to rent today? God damn it. Oh, I was looking at the futo over there. Yeah, you're telling me, man. Also, we don't sell a sandstorm. Yeah, you do. Uh, is it in the rental catalog? I know we sell a Sand King. Sand Storm is an import. Uh, I've never seen it in our catalog. Maybe it's new. See, this is your problem. You think you know everything there, youngster, but you don't. This is why you're yeah, not making any money. Yeah, I also filed a report and a statement with the cops to fucking help you out. Yeah, and they didn't know care. know that you fucking ran those guys over. I didn't run those guys over. All right, here's what happened. I was pulling, so here's like, there's like this van blocking my view. I turn in, all right, I'm coming up, and some guy just jumps right out in front of my car, like an insurance scam. Did you hit him? Hell yeah, and then I told him to get his dumb ass up. Well, then yeah, you, then you hit him. We know you hit him. Yeah, I did hit him. I didn't here. lie. I didn't say I didn't hit him. But yeah, I told him, I didn't tell the cops any of that. I just said, yeah, we, I walked out and he was like, you know, getting surrounded and right, bullied listen. by these biker fucks. You know what I mean? Hey, nobody bullies me. I do the bully. And that's why I shot one of them down like a fucking dog and had the rest of them scatter like roaches. Nobody fucks with the matador. The what? The matador. Ole, ole, the matador. Doesn't a lay mean you get out of the way of stuff? I don't know. I don't know what the, the bullfighters do. Well, fair enough. Yeah, uh, I've never seen a sandstorm come through here. I've seen the Sand King, but not the sandstorm. I talked to a PDM guy yesterday. He told me a sandstorm is actually twelve thousand eight hundred dollars. I me have go, give me, four thousand dollars. Let me, let me go. Let me go check our full catalog and see if it's even in there. Give me like give me like two minutes. All right. I need something cheap and fast. Cheap and fast. I mean, that doesn't really go together, it doesn't. All right, listen, I got four grand. Four grand. Let's have a look. Uh Let's see. What is quick? What is quick? What about the uh, Bolokan Prairie? The fuck's that? List Listing 94. Have a look at this lady over here. Uh, she's hideous. <laughs> That's true, but I mean, uh, maybe this lady is more your style. The Bolokan Prairie. Yeah, there's no sand, uh, sandstorm in our catalog. It's a sand king. If it was an import, it was probably done through the government somehow on a special case basis. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's true. That's true. Let me take a look at this Bolokin Prairie. I want to see uh, what yeah, it looks like. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Bolokin. Let's go right to the back. What is your state ID, sir? Seven five zero six. A yeah, dollar just, for what? Just uh, to have a look. That's the look at uh, the look price, you know. Put this piece of shit away. I don't want it. This is a beautiful vehicle. It has two doors. 
It goes 106 Put or so. Put this piece of shit away. I don't want it. Okay, thank you. Shit. How much to rent a sand king? A sand king to rent? Oh, we have to go back to this man over here. Yeah, how much to rent one? We'll get you a perfect price for you. A Fine. perfect price. All right, do me right. Come on. Okay, okay. So let's have a look what this man is trying to rent you for, you know? Hey, you guys got anyone who's taking out loaner cars that need collecting? They got fat fines. Uh, I mean, if if you want to do that, yeah, you, you're welcome to do it. I mean, I, I this guy's the, asking people. me if I want to become a rental guru. Yeah, that's true. Do you do you want to be it? Are you yeah. a guru? There's only one rebel out. Yeah, yeah, there's a rebel out, but I think they're like late. Didn't they show me where. It, it's not showing me where it is. Okay, I mean, I, uh, the, it's a gray rebel. I, I, I literally saw it at the clocking bell when I went to get food, like, uh, a minute ago. There... Oh, shit. Anyway, uh, that one, uh, the Sand King... It you, doesn't you tell you who, who, who took the rentals out. It just says there's a rental here. Oh, my God. I have no clue. Like, I check, I'm checking, I'm checking, tracking. Doesn't tell you who the customer is that rented it. No, it's it's not showing me anything right now, actually. It's not even updating my GPS. All right, let me get that Sand King. A couple of hours. All right, uh, so this uh, Sand King, uh, I mean, this man asks for 1,400 bucks. Now, that's a... That's a An hour! <laughs> that's, that's, uh, that's this man. That's this man. But me... I'm your guy, you know? I'm your guy. All right, you're my guy. You got your nice suit on. Listen. Uh, uh, listen, do me right. Come on. Okay, well, what what do you think is a fair price for this, like, I'll do 200. Sandwich? 200. I'll do it. I'll do it. You know what? You know what? I'm not even sure if I'm allowed to, but I'm doing it anyway. Hey, hey, I won't tell if you don't. How many hours is that? Get two. Uh, what is your state ID again? Seven five zero six. There it is, sir. Four hundred dollars. I'm getting compensated by Jerry. There for this. it is. You have a beautiful Jer vehicle here. Okay. Look at the color. How much this? is? Aren't these like sixteen thousand? Yep. This here, this is a truck. It, yeah, this is a truck. <laughs> yeah, and it, and it's yours for two hours. All right, I'll be back. What's your name, by the way? My name is Hanky for the block, baby. All right, Hanky, I'm Hank Carl, security guard, judicial bodyguard, bounty hunter. Thanks for helping me Hell out, man. Hanky. Not a problem. I am the dog, the big bad dog, the bounty hunter. I need that sandstorm. I need to get my hoodie off. I do want us to do some detective shit tomorrow, though, I think. But I am really ingrained into Hat Carl. I just wish Mantis was around so we could flush out... Me and Mantis need to figure out what it is that, like... All right, so bounty hunting is kind of like a new mechanic. It's a mechanic that people ain't really used to. We got to try and figure out exactly, like, bet, like, what bounty hunters need to succeed. Keep it, like, to a limited thing. And, uh, yeah. We need to, we need to kind of beta test bounty hunter a little bit. And that's, I need fucking, I need Mantis for that. Kind of his baby. I think bounty hunters should be able to go after people with active warrants. And I think we need a meta MDW for bounty hunters so you know who to go after. So you know who's on server so you two. can go after him.
what goes up and down yet I never feel pretty moves. strongly that a meta MDW actually helps progress RP as opposed to I think it's too powerful for PD but I think it's just right for bounty hunters but it doesn't tell you where the people are that have active warrants it only tells you if the people are around that have active fines that's kind of like the thing that I've been brainstorming you know that's kind of like the the way I've been viewing it It doesn't tell you where they are, it just tells you they're on server. Take advantage of uh, somebody new to the city. Ping system for bounty hunters? No, no, no. So, you don't want to do anything that kind of fast tracks RP, I think. I think. Say, hello, my friend. Hey, how you doing? Say, I just took a number with Linda. Are they going to call my number when it's ready and shit? I'm a security guard. Oh, okay, amazing. Okay, so... Sir, why don't you have a seat? All right, thank you. You're going to call my number when it's ready? Yeah. Yeah, I will. All right, thank you. Poor guy. What has a heart which does not beat? A corpse. Oh, man. <laughs> what job did it sign me out of? But yeah, I think, uh, I think a meta MDW is actually good. All right, the track. I lost the tracking, but I think it's because I'm going under this bridge. It's weird here. All right, so what were we talking about? Oh yeah, like ATMs and stuff should be like for like investigations and shit. That shouldn't be for bounty hunters. You should have to do some legwork to find people. You know what I mean? You should have to build like a network of people who like work under you and people who tell you where people are. Like that's like half the fun of being a bounty hunter is like finding ways to locate your target in the right time to take them. Now, the thing that sucks though. Like I literally Alright, hold on. The rental job should give you names. That's the rental. Hey, that's it. What's your name? Hey, Why do you want to know? You're overdue <laughs> on your rental. I'm going to have to ask that you return it to the PDM. Are you oh. the man? Are you the man? I'm the man. Now we're going to take that to the PDM and then your ass can either rent another vehicle or walk. But if you want to not play by those rules... Then Hat Carl the Matador can take care of things. Maybe we should do I mean, what the man says and then we can ask him. Yeah, I, I think we listen to the man this yeah. time. Alright. Let's go to the PDM. Right, PDM. You're overdue right. on your your time's up. Oh, really? And you should go the rental after the DVM. You go first. I go first. Yeah, yeah. It's a red light. Oh, it's now it's green. You're overdue. Joe Fudge, thanks for the tier one. I'm gonna catch you on Poet. That was honestly one of the funniest things ever. I wish I didn't get third party during that situation. I feel like we got robbed of a little bit of good RP there. Because what I was going to do 
Because I was just going to take him in and try and give him your fines. I was going to play along. Until I got third partied and then I was just like, Wait, that's not Poet! I need fucking Mantis. Oh, you're gonna pay those fines. Alright, off stream, I learned a lot about you. Off streams, I didn't, I didn't really learn much. All I learned was uh, the Roach Motel. That's all I learned. Apparently, someone told me, Oh yeah, Poe, likes to hang out at the Roach Motel. That's all I heard. And I actually, I heard that in, in literal passing. Like, I was talking, I was trying, I was asking someone, I was like, hey, do you know Poet? And then <laughs> someone was like, doesn't he hang out at the Roach Motel? Yeah, I'm, I'm not tailing these guys. I'm making sure they return their rental. But the rental system doesn't work like I thought it would. It's not, all right, listen, it's misinterpreted. That article does not allow third-party heroes. If you are not a part of the group with that person, you cannot interfere. Can't just be a random vigilante. But then again, Mantis was dressed up as Batman or Joker running people over in a Batmobile the other night, and he told me, for now, vigilanteism stays. So, I don't know what the fuck Mantis is doing. What is third partying in RP? Uh, involving yourself in a situation that you're not a part of. Like, if you're a security guard at a place, it makes sense. Right? Because that's like your RP, is to secure the area. But if you're like a fucking burger flipper, who's gonna pull out a gun and get in an active gunfight with everybody, that every fucking fist fight that takes place at your goddamn building? Like, there's ways around third party, and if it's like party or roleplay. Unfortunately, cops can always third party. Yeah, but in a situation when you got a gun to somebody's fucking head and someone just runs up behind you with a baseball bat, like, you can't do that shit. That's NBUL and third party. All heroes don't wear capes. Sometimes they flip burgers. All red lights? Eh, fuck it, I don't care. I don't get annoyed by red lights. I spent 20, 24 days driving around the server as a local before. For fucking over 100 hours, brother. Okay? I don't mind stopping at reds. Alright, I'm actually patient. I'm disappointed that this guy didn't try to flee. <laughs> I was hoping we'd have a fleer. That rebel, I think, is faster than this Sand King. Why oh, I want the Sandstorm. That Sandstorm went hard. I actually think that Sandstorm was upgraded. Like, I legitimately think that Sandstorm, that that vet was driving, was upgraded. Cloud, thanks for the 35 months. We do need to get back to 6K.
Sandstorm just looked badass, though. I mean, even this looks badass. Get my gun out just in case. Uh, you wait here. I'll go get somebody. Hey! Hello? Hey, I got one. They returned the vehicle. They're here to return their uh, rebel. And possibly get a nutter. There's the guy. All in a day's work. Thank you. Thank you, Hat. All right. What we need to do is we need to go to a secure location. Two birds, one stone. The DMV. Rebel, rebel, rebel. I don't like doing the gun on your lap shit, but I think it's kind of acceptable. I don't know. All right, we need to go inside the building. Yo, A-Train, thanks for the three-month resub. I do appreciate that. Oh, wait. Oh, I see the helicopter. You see the helicopter? Hey, sir. Anybody? Yes, sir. Is this place open for business or what? Yeah, it's open. It's open to for fucking business. track somebody down that has a fine. There's so many fines, but it's... I guess we go through the directory. Like, I guess that's... Hold on, let me lock these doors. <coughs> All right. To the desk. <laughs> Hit Carl. The Matador. All right. Um, directory. Hold on. We need a better camera angle than this. Son of a bitch. Bitch. Okay. All right. Good enough. All right. The directory. So it's like I just have to look them up to see if they have fun. Sparkle Lee. Like a felon. Nope. All right. I, find, I think it's better to start from the bottom. Paul Shark. Paul Shark. Paul Shark, no fines. I gotta close this shit. That one up. Fuck, I didn't mean to close that one. Hector Dios, I got another one of his up. Paul Roche, I should have kept that one up too. Paul Roche, he's got three overdue fines. All right, pull up the directory. Juan Problemo. <laughs> All right, where's my MDW at? Hey, hold on, I heard someone fighting out there.
Hey, hey what the hell happened down down here? Hey, Someone's swinging out here, Mr. Uh, Who's swinging? No, no, who the fuck's swinging? Right now. Relax, Nobody is swinging when you're crazy, who the man. Who the fuck's okay. swinging out here? Hey, listen. Slippery, can it there, you, you demon. Floor. No demons in here. No demons. No horns. Okay. No goddamn right. horns. Listen. Okay, All listen. Right. For starters, so I'm not a demon. They're attached to my head. My father surgically attached him to me as a child because he said I was All right, a no a circus devil. freaks. Get her out of here. Out of no, here. I'm not going anywhere. No circus Love freaks. Hey, hey, hey. No. Stop running. You better stop running. Man, okay. Get your... Hey, all right, now you're trespassing. Here. She's trying to hit me. <gasps> Get out of here. Get the hell out of here. What the hell's the matter with you? Get out of here. Get the fuck out of here, you. Get the Help. stick. I'm Get the I'm fuck out of here. <laughs> uh, smack the horns off her fucking head. <laughs> the Matador. Hold on, what's that one fucking song? Hold on. God damn it! Alright, there we go. Ain Blackthorn, Sebastian Dudley. No fines. Oh, this is the guy. All right. Nolan Stone. No fines. Okay. Haley Wade. Holly. Hey, Haley. Holly Wade. No fucking fines. I was expecting Holly Wade to be a woman, not an ugly man. All right. Uh, Logan Brackley. Billy Bean. Oh, fuckers ain't got no fines. I think this is the faster way to do it. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Uh, what was I going to open up? Fucking. Hold on. There's a faster way to do this. You're a beach. Jackson Huxley. Janie Price Cochran. Desmond Potts. Marcus. Well, I, I'm not even going to try spelling the, uh, saying that one. Blasiel G. Cameron Smith, A. Williams, Ken Lafferty, Betty B. Getty, 
McClanahan. <laughs> Liam Ronalds. Joshua Pierce. Roman Ellis. Anders Dahl. Look, I'm getting into this shit. I'm try I'm trying to do this shit. Fucking uh, yo, Albie, thanks for the 31 months. Mason Thomas. Alexander John Wolf. Casper Roxgard. Bernard Dinks. Karen Ophel. That's everybody. I got the whole list. That was quick. That was quicker than. This is a much quicker method. All right, starting from the top. Desmond Dunn. No fines. Hunter Grand. No fines. Gilbert Dingle. No fines. James McEway. No fines. Okay. Mariana Cross. No fines. Joshua Dunn. No file. Josiah Dunn. This guy looks like a piece of shit. Kira Beach. No fines. A bitch, dude. Not one person with fines is in the goddamn directory. No Jackson Huxley. No fines. Janey Price Cochran. One overdue fine. Thousand dollars. We got our mark. We got our mark. Got our fucking mark. Quick pee time, and then we pursue. Anonymous, thanks for the gift sub. Time to hunt her ass down. All right. Janie, what was she in here for? Selling yard trail. Oh, God. No, he's going to attack me again. I got to get away from him. I just fucking might. Yellow. Listen, hey, are you still listen, selling you that uh, yard trail? The police are coming to arrest you. Yeah. Fuck the police. Send her out here. <clears throat> what you All right, where can well, I meet maybe you? Maybe have a change of heart. Um, probably at the clock and bell. I'm not sure. I'm getting a ride right now. All right, all right. I'll meet you at the clock and bell. How much is it, by the yeah, way? I, just got I don't want to get city, ripped so off. How much? Probably... How much? Run to the nearest restaurant. Let me see where I am. Are you just north of the P or not the PD, the DMV. Uh, where at? I'm actually north of the DMV too. Are you still there? Yeah, I'm in. Uh, I'm in the truck. I'm here on. Uh, what is it? Hey, we have phone issues. Yeah, I think we got disconnected. Yeah, Janie, uh, how much is it? Oh, I have no idea. What's it going for? Uh, no, we'll just talk about it, I guess. We'll try and figure something out. Okay, uh, I'm going to actually be closer to the DMV than the restaurant. I'm at the Legion the, the park. I'm at the park. Oh, okay. 
I'm like right next to you then, man. I don't see you. Uh, should be seeing me sometime. That you running on the phone? Yeah. Janie Price Cochran? I uh, prefer just Janie Price. All right, perfect. Okay. Janie Price, Head Carl, Bounty Hunter, you got overdue fines. I need you to face away from me. We'll take care of this down at the DMV. Depends. Uh, how much is that yard trouble going for now? Going for a thousand dollars that you owe to state. I'll sell it to you for a thousand. You were right under my nose the whole time. All right, listen. Janie, I'm going to need you to face away from me or you're riding the lightning. You got overdue well, fine. Okay. CDS. I don't, well, I haven't bought any CDs in a long time. I'm Just your, you know. Face away. All right, raise your hands. You try anything, you're going to ride the fucking lightning. You got me, Janie? Yeah. Yeah. Taking you in. All Not right, bad. perfect. Pat, what's going on? Janie has overdue oh, fines. This is a bounty hunter business. Are we going to have a problem yeah. here? Are you trying to bust her out? No, sir. I was We're going to have problems here. Copacetic. No, sir. Mind your own fucking business there, nerd. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, get in the back of the truck. We're getting you to take care of them fines. That was quicker than I thought. You were right under my fucking nose the whole time. Yep, as with everybody. Push that shit out of my fucking way. Alright, let's get inside there, Janie. Let me undo your let me undo your feet shackles. Is it you? Do you have the thousand dollars today that you owe the state? No, we're even close. How much you got? Uh, this is you, Mr. Goblin. Maybe a hundred dollars. Incorrect. Bounty oh, hunter right. coming through out of my fucking way. Bounty hunter. You better watch yourself there, horns. You better watch oh, yourself. He's got a gun. Come What's on, your Janie. problem, you old fat boy? Hey, don't you? I'm an old fat man. Mr. Carl, keep her out of here, please. Now you're she's never assaulting going to see me. At the light of day again, oh, now please. she's assaulting me. Can you please? I just want my... Excuse me, but sir, is that necessary? Coming, but never hey, hey, she was within taser range. Tomorrow. Um. Somebody call the police. <laughs> this is getting too hairy. Let's go oh get some God. food. Hey, I'm getting, I'm getting I am, uncomfortable. I am starving, but maybe we should call the cops on this guy. He just bopped her upside the head. <laughs> you know, you're outside of your goddamn element. I'm security here. She assaulted somebody. I took out the threat. Mind your own fucking business there, Bob Cut. didn't insult anybody. Record this on your phone. This is, this is harassment. I'm being attacked and taken kidnapped by these ugly bald men. Help. I bet you you have outstanding fines. No, I don't have outstanding anything except an outstanding hey, nose Coolidge, job I'm going to up, need dude? after you hit me so hard, you ugly gnome. Don't you call me an ugly gnome. Let's get out of here. Let's go around the corner, man. Let's get out. You Temu Santa's helper. I'm not Santa's helper. Bounty hunter. Head Carl. Security guard. Judicial bodyguard. Yes, you're, you're, you're so strong beating on women. Oh, what a good bounty hunter. Who else have you, who have you hunted? I only hunt women. <laughs> hey, mom, mom, what's your hey, Too bad they we need an ambulance you. down here, and we need the cops down here. A woman assaulted one of my people down here, so I smacked her in the mouth and... Uh, we're gonna need to get a. We're gonna need to get to the bottom of this down here at the DMV. I gotta process a fine on a bounty real quick, but I left her laying here on the sidewalk like the piece of trash she is. That's understood. So we'll send the uh, paramedics and police down, all right? On you and I yeah, have we need some paramedics down here, and we need the cops down here too. We need to get to the bottom of this. They're on the way. The Thank you. you. All right, see you.
Listen here, you ugly fat little shit. Once I the police get here, I have three witnesses that saw you attack me. Not only the first time, but the second time. By the time hey, I'm going with you, hey, I'm going to press you. You better get the I'm fuck gonna, back inside! Hey, you better get the fuck back inside, JD! JD, you better get the fuck back inside! Me escuchas feito. Cuando termine contigo, no vas a tener un centavo en tu cuenta de banco, te lo juro. Damn, you talk like when you put a goddamn cassette tape in fast forward. <laughs> hey, you'll be all you right. Assaulted me. No, I'm in pain and I'm going to need a nose job, which you're going to pay for. And Just you're get also another going to pay one. for my... I don't have one to begin with, you jerk! Yeah, just get another one. You'll be fine. <laughs> Maybe if you got one, you'd actually have a, a love affair in your life. Lady, I'm 67 years old. My wife left me for 20 other men. I'm not interested I'm not surprised. in anything anymore. It's because you couldn't find My it. My children you know? don't sure. talk to me. I'm not surprised of that either. And in here, you are beating on women instead of trying to redeem yourselves in hey, the eyes of God. Hey, you look over here. This is going to be you in a second. Quit and now resisting! You're, now you're threatening Quit to... resisting! You see that? <laughs> That's gonna be you in a second. Oh my god. You don't have the balls to hit me that hard. You're right, I'm a law-abiding do... citizen. Oh yes. Well, you're too bad that we have witnesses that are going you to wait. take you for every single penny hey. you have. No woman is going to want you, you ever. You better can it. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, J Janie Honestly, needs a thousand dollars to pay her fines, or she's going to do community service at the prison. Thousand dollars? So you guys better, you guys better get her all sorted out. Otherwise, she's going to do community service to work this off. Speak, Mr. Goblin, attack him now. Stop uh, him. Uh, you want to fucking try it, asshole? I'll blow your fucking head off. His name is not asshole. His I'm name is BB. All right, both of you get from behind that. But Mr. Berto, is that you? What in the yeah. power goblin, is going on you better with get you? The fu Green Goblin, you better get that fucking mask off. Can I go inside? Yeah, you may go inside. Mi Thank you. Mr. Goblin, I will marry you if you attack this, this evil man who attacked me. You attack me? Death is a I'm certainty. Not, I need my I hero. I don't think that would if attack, hero. If you attack me, death is a swift certainty, my man. He, You're more no, than he's welcome not, to he's try. Blind. I was he's Vietnam! Really. Vietnam! He's, he's got the aim of Stevie Wonder. Go for it. He's not going to be able to shoot at you, I promise. Sir, get out from behind really that potted plant! Sir, you better get out from behind that potted plant and get that mask off. You got me? But, but, I, but I'm not... A, just get on the that's, ground! That's right, Goblin! Get I'll on the ground! Out, Goblin. All right, all right, I'm, I'm on get the on the ground! Alright, I'm on the ground. Put your hands down! Lay on the ground! Lay on your belly! Inside! Right, man, get the fuck inside! We got a situation right, out here! The get the, the fuck inside! You stay on the fucking ground! What the fuck is wrong with you? You need therapy, you crazy motherfucker! I'm Hank Carl, the Matador. Bounty hunter, and I do security down here. I'm like hey. God at the DMV. Can I get Why they call you Hank? You stay Carl. on your fucking Why? belly, you piece of shit! Why do they call you Head Carl? Head Carl, sir, I need you to leave the area. This is a scene. This is. A, I need you to leave the area. Uh, okay, dude. Go wait across the street. It'll be over certainly, shortly. Listen, certainly. Listen here. Gordito, when the police arrives, I'm going to press charges on you. So count your seconds because you're going to be a imprisoned man by the time I'm done with you. They're not going to listen to you. <laughs> I have witnesses inside. More hey, people where's of them the cops at? The cops Help, I'm being kidnapped. Are you then, me, por favor? I'm being. Hey, we need to get the cops down here. <laughs> uh, can I get up? Uh, yeah. Back, hey, get the fuck back inside <laughs> for the right. time being until the cops get here. The area is not safe. Why not? Sir, can I please get up off the ground? You must need 77 at a... Yeah, we need the PD down here. I got her handcuffed, too. She attacked... The, uh, the she attacked my guy. She attacked Kristoff. No, that's a lie. That's a lie. I have witnesses. Uh, Kristoff, is this the woman that attacked you? Yes, yeah, she punched me. Walk to the one. I got her, dude. 
That's a lie. I went to leave oh, and I hit him with my shoulder by accident. Yeah, I did not punch uh, him. Yeah, you can no, it. I was gonna say, I didn't know whether we need to stand by or not. Nope. Yeah, I took care of the threat. Police. I need to press charges. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Well, you'll priority at, at the bar. moment, so. Hey, how you Just doing? Leave me in the back of. Please and then, all right, the I got the, the cap on the way down here. Okay, Good. Okay. I'm glad they're showing up. Oh, finally, the real end. police is here, not this Temu version express. Hey, hey, let me tell you something. I'm the security guard. This is my domain. Calla te la boca. Calla te la boca. They're going to change the name of it to the Hat Carl Dojo. Sir, sir, I need you just to move away because I need to treat my patient. Be yeah. careful. She's yeah. violent. You better be careful. Dallas, da, come over here. Hey, Dallas, how you I doing there, officer? Yeah, I'm okay, doing hot. This happens. woman attacked somebody, ran at Dallas, me, so I hit her with my me. taser. We got the individual she attacked? Yeah, Kristoff, he's inside. Hey, Kristoff, the cops need to talk to you. All right, both of them Is he there? Mr. Officer, don't believe a word he says. I was attacked. Um, no, no, no. Speak with oh, me over here, please. All she does okay, is lie. All she does on? is be disrespectful, and then she runs into a problem, and now she, she wants to play nice. You, know? you better get that fucking mask off and get the hell out of here, otherwise you're riding the lightning. Yeah, but, but, but I'm not going inside, sir. They yeah, can't wear that mask. But, but, but I'm not inside. No mask on the property. You got me? Oh, the pro All right, I'll, I'll stand over here. All right. That actually works for me. Stand up for me, please. Thank you. I already oh, put her in cuffs. Main cuffs for them. She's a goddamn mad good. woman. Okay, thank Listen, you. Listen, you little fat gnome. Stop saying mentiras, you liar. I have witnesses inside that look. I can hear he attacked me with a bat inside I'll, that office I'll and tried to keep me hostage. I'll take a while you talk to her. No. He said I look like a cherry right. that he wanted to bite on and tried to attack me inside the office. And I tried to beat him and I couldn't beat him. I handled business, Christophe. I see that, I see that, but you know, I'm... I, now I'm you're indebted it... to me and owe me $7,000. 7000 Tuna sandwich wasn't enough? I got a fine I got to get this woman to pay. Right. Hey, I'll be inside. I got to collect the bounty real fast. All right, I had him down here Shut waiting. Hey, 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 don't, don't, it's hit Carl, the matador, not Gordita. All right, so how much money do you have? hundred dollars. Got a couple more fines I'll be coming due real soon, unfortunately, too. That means your ass is going to have to be working community service. Oh, uh, it's a community service at the prison. I'm not sure who does community service. Okay. You sit tight while we get to the bottom of this. Okay. All right. Gotta go and yeah, see. I brought the entire good. force down here for you. Good job. Thanks. Everyone. Send everyone. Yeah, good job. I guess you might be like a terrorist or something. I don't know about that. You're a hero, Ed Carl. I am a hero. Hey, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? Keep it moving. <laughs> I'm moving, I'm moving. Keep it moving. The DOC listed in here. Hey, how's you doing, oh, first well, loser? Well, what, what am I hearing about what you fucking doing? What are you doing? Right, Woman attacked a man and then ran at me. Attacked a man and the then lead. ran at me in an aggressive manner. Ran at you. So you Got hit it. her. So she attacked someone first? Yeah, yeah. She attacked Kristoff over there. He works at the DMV. Okay, but like, why did she attack him then? 
Don't know. And then she ran at me. I thought she was going to attack I'll back me. Back with too. you later, King. I initially went for Taze, but yes, she got too Benal, close, so I out. smacked her in the nose. <laughs> like so you a bad him in dog. The nose. So, okay, okay. So you're saying she ran at you first and then you defended yourself, but like. I noticed you're not taking any notes. Yeah, no, because uh, I've got it in my mind. Don't worry. I've got a great memory, Mr. Hack Hall. The last Western time Hubble this away. happened, I had to tell them six times what happened. Okay, okay. Hey, Dante, do you want to come take some notes? Oh, really? Sure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a, a new officer to the city. His name is Dante Wolf. How's it, how's it going, um, this sir? is my nice step bro. You. This is Hack Hall, and he... Um, he attacked the lady over there, um, and but apparently Ooh. he's calling self defense. So I want you to listen to his story and um, write it down. Okay. Alrighty. Why don't you run me through it, sir? All right. I'm the security guard here, and the judicial bodyguard, and the bounty hunter. I was bringing my bounty down here to pay her fine. She didn't okay. have enough money. So then I was going to try and get her community service. The woman hit Kristoff. And then ran towards me in an aggressive manner. Oh, so I hit okay. her in the face with okay. my taser. <clears throat> she closed the gap on me. Oh, so she there, got okay. smacked. Go back to my car and, uh... Hey, little okay. so he hey, felt... Little... Oh, hey, hey, you... hey, miss, back up. Ma Sophia, miss, did you see how aggressive she is. No, no, no. I don't no, care if they don't take you to jail. We can go round two if you wanna. No, Listen, no, 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 let's just all relax. Listen, you little Christmas gnome, you temu oh, version whoa, whoa, whoa. of my god. Listen, I will tell my story and then you're going to listen. I was inside the DMV and this guy came outside with a big blood uh, equipment on his hand, like a bat. And he said, oh, who's causing my commotion? Taser. Who's causing commotion? No, it was like a long thing. And then no, it wasn't somehow taser. I asked... Okay, whatever. I accidentally end up inside his office and I try to run out and the door is locked and literally I'm locked in there trapped. I'm scared and he hits me with that stupid like blasting in his hand. I don't and know. And he said I'm going to keep you about. He said I'm going to keep you hostage in I here. I think I hit her too uh, hard. No. Miss, you don't you don't mm. think he hit you because you attacked one of his employees? Oh, okay, listen, Mr. Officer, Please. if you're going to be an officer, you need to know the timeline of things. The, the employee thing happened like 10 minutes later when I was trying to leave the door. Not before. I'm saying when okay. I first arrived. Okay. Wow, well, he's telling me a different story. You're telling me a different story, you know. Um, <laughs> mm -hmm. But who, who who makes more sense, me or him? And also, I, mean, I, I don't know witnesses, either of you, so I'm, you I'm have, neutral. No, but I, I have witnesses. Have they been spoken to? No, because nobody is talking to them. They're inside. Three of them tried to help oh. me. Hey, your honor, who do I hand, uh, I got a fucking bounty okay. that doesn't have enough to pay their fines. How much, who do I hand them off to for bounty? community service? Uh, well, bounty hunters or DOC or PD, they can all, uh, handle community service. Hey, you want to give somebody Just community like service? Yeah, I'm watching you, lady. I got my eyes worry, on they're you. Get, they're getting statements from everyone. Ma'am, okay. you're too close. Ma'am, you, you are know, too I'm close not, to me. You are you in my area. Just, you, you are too you close to I me. Got, you wish I got you. I'm backing away. She is too you close to me. I am backing away. You wish I got close to you. It would be the closest a woman has you been to you since do your it wife to me, left honey. you 20 years ago. Nobody does. Your wife left you 20 years ago. I know because you're nobody's time. No, it was it was well, it was 25 years ago, and she left me for 20 other men. Vietnam Listen, changes, you're nothing man, but an AliExpress wannabe cop, you okay? <gasps> you're not a real cop. Who's AliExpress? I, I wouldn't have you, that. You, you're the AliExpress cop of the you're city, like the bounty hunter. Mm -hmm. My peace is being disturbed. <laughs> oh no. Uh, am I free to go now? You know. Did you give a yes. statement? No, I don't give statements. I uh, said I uh, want to let her go, you know? She, it was an accident. It was an accident. Thank you, Mr. Christoph. You're so kind. Uh, You're so nice. He try to some things Mine right wasn't an accident. Him, I'll do it again. I didn't see anything. I was inside. He just uh, threatened me again. He said he would do it again. I'll Listen do it here, again. Ma'am, back the fuck. Ma'am, ma'am, no, get out of my face, ma'am. Don't it, guys. It's fine. Hey, listen, it's if fine. she gets in my face, I'm gonna. Okay. We're gonna have to go round two. Who hired this unhingeman to be the security for the DMV? Governor Calo. I, I think it was a uh, judge. Jerry did, of course. Fucking Jerry did. I mean, Governor Calo says Jerry. I'm his. I'm his best foot soldier. 
Classic fucking Derry. Honestly, that explains everything. I was in sir, sir, can you put the taser away just for the time being? Well, then if she comes at me, I'm going to have to hit her. And it'll be with a closed Listen. fist, not an open hand. If she comes at you, all right, you have the right to defend yourself, right? We can't do anything about that. Hopefully she doesn't come at no, you. No, I love you, Kristoff. I hate that little fat gnome over there. Want to be Cop AliExpress Temu version of a police officer security. Yeah, Ma'am, I'm going to have to ask you to move along. You're being 86. Listen, I think we need to get that woman across the street for the safety of the people okay. here at the DMV. Look, how fucking cold we're gonna, she's gonna be leaving. Okay, don't perfect, worry. perfect. First of all, callate la boca. This is, this is public. This is not yours. This What's a boca? It's mine. It's all what mine. What is going on right now? I hope they don't. I was hoping to go on a break, but I feel bad because. Yeah, 22 days ago is when your uh, fine was due. Let me see again. Oh shit, we got a fine over here. Sir, I'm gonna need oh you to face away from me at this time. Oh Jesus Christ. Bounty hunter, I'll be taking him from here. Face the fuck away from me. Let's go. Alright, well, I mean, I Get can't you in do anything handcuffs. About that. You got the I, I money mean, to pay your fine today? I got another bounty sitting I mean, in there. Jesus, it's gonna leave me broke and. You and better shut up. I don't give gonna... a fuck if it leaves you broken, homeless motherfucker. We're getting the fuck inside. You're paying your goddamn fine. Yeah, no, he's, uh, I mean, I love Pat to see Carl, bounty, hunters bounty action, hunter. Let's so go. Right. That's Jesus the Christ. They need their fines paid. I can Carl. help with that. Section 6, I'm here in lieu of the fine. Can I just do community right, service? what's your name? Mr. Carl. Nah, it's nah, Cody nah. You, community service comes if you don't have the cash. Oh, Jesus All right, first Christ. off, what's your name? It's Tony Gambetti. Tony Gambetti. All right, let me run yes, this sir. through the system. Hold on. Can you undo his feet shackles and keep an eye on him, officer, while I get this taken care of? Yeah, no worries. Thanks for alleviating the work that I have to do now. Glad no to problem. Glad you guys getting to work. No problem. Tony Gambetti. Hey, ma'am. Yes, sir. That's two T's, brother. Tony Gambetti, one overdue fine. Report number 2718, unpaid, $275. Okay. Do you yes, have sir. the money today, sir? Are you I do. Perfect. You're going to be paying that. Officer, can you get him uncuffed so we can confirm the payment? 100%. Hey, yo, man. This Pull is just out a your legal way of robbing me. All right. Listen, sir. I'm going to be sending the transaction to your phone. Failure to pay will result in one hour of community service. Now pay your fine. All right. Perfect. Oh. Fine has been paid. Get Perfect. Amazing. Better pay your fines, asshole. Otherwise, I'll hunt you I down like a did, fucking Carl. dog, Mr. Gambetti. God damn it. Now I'm fucking broke. All right, well, you learned it the hard way, brother. Hey, where's the, uh... Oh. Hey, there she is. Hey, what do you... Here. She needs Come to be here. in cuffs. Hey, 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 Are you giving her community hey, service? Uh, no, I, I just saw a woman unattended, uh, in cuffs. So yeah, she's my bounty. Came over here. Oh, okay. Well, ma'am, you're a bounty. I got to put you back in cuffs. Right now. She has been cuffing for a while. I was hoping we could count that towards one hour community service. Okay. That's 350 off your fine. Here, are you able to get a hold of the DOC for me so we can get her to hey, work John, off this fine? Stuff. How are you? How you doing? Yeah, I can't give you a moment. Good. Uh, just, just a lot of craziness going on. All right, and then uh, yeah, I'm going right to chalk her up to serving already yeah, one. So that will be 350. Shit. I don't have DOC. Uh, Radio 7. This is cool. No, no, yeah, they're not around. Hack Carl protected me. Mm. Thank you, Carl. I, well, I was told that police DOC officers hey, are DOC serve community free. service. So would I hand her off to you for community service, or how do we do this? The judge told me cops uh, can do it. But I didn't press charges. Yeah, I can figure this shit out. Talk to the police. Yeah, I'll stand you know here with uh, you while you figure it out, because I'm trying to make sure I get it all down, too. It's a new PD. job for everybody, so. Yeah, there's no... Uh, me, personally, I think if she doesn't have the money, I should just plunge her ass into debt. <laughs> yeah. Yo, do I have, uh... 
like a senior officer around at the DMV? I really think we do need to have a debt system. Uh, I need a little help. Come down, come into the DMV really quick. I think I uh, think we do need to have a debt officer. system. Or whatever the fuck. Someone that, that has a stripe. I'm right. Hey, what's hey, going on? How, what do I do with uh, community service in this woman? Uh, why? What does she does she need it? Yeah, yeah so she look, doesn't have Carl enough right money. Here. It's a hundred thousand dollars overdue fine. Yeah. If you pull up the MDW, look up Miss Janie Price Cochran. Going to be five four nine eight one overdue fine, illegal possession of CDS and other charges. January first, two thousand and twenty four. One thousand dollar unpaid. Oh wow. Man, 11 driver's license? Man, what? Weapons man, why'd license you call suspended? yourself Jennifer when I asked you what your name was, man? Um. Huh? It's so the question. Uh, it's, uh, it was a family nickname. Uh, are you so fucking with me right name. now? You fucking no, with no, me right now? No. Do I need to just add a charge to you? And send you on your way. Yeah, she you won't be jail. able to pay the fine. I can tell you that much. <laughs> I don't give a shit. Why are you lying to me? And then I'll hunt their ass down. I don't like being lied to. I don't like being lied to. That's the last thing you ever should do. Just give me your, your fucking given name. All right? I'm going to let this slide one this one time. But next time, I'm going to send your ass to jail. You understand? I'm going to talk to the judge real quick. Hey, Judge Judge Lambda. Yeah, what's up? Hola. So, officers can serve community service. And DOC my, can serve community sure service. Official, uh, my understanding uh, is yes. Service. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure we kind of just like make them work, and then we have somebody have supervise them, and then after that, so, it's kind of you know. Let me discuss over here. Oh, uh, there's and no then, DOC around to make like supervisions and shit. Oh, gotcha. Well, maybe I don't know. Uh, hey, uh, we can make you know, like you can have her do community service here at the DMV. Carl, can you supervise or something? I'm hunting bounties, asshole. You want me? Nah, I can't. Right, never mind. I can't supervise every bounty he's I hunt while uh, they do community service to pay their fine. Yeah, he's right. uh, he's, he's putting her in, in my care to figure out where she can do community. I service. I would just say make her a janitor at the DMV. Yeah, I All mean right. we can. Uh, let's see. Maybe. Uh, hold on. I know a guy who's off duty right now. DLC. Let me see if he can come help us. Owner right, you guys gonna sort this out then? Because I got more bounties yeah, I gotta we'll, hunt we'll, down. Go, go be a, go yeah, we'll be a, go be a badass. Just fill we'll me in on what it is. We're trying to flush right. everything you out the, here. Uh, yeah, you in the yellow pages? Uh, no, I can be. Yeah, be in the yellow pages so I can call you. All right. Appreciate it. All right, I'm in there yeah. now. Just hack Carl the Matador for you. All right, got you. Appreciate it. Hey, you better get that. I'm getting tired of telling this guy to get his fucking mask get off. Get away from me, right? you ugly little uh, no. Sir, you better get that fucking mask off. Yeah, you know, you better stand right over there, you piece of shit. You're very close. He's not a, he's very not a mask. Ma'am, get the fuck out of my face. I'm gonna kick him. Kick your ass. Don't you threaten me, ma'am. I will defend myself against you. Defend yourself right with your hands. Ma'am, do not blood. threaten me. I will put you in custody. I bet you got outstanding fines. What's your name? What's that lady's name? Get the fuck out of my face! She's up in my face! She's up in my fucking face! You're going I pushed her away from me. She was right in my goddamn face. Breathing in my face and shit. Her breath smells like cosmo cosmopolitans and cum. Oh my god. Ew. That's a nasty combo. Thank you for protecting us, Hack Carl. You're doing an amazing job, sir. Sofia Castellone. Castellano. I could. I don't expect you to know how to pronounce it with the IQ of that tire right there. Wait, wh how the hell do you from, spell Casti? How do you spell Castellano? Okay, I'll tell you. It's C A S T A L L A N O. Like this that. woman doesn't have a profile. 
She's off the grid. No, I, I can show you my ID. Look. Why Hi, show me your ID. Me? Um, okay. One, two, six, five, hack borrow. One, two, six, five. Yeah, one, two, six, five. You one, spelled two, six, Sophia five. wrong. You probably spelled it S-O-P-H, correct? <laughs> No, I tried Not spelling Castellano. She's uh, she doesn't have any fines, no priors. All right. No, cause I'm not a criminal like you, you crazy unhinged fat yeah. man. You attacked you attacked Christoph. It's okay. I think it was an accident, Mr. Mr. Carl. We'll let her slide one time. I, give her a I regret nothing. <laughs> you regret I regret nothing. nothing. Not, I regret nothing too. And next time I get you, to wear a in mantequilla. Wait, Sophia, you don't regret accidentally elbowing me. No, I do regret. No, no, I do regret that. You're nice, Mister. I got a little headache. Regret this. I gotta go look up some more bounties. Can you tase me? I want to just see how it feels. You know. No, I can't tase you. We phone a friend. Friends also agree with the okay, Bam, are you ready to do computer service? Yes or no? Yes. Hey, 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 hey. Right, wait, wait hey, you want to know the, the thing that we do now? Uh, Clear yeah. it up. All right, you pretty much just, um, uh, yeah, you bring them to uh, us. And then, or actually, maybe you might even be able to do this. Do you have access better. to a, uh, you have an MBW, right? Yeah, I do. Do you have access to the community service report? The a Don't other applications? Me. No. All right. Well, then, anyways, you call us. Then we, uh, oh, no, no. Actually, you just find a lady, somebody you trust at the hospital or over here. Find them a place to do community service. They do that shit for like an hour or three. Then you call one of us to come down there. And then we ask the person that supervised them questions on how they did. And then we have to mark it down through a community service report. And then a court clerk approves it or denies it from there on out. All right. All right. All right. So what I'll do is if I get them in custody, they can't pay their fine, then I, I call the cops and then just hand them off to you guys and you assign them community service. Yeah, or you can assign it to them and then we'll just come after they finish their community service shift. You just got to find a, a reasonable supervisor, like a doctor or something. or you know, they're doing A that, credible uh, supervisor. That's it. Yeah. Like That's we just not got Wisteria over here to do it. Yep. That's not you. I could capture people and make them do community service to help me bounty hunt their friends. You could do that too, yeah. But then you'd be the supervisor. And they better do a good job. Otherwise, I'm going to say they don't do a good job. All right. Whatever you say, Carl, we'll write it down. I got more bounties I got to bring in. All right. Get to work, brother. <laughs> bounty hunting is kind of fun. We just need the meta MDW for it. So we can look up who's around and shit. Hey, suck it in. I'm glad I got to hit Sofia Castellano. Boop, boop, boop. All right, we got more people to look up here. All right, uh, looking. Up. Uh, yeah, all right. Desmond Potts. No fines. No fines. Marcus W I J. No fines. Leon Fairbanks. No fines. Let go. No fines. Cameron Smith. No fines. Definitely has some upcoming, though. Uh, Shay William. Fine. Ken Lafferty. No fine. All right, we don't have many more to look up. Barry B. Getty. Getty? There, there we go. No fine. All right, Liam Ronalds. 
finds a cop. <laughs> Joshua Pierce. One overdue fine. We got one. $100 unpaid. Petty as shit. All right, we got one. All right, we got a hit in the database, boys. We got a hit in the database. What was he listed in here for? What was he listed in here for? Let's take a look. All right. Hey, what was his name again? I had a brain fart. Joshua Pierce. All right, check the directory. Joshua. Buying materials. Hello. Hey, how much you paying for uh, jewelry? Um, depends on what you got. Uh, what kind do you have? Gold rings, watches, ruby earrings, emerald. What about I mean, two hundred uh, bucks an hour? I, know, so I for got the earrings. Like, I got like maybe oh. eight. Uh, for the earrings, I could do about like five a piece. I got nine. Uh, I got a bunch of materials too. What's the price on that? Uh, for the materials, I do 10 for, like, 10 scrap for a dollar. And then I do, for the solid stuff, I'll do a dollar for each. All right. All right. Where you at? You want to meet up? Do some dealing? Oh. Uh, Show you what I got? Yeah. Give me a bit, and then I'll give you a call back. All right. Sounds good. Yep. Yep. Take it easy. Right over here, hold on. Yo, Sneakster. Thanks for the fucking three months, dude. Alright, who else do I gotta look up? Was Joshua Pierce was the last one. Hold on, Julian Fairbanks ain't one of our hits. Get out of here. Alright, Joshua Pierce was the last one we looked up. Roman Ellis. Fines. Anders Dahl. Anders Dahl. Fines. Mason Thomas. Oh, fine. It is hard. Uh, let's see. Alexander John Wolf. No oh, fines. Jasper Roxgard. Hard Dinks. Aaron O'Fell. Nope. Only only two hits in the directory. The entire directory that we only got two hits. There's so many outstanding finds. Hmm. I'm trying to think. Like I'm gonna message Mantis real quick. Pick his brain. So what I think is bounty hunters have a meta MDW to tell them when people have outstanding fines that are on the server. But cops, when it comes to warrants, and bounty hunters, when it comes to apprehending people with active warrants, that information isn't fucking said. But meta information about people having outstanding fines being said on the server, I don't feel like is, is damning as, like, someone having, like, you know, potentially warrants and then it be, being said they're online. I think that kind of is, like... I think that kind of is like the perfect fix for it. Pinged by local witness. Yeah, but the thing I'm thinking, Joe, is it just says they're on the server. That's all it is. You know what I mean? Like, I didn't hate the meta MDW when it was on no pick, so I actually thought it helped progress RP at a pretty good, like, rate. Because you knew who to be looking for, so you know, like, you know, because it's like, it, it makes sense to have a meta MDW. Like, it kind of, it makes sense. 
Because people are technically aren't off the out of the world. Hey, what's going on? What's going on? Where you want to meet at, and then I'll come see what you got, and I'll give you a I price. can meet you anywhere. Uh, fuck it, you want to meet at the uh, like red garage near apartments? All right, I got you. I'll meet you in the red garage. All right, sounds good. All right, see you soon. Yep, yep. Yeah, I rented this, and I'm not giving it back. Hello. They let you know I'm here. Oh, okay, yeah, I'm uh, by the... Hello. Where are you at? Uh, um, I'm in the garage right now. I'm like parked uh, by the street All right, side. I'm coming down the stairs right now. Gotcha, gotcha. Joshua Pierce, hat Carl, you have unpaid oh, fines. $100. Oh, Get against what? the goddamn wall. Gee. Oh. Tell me, taking you down to the DMV to pay your $100 overdue fine. Face away from me. All this for a fucking $100? You couldn't have just told me to come down there and pay yeah. the shit? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> we're getting you down there. We're paying off this damn fine. Let's go. You follow me, asshole. Jesus. <laughs> Nobody I mean, gets away from the matador. You could have just told me to come down there and pay the fucking fine. I would have gave you a tip and everything. You ain't have to go through all this. Guy with you. Huh? What? This guy with you over here. This guy no, with you. I don't know who the fuck that is. I don't know who this guy is either. Keep your eyes peeled. I'm going to get you inside where it's safe. Hell yeah. Hey, give me a gun. I'll, I'll protect you. Don't worry. Get inside. Get inside. God damn it, I said to get inside, didn't I? I, I? I would like to, but it's locked. It was locked. Get the fuck inside. There we go. We gotta get out of here. Block's too hot. It's a nice truck. Yeah, it's a rental. Oh. It'd have been a lot cooler if it wasn't, but hey, it is what it is. Better keep up with them fines there, Mr. Pierce. What, what was it, like a speeding ticket or something? Don't know, I didn't look. <laughs> oh, fair enough. It's $100 yeah, it's... unpaid. You got about the money. how much I care about am it, I too. Sending... Yeah, I got... Or am I sending yeah, I you to community money. service? No, I got the money for it. All right, fantastic. Let's get this whole thing sorted out. That's why I was saying, if you would have just called me to come down, you're like, damn. 
I was excited. I thought somebody was getting ready to sell me some materials. You know how hard that shit is to come by? That was a good little trap you set up. Good little ruse. Hell yeah. All right, let's go. Come on, Joshua. Let me undo them feet shackles yours. Okay, okay. If you run, I'll have to beat the shit out of you. Yeah, it's a hundred dollars. I ain't trying to get my ass whooped over a hundred dollars. It's all right. And I'm in handcuffs. People, so what the fuck am I gonna do? <laughs> yeah, it makes right, sense. Got another one. Got another one. Shoot me over. Another one so in the good. books. So good at your job. Hell yeah. Stand in front of the desk there, dipshit. All right, Mr. Pierce, Mr. Pierce, let's take a look. Did I type in the wrong one? 2289. Yeah. Oh. All over a damn park. Oh, well, you have two of them. Looks like something. you have one for, do you want to pay both your fines today? One for a hundred, the other one for a hundred and five. You know what, fuck it, yeah, let's do this, and then you ain't gotta come back and find me in, like, another week or two. Alright, I submitted that payment to you, let me get you out of these cuffs. Yeah. Hey, hey, get off my desk! I, you pushed me up here, what the fuck? Get off my damn desk, Joshua! Alright, let's get that fine paid, and then I'm gonna send you another one to pay. Pull out your phone, get off my goddamn desk! Yeah! Oh, what a guy. fuck is your problem? There, there. Take All the right, perfect. Money. You got another fine to pay. Let's get that one taken care of, too. All right, there you go, and submitted. Yep, there you go. Perfection, there Am we I go. Am I good to go? I'm not going to get my ass beat for walking out the door? Yeah, Dirt, nice. you're free to leave. Hell yeah. Oh. Well, next time, just give me a call, and, you know, you don't... Have to trick me. See, ma'am. People who pay their fines don't end up holding a broom next to a potted plant. I oh, yeah, couldn't catch me dead doing that shit. I make two. Another person named Cat. Hey, All right, you're gonna have to go. If you ever looking for, you know, if anybody's uh, a little too hard to come by, you know what I mean. You let me know. I'll uh, I'll try and get them in for you. You know. All right, perfect. Let me call Berto oh, yeah. for you. Oh, well, that works too. Me and Berto uh, have a deal. Are you interested in the game of Riddles? Hello, hat. Hey, Mr. Berto, I need you down here. Huh? I will be down there soon. I'm dropping uh, Judge Nora off, so I'll Hello. be there in two minutes. All right, All right. I got a guy here for you, Joshua Pierce. He just paid his fines. All right, I got you. I'll be there soon. Goodbye. All right, see Thank you soon, you. Berto. See you soon. Bye. At this point, I'm about to just run up on random people and say they have unpaid fines. But I feel like that's just lazy RP. Like, I have no way of identifying people that owe fines, especially in, like... So it's like, do I talk to people? All right. All right, I got an idea. I got an idea. Yeah, Mantis thinks that's a pretty good idea, too. So people with actual warrants... They don't show up on the meta MDW as being online, but people with overdue fines do. That's simple. I mean, I wouldn't hate the idea of, like, the people with active warrant showing up on there either, but uh, hey, I think... Whatever. Only bounty hunters can see people have fines that are online. So that way you can keep the ball moving. Like, you can literally do this stuff 24 fucking 7 then. I mean, what I could do is... Hold on, it's actually not a bad idea to go to the PD. Have you seen anyone lately with outstanding fines? Or something like that. They can give me a list with some... And I can try and find them. I mean, the other thing I can do is, like, try and call people that have fines, but... I'll be at that shit all day. There's, like, fucking... 10,000 players on the fucking server. This could work.
So the, all right, so all right, so here's all right, here's how it'll be. All right, here's what I'm thinking. Oh, hey, how you doing there, biker pussy? <laughs> yeah, dude. We said no, but that guy in there is a very honorable man. He knew our father, Douglas B. Bet you that guy has an outstanding find. Those are the that's one. Those are the two people I ran into. So the two. Those are two of the four people I ran into the other night. Apparently, the hillbilly over there said he beat up his cousin. This is our, there's a chance they might be watching me. Go camp the hospital and ca and fucking camp the hospital and catch people while they're down. Are you crazy? Hey guys, where are you going? You realize that's power gaming, right? I, I'll, I'm catching up. Head on down to the Vespucci Police Department. Ain't a bad idea, though. Brother, that's a horrible idea. All right, so if someone has an active warrant, even if they have outstanding fines, they don't show up. So it's like if you have an active warrant for your arrest, you don't show up. So that way you actually got to hunt down people with warrants. Because there's far less people with active warrants than there are with people who with overdue fines. Far less. Hey, Carl, the Matador. Yeah, I came to the Josh Pierce guy. He's like, I don't need a ride anymore. I was drunk back then. Like, why are people fucking with me, man? I don't know there, mister. Maybe it's because your last name's Berto and they're not taking you seriously. Yeah, but it's fine because I was coming here anyway, so I'm not that upset. It's just that, like, he's just like, oh, I don't need a ride now. I was drunk back then. I don't even know. Well, he wasn't intoxicated at all. He, he had to pay some overdue <laughs> fines. Well... Yeah, I don't, he said he doesn't need it either. Well, but thanks for, you know, thanks for... Hey, I got your back, Berto. Appreciate it. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you. And just call me Ro, please. Thanks. All right, Mr. Berto. I'll talk to you later. Talk to you later. Bye. <laughs> hey, Chad, I found a door that's always unlocked in the PD. By the way. I found one they never lock. Yeah, Jayza, thanks for the 47 months. This one. <laughs> they never locked this one. How I, I don't understand how other people haven't found this shit. I guess many people just ain't as creative as I am. I don't think this is going to work. Aiden, thanks for the 17 months. That's ass. Thank you. Caught me off guard. Three one one, brother. If they ain't answering a nine one one call, they ain't answering a three one one call.
fuck? And I guess I could recheck the directory. I need someone who knows the people around here. Pigtails, how are you hey, today? Hey, Grandpa. I'm fine. How are you? Grandpa? What do you mean? I need to find a way. I'm a terrible artist, so I don't even try. I don't even hey, try. Hey, I need to talk to you oh, in you the back, Christoph. All right. Sorry, I got to be talked to in the back. Am I in trouble, sir? No. Oh, Mr. Carl, was that Am you? I in trouble, sir? How you doing there, Judge Dupree? Uh, yes, for love court, I want you to wear what you wore yesterday to drain the swamp. Do I, do I scream down with the... Do I scream up with the conservative right and down with the, no, with the no, liberal left? No, no, none of that. I don't want you screaming anything, okay? I don't want you screaming anything, just, just drain, wear the do outfit, I stream, okay? Do I scream, drain the swamp? You can sleepy, just, you, we you can't can, let can, Sleepy Sean get away with it. Right, you you can you can scream drain the swamp uh, twice. No, no, no. You you get actually maximum five taps. Okay. Choose All right, wisely. perfect, perfect. All right, yeah. Is okay. it tomorrow? What time? Uh, three p.m. Eastern. That's easy to do. Perfect, perfect. Oh, sorry, I interrupted your. Uh, no, your it's okay. I'm just trying to. Uh, I'm trying to locate some bounties. I'm having a hard time locating people with bounties. I'm not just going to go around asking people if they have outstanding finds. I'm hunting them down. All right, I hunted down oh. three so far. Oh, wow. Three already. Jeez. He's yeah, I did three today man. so far. Jeez. Uh, three today for fantastic. four total finds. One for a thousand. Another one for a hundred, another one for a hundred, and then another one for like two sixty. Excellent work, sir. Excellent work. But I'm I just so don't have. You. I just don't know. Uh, I haven't seen people. Uh, I don't know if I should work with the police trying to f locate people who have outstanding fines, but. Eh, Is there fuck an the easy police. way you could find a list or something. Uh, you know who you should go after? Who? Oh. There is a criminal called Flash Cassidy with over fifteen to twenty thousand dollars in fines. What? Fifteen thousand? Yeah, that guy's Flash fucking. Flash Cassidy. Holy shit! This guy's a fucking gold mine. Yeah, no, I think you should absolutely go after him, Hat. You're a very efficient man, and I, I thank you for the work that you do. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's oh, gonna be a lot of. Gotta He's got a lot of fines. No, you're good. I saw him outside the DMV a few days ago, so I know you can find him, Hat. He has pink hair, right? Is that yeah. him? And he walks around saying, uh, I'm not guilty at all. No way, it's me. I am innocent. Just out of nowhere. I got some business I got to tend to. Thanks for the God tip, speed, boss. Hat. Godspeed. Hey, better not be causing any pride. Hey, hey, you two are sitting way too close together. Way too close. That's your grandpa. Hey, grandpa. Hey, how you doing? Ooh. Hello, sir. Are you interested in a game of realistically? <laughs> Fuck you and your riddles, dipshit! Is that your new truck? I rented it! It's not as cool as yours, though! Oh, thank you. Maybe I can get lucky and catch a Marabunta boy lacking. See, they don't think I'll come after them, especially after yesterday's mind games.
And some almost fell through the earth. Fucking mantis. Where's Pat at? No Marabunta boys. I like they can pay those fines anyway. I mean, you know what I think the fix is? I think that if you have over $5,000 in fines, you get plunged into debt. It's clearly, clearly ain't going to pay that shit. Like, if you got, like, over 5K in multiple fines and you haven't paid them and you're, like, a month or so over, do you just get plunged into fucking financial debt, maybe? But I know that they want to avoid p putting people in debt, but I don't know if that'll work. I mean, community service does create RP, though. Hey, Carl, the yeah, Matador. Exactly. At Carl Matador Bounty Hunter, uh, I got a name that you need to go grab. Six overdue oh. fines. You got someone for me? Hey, listen, you guys tell me who you yeah. want me to go. I, you know, I prefer for us to work together like that. You tell me who to go after. I'll get them. Where they at? Who are? Yeah, I was told that you're supposed to go collect people for overdue fines and shit. But uh, yeah. You want to be my handler? Like you can be like Charlie, and I'll be your angels. Oh. Hey, yo, Rusty yo. got disconnected. Hey, you want to be like my handler? Or you can be like Charlie and I'll be your angels. <laughs> uh, I mean, I was just told to call the bounty hunters to go give people with overdue fines. We don't handle that. Okay, yeah, you just tell me, um, you just tell me where I'm going. Tell yeah, me who yeah, it look. is. Ray Valentine. All right, last scene, black beanie, uh, black shirt, some sort of design on the front, right, this uh, is and some jeans. All right, perfect. I'll be on the lookout for this asshole. Yeah. Ray Valentine, 34, consider him caught. 30, $34,000 in overdue fines. Jesus. This guy's going to be doing fucking community service for fucking years. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh, What's yeah, your, Ray uh, Valentine. Your name? What do I call you? Do you have, like, a cool code name? Uh, The 15. All right, the 15. All right, 15. Yeah. The Matador is going to take care of Mr. Valentine. Solid. You better have a good ass day. You better have a good ass day. I will. Ray Valentine, huh? Thank you. Snowball, my man. I know I just drove past a payphone, but I don't want to use a payphone over there. Use a payphone a little further away. Yeah, the thing is, though, people, um... Look, man, uh, the only way that you get people to pay their actually pay their fines is if you add a multiplier onto all their jail time, but not their fine. So what it is, it's like if you prove that you can't pay your shit, you know what happens? You have to spend 2.5 extra t per, like uh, minutes in jail or some shit. But even then, some people won't care because they'll just log off, play another character. So, I mean, unfortunately, you have to have something that's, like, more punishing than time, which is debt. 
But then again, debt's not even that punishing because most people have groups and there's people who can help them in their groups. It's kind of uh, a little difficult to figure out. But we'll get there. I think whatever, it, it doesn't matter really. It's like the RP is so good, it just doesn't matter. But get it all figured out eventually. But there, uh, there has to be some type of, like, penalty. Because it's like on Pal Gore, am I allowed just to commit rampage after rampage after rampage? You know what I mean? That, is that what I'm allowed to do? Just go on endless rampages, never pay shit, and just use whatever money I get to buy cars and guns? A guy like this I bring before a fucking judge, and he's gonna lose his emperor. The thing is, though, this guy's assets are dog shit. Like, if I take this guy before a judge right now, he's gonna lose his car. But he can just buy a lockpick. Where's a payphone in an area? It's like a little different. Mayhem, it's called. Yeah, yeah, but the but it doesn't matter because how are you supposed to generate money for the economy if people ain't paying their fines, right? I could have swore there was a fucking payphone over here. I should have just went to one that I know where it is. Fuck me. Oh, there's there's two. I was on the wrong street. too sure though I do like the system it's just very new and we have to iron it out Yo, just one pack. Hey, how you doing there, one pack? Yo, who this? I'll ask the questions around here. All right. Want to know the Can truth? Can I help you? Yeah, I don't want to know the truth. Seem like the type of guy that knows how to get a job done. Hey, I do be doing shit for money, dog. Something tells me you're the type of guy that needs money. I, bro, I'm not gonna lie, bro. I'm like thirty-four thousand dollars in debt to PD right now. So well, yes. that's a fucking shame. We gotta do something about that. Listen, in ten minutes, precisely ten. Can you hear me on this? Yes. In precisely ten minutes, I need you to head to the Richmond Motel. There's Where gonna that be at? a man in a suit. A white suit. Alright, head to the gas station off Cougar Avenue. Alright. In five minutes. It's not ten anymore, it's five now because you didn't know where the previous location was. So you're getting penalized for not knowing where the first place was. Alright. Alright, five minutes, gas station on Cougar Ave. Good gas station on Cougar Ave. Five minutes, no sooner than that. I'll know. Alright. I... And then, you know what we're going to do? Make money? Make a lot of money. You see, my name's Cocaine Kenny. Oh, you got that powder. I got so much powder, I don't know what to do with it. You say you're in $30,000 in debt? Yes. I can get you way out of that. Easily. With a lot of extra cash. All you got to do is do what I say. All right, Cocaine Kenny. You got five minutes from now, okay? No sooner. Five minutes starting now. All right.
I ain't fucking playing with these gang members. Why did I just run in there? Ah, fuck it. This is funnier. I know, get on the roof. This is how I can capture him if he has multiple people. Wait, there's no ladder up here in base game. Son of a bitch. That's not an issue when you got a Sand King, though. Hold on. Goddamn fucking shit. be flashbacks to Vietnam. All right, odds on I'm actually coming. Boom, baby. Is he alone?
Cute phone, he can't call me back. That was a pay phone, dummy. Are you looking Holy for shit, cocaine, bro. Carl? I don't know. Who's asking? That's right. You're looking for cocaine, Kenny. Yes. Go around back. Suit. He's, he's waiting you. for you. Well, because he's in a white I... suit, dummy. Oh. Oh. He's around back waiting for you. Ray Valentine! Oh no. You way. have outstanding finds! Head Carl Bounty Hunter! Get him up! Get him Damn up now! Face away from me! Alright, dog. Hey. Hey, who You're coming with he me! I told you. I did not think he called you, bro. What's that sound? You better get the fuck out of here. You better let me go before they kill you, bro. You better get in the car. I'm in a gang, dog. They gonna kill you, bro. I'm in a gang, dog. They will kill you. They don't care enough to fucking come get you. I'm out of here. We're going down to the DMV, me and you. I can't pay my fines, dog. If I could pay my fines, I would have already paid them. Damn, well, I hope you look good in a janitor onesie. I. Dog, you know how many community service hours I have to do? 95, bro. Carl, the Matador. Hello, Mr. Carlos. It's Dave here, but Come you're on, the dog. SSD. I'm just wondering if you're available at the moment. I'm, a, I'm available. What's up? All right. I need to get a witness statement from yourself. All right. Regarding the incident with the individual that got trespassed from yourself and ended up getting arrested. All right. All right. Look, I'm dealing with a bounty right now. Head on down to the DMV. Oh, but in luck, oh. I'm already here. All right. Perfect. Talk to you later. No worries, but back. See, that guy didn't give a fuck about you. Nobody gives a fuck about me, dog. I'm from How much money you got in the bank? $40. I had to spend $400 on a lockpick because the cops took it. I'm down bad. I appreciate it. I'm going to let you go. Get out of hey, Mr. 15th, guess what? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, what's up? I got him in custody. You got Ray Valentine. Ain't no way I you're got, calling that dumbass I cop got, 15, I bro. got Ray Valentine in custody. He's in the back of my truck right now. Hey, is that the cop that took my life? Solid oh, work. Solid work. The he matador. only has $40. Uh, he can't pay any of his fines. I was hoping you could help me sort out his community service. Uh, yeah. I'll uh, make my way down to the DMV. All right, I'll see you down there. We can figure this out together. All right, solid. See you soon. Bye. Well, 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 Ray Valentine. What gang you in? Do they have outstanding fines, too? I, I ain't in a gang, bro. I'm a Southside floater. Damn, so you're a turd. I am the shit, dog. I just kind of roll with whoever wants to hang out today. I want to hang out today. I might make you my little bitch boy. You can help me catch people to have fines. All right. Hey, you need a criminal to catch criminals, dog. It's smart. Yeah, hold on, we got it. I'm backing up, I'm backing up. Dumbass thought Cocaine Kenny was real. Hey. Sorry I want money, dog. I can pay my fines. I was expecting you to run. You know, sometimes I hope for that. Takes me back to when I was in Nam. I wish I would have had a gun, because then I would have just shot you, but can't all be winners. I would have ran up so fast and just pistol whipped you with my taser like a little bitch. Why would you do that, dog? Why would you not just shoot the taser at me? Why you gotta run? Nah, I'd probably run away and pull out my gun. That's why I was close to the corner in case you did have a gun. 
I think about these well, kind of things. That means you, uh, Mr. Yeah. Valentine. Yeah. Right. So you're like a professional and shit. See this lady right here? She's doing community service for a fine. Hey, stand in front of the desk! Oh, my bad. Hey, we can be nice, bro. I'm, I'm complying and shit. Uh, let's take a look at this, Mr. <clears throat> Three nine four nine. Yes, sir. I try. I, I... Two thousand one hundred and forty-five one six zero zero. Hey, your honors, <laughs> we got a guy with yep. over thirty thousand plus in fines. He's got an emperor. You guys want to seize this shit? Jesus Christ! What's a five hundred dollar car going to wow. do to thirty thousand dollars? Please, wow. please don't take my car. I think we should take his car. Please don't take my car. Please. Wow. You, 30,000. 30, I am not good. Yes, ma'am. Uh, he I has currently in unpaid fines 5,300, 2,600, 1,600, 2,100, 320, and 750. Jesus Christ. He What's has no money to his name. Unpaid fines total to approximately $10,000 currently. A little over that, more like twelve. Twelve thousand dollars in unpaid fines. What's Overdue state fines, I should say. Nine four nine. Yeah, two nine four nine. Mr. You know Valentine. what? Might have to get him a mop and put him on community service here. You might have to help clean. I am not cleaning for 95 hours. That's not going to happen. Gonna You're going to clean for 95 happen, hours. Sir, owing the state over $10,000, what did you think was going to happen? I was going to, I'm going to therapy. Who's the guy that does the, that does criminal anonymous? I, I was going to that guy. I'm working it down. All right. It was at 98. I'm down to 95. I'm making progress. Who was doing this therapy for you? There he is. I'm over uh, here at my desk. Gotcha. Bro, you really called his ass, dog. What the hell? Yeah, I, I have an obligation to tell the bounty hunters, man. I told you the truth, dog, and you fucked me. Now you fucked me. I didn't. Me. I didn't. You I, get me over and you fucked me, I cut me, you dog. loose. I cut you loose from He's losing tampering his with emperor. vehicle. <laughs> you had $34,000 in goddamn fines, man. You cut me loose and gave me to the devil, bitch. What the hell? I'm, I'm not, not the a, devil. I'm, I'm the matador. There it is. Oh, there you are. You're doing work. Okay. El matador. Okay, uh, I gotta call Tiberius and let him know that I have a magistrate here. What? Uh, yes. Why? Please, yeah. Or why? Please. Because I called Tiberius a little while ago. Oh. I let him know that you're here, so he doesn't have to come down and waste time. One. Why do I know you're? Okay. Hey, I Tiberius. Got I got a. I got a magistrate down here, so you're good. Who's you? Give me a moment. I think I see someone. Hold on. Oh. Okay. Judge Archibald Lambda. Oh, yeah, you presided right. over my, my trial, bro. Well, I All was right. the first hot gun charge. All right. Oh, nice. Sounds good. Peace out. Did you get fucked? All right. Oh, uh, yeah, my lawyer was dumb as hell, bro. He didn't even he didn't even come talk to me before the court case. He just went in oof. blind. He, he fucked me. He fucked me more than the Matador's fucking me right now. Oof. Um, is, are, are you able to get your debt settled? Oh, if you take my car, how can I work? Uh, you, you better start walk. riding a bike and walk, man. You got you got good legs. And yeah, you could start you walking. <laughs> Maybe what you should do okay. is you should do a uh, fundraiser, like you do a walk for some. Ch you do a. Ch you know what? That's what I'm gonna make you do. All right, I'll work it out with the police that we knock off two thousand dollars off your fines if you do a charity walk from here to Polito. Uh, By myself. Okay. It was. Uh, what was <laughs> the state ID again? Two nine four nine. Oh, three. Yeah, three nine four nine. Three nine four nine. Your honor. I was getting somebody else. Thank you. Oh. Um, at least you're not in jail, man. I'm about to send him up there to do community service in prison. He's got to do ninety five hours. Ooh. Come on, dog. No, it makes you feel better. You don't have to do that. You only have to do. Uh, 14. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Okay, 14 so who, hours? Who are you um, working this whole community service thing out with? 
whoever does he Criminal done? Anonymous, I don't know who he is. I'm he looking like, for the owner of the a white black guy, pickup hair. truck Benjamin parked at the side of the DMV. Yeah, him. Hey, that's mine. What's going on? Sorry about it. Had to deal with a bounty. Oh, Told that shit, dog. Hey, Told that shit. It's going to be $5 for your bus. Oh, you right can, I work right here. here. Come on, take care of my parking right pass for me. Come on. Come on, we work together. Who has each other? Who has your back? The oh, mandatory. Did you, did you order food? I thought you could get me safe. I got you safe. Yes, I got you safe now. Here, look. Oh, you see this wing? Mr. You're under it. You have, You're oh, under sure. that wing. Yes. Who right. keeps you safe? Huh? Two combos in, so that I got them safe? for you, sir. I keep you safe. Someone pulls a gun out on you, I shoot them in the back of the head. No hesitation. All right, because the other the other security workers here, they ain't they do quite. Quite a good, a good a job. They don't do Somewhere quite as good of a job as me. You saw, you saw me in action. Right, you I saw did, me. yeah. You had that gun on me as soon as I started firing. Hell yeah, I did. I'll be there. You want me to be your friend. Right. Me and you are a team, all right? All right, I'll give you your parking pass. Langium, thanks for the 25 months. <laughs> Hey, yeah, out of my out of my way, bitch. Well, uh, Carl, he's uh, currently got one thousand six hundred and fifteen in his account, so we can take that. Oh, so he's full of shit, huh? You said you had nothing. In your Ain't account? like that, dog. Hey, Come on, man. Uh, fifteenth, you mind getting him out of his cuffs? Yeah. So we can get him to pay up on some of these fines. He's got one. That he's got some he can cover. We can put him back into cuffs. No, take him out of he's 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 still in he cuffs in right cuffs. now. No, he's still in cuffs in right cuffs. now. Yeah, oh, he's okay. still in right, keep right. your eye on him. You try and run, I'll hunt that ass down and beat you down like a fucking dog. Seen him do it. Alright. Um what well, we need to take him. We gotta go take him, go get his. No, name. no, we can do it right here. No, we can just do it oh, right okay. here. Sounds good. I'm not getting my paycheck, so you guys can take even more money from me. Fuck You're you. Not getting... You're not getting your paycheck. Oh shit! I think. Well, I think we should take him. In. Okay, hold on. That's so actually don't. It's a good idea. Don't. Right. Yeah, I, I, I'm pretty sure that you're. Uh, okay. He's running. Okay, oh. he's running. Do you like, sir? You don't want to do this to yourself. I got your back, fifteen. Stop running. Stop running. Good taste. Good taste. I got the stick ready for him. Going for the, I'm getting his hands in cuffs. All right. Lucky I got you because he was going to beat your ass. I was going to fuck you up. I was going to hit you so hard you weren't going to be the fucking same. You fast for old as shit, dog. I was in Vietnam. Vietnam! Yeah, he's seen some shit. EMS for PD. Hey, hey dog. I'm sorry. You're lucky they're here. Shit, You're lucky they're okay, here. I'd shoot your ass. For uh, taser prong removal. Shoot me. Hey, why would you do that, dog? Well, what? What? Nothing. All right, I can't. This, no, this is the process. Me, He's not gonna kill, kill you. Me, dog. He's not gonna kill you. That'd be illegal. No, he will. He will, dog. He's turning to shoot me in the face, bro. Oh, please. Uh, oh, were you doing please, something illegal? No, he just when you were behind you, dog. He's like, I'll kill you, bro. Please don't. Are you sure? I can't die, dog. He said that shit, bro. He did. I, I swear to God. All right, I'll Boom. tell. I'll talk Into to him about it. Pushed me so much. Pushed me so much. Good job. And then Good a job. lady in that car no problem. She came up to me. She drove up to me. Okay. She didn't even get out of her car. Oh she God. was like, you okay? I said, what? What happened? What happened? You know, technically, this is a ch another charge said, of obstruction because this is a judicial said, order. Um. Can we not add more fines to the fines? So already cliche. Can't? Well, that's why. You're, right, how much? How much is your paycheck for? One has a pool company. I don't okay. know. I can't see that. Well, I mean, how many out? What you been doing? How many hours? I do like ten hours of taxi dispatch a day. Ten hours? So pro probably like sixteen hundred, dog. If I'm, I'm being real Another with you, all right. I'm being honest. I'm being honest. So I would appreciate some sensitivity, and you let me keep that shit, yo. Buddy, sensitivity. Listen, all right? Let me tell you something. Yes. Okay. Pity me, I have no remorse. I have no pity for you. All right? I don't give a fuck about your well-being. I don't care what happens. All I know is you got outstanding fines to pay. And you better fucking Holy pay shit. them. <laughs> hey. Are you the guy I that's feel gonna fuck with Marabunta, dog? This yeah. has to be the guy. They were talking about some fat old fuck. I was really pissing him off, bro. This has to be you, dog. 
I'm like the road runner and they're the coyote. Jesus. Now they man, really hate you. Yeah, you dog. There's a lot of money on your head, bro. I could probably pay off all my fines if I killed you. Now here's what we're doing. All right. Here's what we're doing. Here's what I'm Tell willing him to do. Door. Okay. Tell him about a door. I'm willing to take him down, pick up his paycheck, and have him pay a couple fines, and he can dodge the fucking uh, community service. As long as he pays a couple of his fines, I'm happy. He's got three How's fines that, that I think he can pay. And How's it'll leave him with some money. Hey, if, I get, if I just got money, bro, I mean... I mean, I okay. can't make any promises. It might, but it also might not. And I then mean, I'll just get you again profile. tomorrow. <laughs> Uh, hat Carl, we'll, we'll we'll uh we'll give him a week to try and gather a little bit more money. Yes, um, a Pat week. Carl, uh, yes, I'll write a note in this profile. Uh, indicating All right, this set situation. the date. Yeah, well, yeah. Then I say uh, we I'll clean him out now and get him to pay what he can. Okay, uh, that's fine. Um, we'll why? A little few like dollars and all that good stuff. Let's see if he can uh make some money, enough money to. Uh, hey Mecca, thanks for the fifty-six. Another week. Happy birthday. Plus you want to work community service for the next like 90 some odd hours. Yeah, what do you want to do, asshole? We got 30 hours uh, worth of community service right now. If I pay my fines today, can we cut those 30 hours out? You can pay all your Just fines. All of them, bro. Jesus how many, Christ. How, how, much money, how many fines can you pay? All right, dog. If I'm being hey, honest this guy again. Needs, uh, I have to. Take removal, guys. Appreciate it. All right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, sure, yeah. Right here, right, we're, we're I don't know how I feel about making account, someone bro. pick up their paycheck. That's as many fines as I it can. It is back. Pay, right? I, I taste them in the back. Nah, like it ain't you are, listen, buddy. I'm, you should have never told us you had another paycheck. Nope. That money's mm -hmm. basically already in your account. The state no. can't let you just skirt by. Anybody else here need to call attention? Dumb fucking the tan no, suit said that. Let me just call I think it's called Mr. Dumbfuck. You. Sorry. All right. I think the government's garnishing your wages right now, is what's happening. Or. The honorable That's going to be the judge call. What do you want to do? Do you guys want to garnish his wages, take him there, get him to pick up his check, and then clean him out on fines? Hey, and I'm give very him seven sorry. Days I called you to a pay the rest? I'm very um, sorry. I called you. I realize that I did wouldn't not mean that. to make that call. And now yeah, it's going to be his decision. Ooh, nah. Please. Please. It's going to be the, up to the magistrates. Did? No, I don't know, man. One Pac, what do you think you'd do if uh, our situations were reversed? No, well, somebody called me. He'd clean fuck. them out. <laughs> he'd clean them out. That's not what I would do. I'm a good person. Bullshit! What you'd clean you them the fuck out. Uh, answer the question. I would. I would our understand that he's reversed. going through a hard time, and I would have empathy for the situation, and I would remove all of his empathy fines. Empathy for a murderer. Me. Do you think you've got? Uh, all right, I guess more I got to speak to the state. Than the people you shot. Do you want to go into the DMV, uh, like? court and argue this because I'll, I'll yeah maybe we should case. do that can we do an yeah i think that maybe I, uh, he yeah, should argue done. his yo, case yo. thank you guys thank you guys, thank you guys. Life yeah. we have a scheduled court in 30 minutes but... yeah, Dude, we can do this in a lot quicker long. than that yeah we could do that a lot yeah, just a lot quicker than that if you want there yeah, uh, your honor yeah, yeah that, let's let's get this done all right start yeah. walking we want to get, an, get him an attorney as well yeah we should probably get him a legal representative right all yeah we'll get him uh yeah jump all right. We'll Give inform you please. what the situation is. Oh, please. I can't we'll wait to clear you out. Just, just You're not going to do shit. I'm going to hunt hey. your ass down, bro. Hey. Yeah, I'm going to courtroom, please. Good luck, bro. John Penn, right. I need you down at the DMV. Hi, hi, hi. We have a... Uh, bro, you, you don't even realize how much money on your head, dog. And... Pot. Do you know I can hear you? You understand that? Do you understand that I can hear what you just said? I seem to. Do you not under... I, I hate this place, dog. Damn. I can absolutely <laughs> hear you. I'm a judge. I gotta just call so a state don't. rep really quick. Are you an attorney? Like... No, I yes. John Penn, talk to your client. Oh, sorry. Uh... Magistrate, keep trying. Oh, shit. Can I talk to you about a separate matter? Dude, why can't I ever contact the fucking DA's office and get somebody? Yes, it's still going on. Oh shit. Bounty hunter stuff is actually really turning out well, I think. 
if we have the we just have to um I think there has to be a command that kind of takes away from RP because what stops somebody from saying all right community service and then running off I really think you just got to plunge him into debt unfortunately like it is what it is kind of shit okay Um, okay. Yeah, okay. You've been around for an hour now? Uh, yeah, I know you've been around for an hour. Yeah, I can't, I can honestly tell you. I know, I've been keeping track. Uh, where'd you go? Um, you weren't here for a bit. Where'd you take off? No, I, I rotated corners every 10 minutes. Oh, got you. I, I yeah. think I saw you looking for me. I was, I um, uh, I was back by the, uh, I think it's the staff room. I was like right outside that. Can I get out of these yeah, doors? Okay. No. You're a flight risk. Can you at least handcuff me to the desk, dog? No. I'm doing something right now. I'll come back to you. I was a having a good day, dog. I'm glad you're not. <laughs> hey, what? Who hurts you, dog? Why you like this? Vietnam. <laughs> State ID. Uh, Jenny, or Janny. Uh, five four nine eight. This night sticks for you. Also, I was really excited. You see to this see desk? Yard trouble. <laughs> I'm disappointed now. I can't wait till I'm out of these cuffs, dog. I can't wait to catch you on the outside, bro. I can't wait to catch you again. And I can't wait to tell the judge you're saying that so we can fucking send you in for community service after we clean your ass out and take your car. That car is going to be mine. I'm going to be driving around. I'm going to be driving around in a nice emperor after this court case. Nice little emperor two license plate 9VJA4MQL. I'm going to get it changed to the matador. Have you seen that shit, dog? You seen that car? Yeah. Yeah, there's a reason I'm broke, bro. Yeah, the reason you're hey, broke uh, is Johnson, um, are you false imprisonment, grand theft auto, kidnapping, attempted murder, and a lot of other shit. <laughs> All right, yeah. Uh, we got about 30, well, like 25 minutes to get this done. So, yeah, yeah. All right. See you soon. Peace out. Get, uh, Officer, am I free to change clothing? Uh, do you want to continue on community service or no? Hey, uh, you on the way down to the DMV? Uh, it's uh, it's actually about wage garnishing, um, overdue fines, overdue fines, thirty four k. Um, I kind of have an idea of where to go with it. Uh, can you hear me? Oh, you can't hear me. Do you want to continue on your community service? Because I just submitted Enigma. It. Thanks for the 16 months. One moment. Hey, yeah, it's about uh, this guy has 34K in uh, fines overdue. A uh, decision needs to be made on whether or not we're going to clean him out right now or. Uh, hey, son. Because uh, he Am has $34,000 worth of fines. Well, well, I mean, my name is John Tan. My license is Not pay $34,000 worth of fines. I you if you'll have it. I would. Yes, please. Give me. Yeah, well, right now, the debate is cleaning them out right now or don't clean them out. Basically, the judges are deciding whether or not we're going to garnish the state. Uh, let's go over here. That's the uh, legal part. That's the legal matter. What's this? Garnishing wages. All right. What I think he has to do, I think he has to come up with $1,000 a day for... I think he has to come up with $1,000 a day. Maybe. I mean, that's. I think that's easy to do. I think you can make a thousand dollars doing delivery jobs pretty quick. Not getting fired. That could work. Actually, I'm not sure. Yeah, remember if you're new to hit that follow button and get your subs in. All right, and we do need more subs. Yeah. Be sure if you're new to hit that follow button and get those subs, and we need 300 subs a day.
Get those gifts in. Well, that sucks. I, yeah, I don't so, care what he wants. Yeah, so I mean, I'm kind of on that shit too. Paranoid. Thanks for the 33 months. I appreciate that. Prime does need to pay better. It will. I mean, there's multiple reasons for what he, he had 21 days to pay it. Um, I mean, he got arrested he less than 15 days ago. Yeah, like, he, he got arrested less than. Kfos, thanks for the eight months. He got arrested three times in less than 24 hours. Okay, there's Four really times in less than 24 reasons. hours. So all those reasons that you're coming up with should be reasons why we should uh, go ahead and take yeah. him down. Garnish his face. Chaos! Thanks I for agree. the 10 months. I do appreciate that. Um, I've seen well, I don't want to make... I don't want to put him down in... Yeah, well, it doesn't really matter. Like I When I played know. Slim, um, I made over a K in a day. After he paid for the I made over a K in six uh, hours. I think the pawn items need a buff and materials need a buff. The argument right now is we're trying to get paid for that. I think, uh, yo, dude, uh, KBJB, thanks for continuing and that this gift sub. I do all appreciate of this it. Stuff. He's about to have two other things added to it. Yeah. I'm not counting the you know new what? drugs. I got this. I didn't DJ. get those on day one, I got those on day two. Okay. Day one, I only I'm made. Rambling some numbers off after I spent I money, I, I think I only made like seven hundred bucks. I think on the first day. Not everyone plays six hours. Like, true. True. Oh wait, yeah, Kelly, you do. Huh? Forgot about that. Now you can't say just fucking don't get caught as a crim. My last day, might as well do something, right? True. All right, Kelly, you ready? I'm ready. Two thousand one hundred and forty-five. 470. Uh, this is adding all Hold on. Okay. Okay. 470. 1600. Uh, 2650. 5300. 320. 750. 4560. 4550. 60. 60, oh my god. 6,660. I went 666. I don't like that one. Yeah. Uh, 4,640. 3,570. How much is that? 32,665. I got the same thing. Fucking his, uh, handcuffs removed. Uh, he's a flight risk. Uh, Fuck no, we're not removing his handcuffs. So the uh, the problem was when we were trying to deal with him uh, a moment scared. ago. He uh, scared. He actually, I took him out of cuffs to uh, deal with a little bit of the fine. And then he ran out on me. Um, so I had to go recapture him. So no, I'd feel better if he kept if he kept cuffs on me. And ask the judge. You guys were threatening to take all of my money. Ask the judge. Ask the judge, man. But, so you um, have $32,000 in fine. All right, yes. so look here, gentlemen. Okay. Almost 33. Uh, what is more the... of a, uh, I just want to let you guys know exactly what you're dealing with. Uh, we want to take his face, garnish his face, basically take him down, go get his face up and make him pay more fine. Is what we want to do as a state. Right. Well, hold on. We're working through that, DJ. Hold on. Okay. Calm down. Through it. Calm down, DJ. My God. I'm not telling them the numbers. No, we know. The numbers is about thirty three thousand dollars. Yeah. Okay. That's what I got as well. Um I feel better if we uh kept him in cuffs, man. Um ask the judge. I'll do what the judge says, but uh All right, I'm gonna go sit back and let you do things. I need to collect my goddamn bounty. That's what I'm here for. Yeah. Hey, Mr. 15th, you keep sending them my way. Yeah, as I find people, um, yeah, it's pretty sure that's what we're supposed to do. Anyways, even if we're not, I'm still going to do it.
<laughs> yeah, I think bounty hunters are specifically supposed to deal with people with overdue fines. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. At least that's what my notes say. Where's the fucking community service legislation? It is. I think. Did like I skip 20. over it? Is it twenty? Was it twenty? Uh, that's licenses. Um. Unpaid fines and fees. Is it in there? I didn't see it. Um, so you're actually. What are you looking for? What terminology? Uh, I mean, I think you can. I'm looking for the actual community service guidelines for how much they get back. Oh, um, they make. Fuck, where was it? Keep looking. There it is. Community service. Okay. 350. So take that amount that you have divided by 350. Okay. Oh my god, they made that. Boop, 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 boop. 186.657, so it's 186, 187. I mean, you say that's little, but that's 187 hours of community service. No, it's not little. Like, the number was so big, the decimal oh. was It's actually little on the calculator. So, yeah, this guy's uh, fucked. A hey, one pack. So fucked. Mm -hmm. so it's, You're um, fucked. Yeah, I bet I am, dog. This guy's like... I bet I is. <laughs> 10 days, what? <laughs> See, that's the thing, too. When I do fine pay, so he should choose the I'm messaging DW. Yeah, so that's where the money comes from. Falcon, are we ready? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I guess he's uh, looking at like 188. Yeah, no, I got all, we got all oh that. Oh my god. Yeah, we got all that. Well, yeah, but you didn't tell me hey, that, fellas, so I had to do the math myself. Okay, sir, are you the bounty hunter? Uh, does uh, anyone need hey, any magistrate. more time? Yeah, I'm the bounty hunter. Hat Carl, no, the you're right. I believe we're all ready to go. Okay, how much do you, yeah. would you have made off of this bounty? For, uh, Judge Lambda uh, can, uh, I mean, how much would I have made after, off this? Certainly, Your Honor. I don't know what my percentage is, but if you paid all his fines, I'd make a couple grand. Perhaps even just cuffed to the chair to if it's the, that's the uh, case. But your uh, client can be cuffed to the desk. That's that's it. Right. I'm not uncuffing him. The last time uh, he was uncuffed, he decided to make a break for it. I'm not going to be having that. So he can be cuffed to the desk, but that's it. Understood. Thanks. All right. All right, Your Honor. I can do that. All right, I'm going to cuff you to the chair. All right, there you go. I got to pee. I got to pee. Mm -hmm. So before, uh, uh, you know what, for the actually, yeah, sure no, I'll, I'll, I'll wait, I'll wait for, for Linda. Give him a couple of minutes uh, and then we'd like to take him down. Situated. We'd like to take him down. Oh, Lambda. To take him to go right, get his paycheck so, uh, and then make him pay ready, whatever he can days, right so. now. Yeah, go ahead. Um, okay. As a garnish. All right, as a we're gonna, wage, I guess, right? call this. Uh, so here's the thing when it comes to session, garnishing wages, right? Uh, this we is just us take hearing arguments um, about the. Um, we have to leave him with a certain amount of money, and that is based of, off, this, uh, off of what the uh, just uh, Valentine. Uh, yeah, so we'll tell uh, so him we just, want to garnish. We wage. are just gonna hear take him down, uh, both sides for this in terms of what will be proposed for this, since Mr. Valentine has. A Give me a little bit to look into it, so that way, one, uh, we make sure that he's that going to be able to survive, but CBS that we are getting the fee. So we're going to start with the state, and then defense, and then we are going to, myself and Judge Lambda are going to discuss uh, possible solutions to this, and then we'll rule on it. Does anyone have any questions? No, Your Honor. Okay, no, Your Honor. All right, let's go. State, you're up. All right. Good evening, Your Honor. So today, um, as you just stated, we are here to talk about Mr. Ray's fines. As of right now, he has seven overdue unpaid fines uh, with four upcoming here soon. Um, in total, all of his fines reached over $32,000. Uh, doing that math, that comes to 188 hours of community service. 
um, the state is asking for right now um, that uh, Mr. Ray is taken down to the bank. He collects his paycheck. Um, we come up with an agreed about or agreed upon percentage that the state can garnish from his wages as of right now uh, to begin repaying the fines that is owed. Um, and then come up with a further agreement to where either A, every week he must come in and check in to pay a certain amount of his wages, or B, he completes a certain amount of community hours to help make up that debt that he still owes to society. All right. Anything else from the state? No, Yana. All right. Defense. You're up. Uh, thank you, Yana. Um, Hello. Hello. Uh, Your Honor. My the defendant uh, is attesting to have uh, made some efforts towards paying these fines off uh, by working with the uh, warden uh, uh, community service of five hours already. He's also made payments of about three hundred dollars to these fines, um, understanding that the economy and the the situation of him being a, a felon prevents him to get any sort of obtain any position that would uh, necessarily you know, pay him enough to, to completely wipe out these fines. And he's just trying to, to make it, um, you know, and do his best, make his best effort to pay that debt. Uh, he's just, uh, would almost be requesting some more time to do so. Um, as he has, more, he has, um, shown that he is making an effort towards these payments. Um, in addition, uh, don't know if you want to necessarily go too far into this. However, some of these charges on his record do seem a little bit, um, I would say uh, extreme. I believe it's one of the very first charges he got was a grand theft auto, which again uh, seems highly unlikely and probably could have been contested How in court had he had uh, taken it to court instead of uh, pleading uh, guilty to that. Um, so uh, again, I just ask that the state consider that some of these uh, charges, the fines that he's facing, are a little bit trumped up based on. The uh, the actual charges that he should have Trump twenty twenty four, Mr. Carl. Sorry, that's the end of our argument, Your Honor. Okay, all right. Um, <laughs> let it be known that in this state, if uh, within uh, the deadline and whatnot, people can appeal their charges, but we are not here for that. This is uh, strictly for the fines. So, just just so I know, defense, you your suggestion is just to give. Mr. Valentine, more time to pay off said fines. Yes, Your Honor. Okay. All right. Uh, anything else from either side before we speak on this? Uh, for the state, Your Honor, uh, Mr. Valentine's very first arrest was December 19th. That means that he has had well over the 21 days for that, let alone it's looking at, what is that, 39 days almost, Your Honor? Uh, oh, to pay off this. this, and the fact that it has been three hundred dollars and five year or five months of community, sorry, five hours of community service, is nowhere close to trying to show that he's paying off. He barely wanna... covers enough to cover the first fine. If I may, uh, I've seen five. I, hours. I still wasn't done. Your, your, your Honor, we're still speaking. Your Honor, we're not going to over talk each other. Let let the state finish, and then you can rebut. Okay. Elbow drop them. Thank you. I know multiple different individuals who are felons within the state who have been able to repay their fines with working at different locations, such as Up and Adams or Cluck and Bell. There are many different establishments that are willing to hire felons. If he wants assistance with us finding him a place that will hire him as a felon, the state would gladly do that. But with the amount of time that he has done for community service and the little amount that he's repaid back, we, we don't agree with the fact that he has actually tried to repay these fines. Your Honor, uh, may I interject? Uh, Mr. Carl, did you want to say something? I did. Uh, okay, what was what that? You, what is you his say? microphone uh, on? Why? Yes, I can hear you. Mr. Hatch. Uh, as a bounty Finals. hunter, let it, let it go. Let it go. Uh, it's difficult, and as a war veteran who served in Vietnam, it is hard. But that man over there, Ray Valentine, wants to make my life harder. He said that as soon as he gets done with this, he's going to hunt me down like a dog. Objection, Your Honor. He said this well, to me in front of that. several officers. What the he threatened okay. to kill me, dog. Hold on, Carl. Hold on. All right, all right. All right. Go ahead. There, there was he an objection has no on the remorse. floor, yeah, Your Honor. <laughs> Mr. Okay, Hatt, okay. there's, there's, there's an objection. What's the objection? Okay. <laughs> like you're saying. And the fact that it's not necessarily a discussion for the details of a case, this is 
just Not a matter hearsay. of I'm telling you it. Rebuttal. <laughs> Rebuttal. I mean, he can't. It can't be hearsay because that's he's testing. He's he's saying what, what was said heard. to him. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's uh f finish up the statement, Mr. Carl, and then we'll have the defense because we don't have much time here. Oh, I want to ruin my Valentine. Um, Mr. Carl, can you wait to eat, please? And Mr. Mr. Valentine. Mr. 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 Carl. Yes, Your Carl. Honor. Carl. Can you please uh, chew and swallow before speaking again? Your Honor? Yes. When I look over there at Ray Valentine, I see a man that has no empathy. I see a madman, a rabid dog. In Vietnam, we would have just taken him out to the fields and shot him. Okay, okay. Your Honor, oh my uh, the God. state is going to ask that cat is disregarded um, okay. entirely. Okay. Okay. No more, Thank no more you. Talking. Please, no let's move talking. on to the defense. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Carl, for your contribution Did I help? This. <laughs> no, not at all. Uh, just, 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 just certainly just did something, ahead, Mr. Carl. Please. Uh, on to okay. the defense, please. All right. Your Honor. Fucking Christ. Oh, my God. Stand Your Honor, five hours of community else, service right? equates to $1,750. Um, and then on top of the... I don't know if that has been accounted for in the uh, total that the state is providing, um, but it, it is. It has. So, um, then also with the uh, three hundred dollars paid, that comes to be around two thousand uh, dollars, which would be almost kind of half of the uh, the fine. So I, I get our argument stands that we, uh, uh, Mr. Valentine, has been making his best effort to pay these. And yeah, another fine to do so. Thirty-two thousand. Yeah, it's standing fines for over twelve thousand. Okay, all right. Uh, we've heard both of you, uh, Judge Lem. Do you have any questions for either uh, state or defense? Um. Okay. Uh, defense, is there actually a plan to get this sorted? The last bit of community service I can see was done ten days ago. He's not uh, even doing it consistently. Is there actually a plan in place to actually work this off? Or is this just a wait and see when Hot Carl hunts me down? Certainly. He has an apartment. Um, we should go see what he has in his, in his locker. No, Mr. Carl, Mr. Carl, has Carl please let me do my job. Hey, 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 Mr. Carl, please. that's that's enough out of you, sir. You know I don't like malar malarkey in my court. I'm not having it here. Thank you. Please. I am so sorry for the outburst, John. Please. Hey. Remember, no malarkey. I can can I explain oh, why it's been 10 days? You may. I was recovering from testicle surgery. Dr. Casper oh. at Mount Zona put a new nut in my body. Okay. You're, you're, come on. Can we object to that? There's, yeah, we got no, no, to do it. Um, <laughs> on top of that, him. dude, we have thought of that, Your Fuck Honor. I do like... have, uh, I've been working on a path to reform Jay, for DJ. some of the clients. Look, he's going to have to pay him back anyways. We can't make um, the guy have no fines, fucking money. I have a okay? oh, number to a financial guy, counselor like, that can help. He won't uh, be able to survive. Put him on a plan, pay towards these fines, and continue to eat as well. Um, and I believe that if I could at I'm least give some time to, to get him in touch with those people, exam. should be able After to develop this. a plan Don't. for um, paying off his fines in due time. Fuck that guy. He counselor. said he had ball surgery. Uh, it what is Mr. Martin. Oh, excuse me. Give me just a moment. Martin Pierce, Your Honor. This motherfucker wants to say he had ball surgery. He better have evidence of it, bro. Okay. What do you Martin want to like right here? Like, no, just the give me the medical documents saying you he have the surgery. I just want to make sure oh, this is correct. We're going to be having him go to a financial counselor, and and that's it? No, Your Honor. He's also going to continue to do his community service. I do recommend that he do that, as it is uh, more optimal than actually working a job to pay the fines hey, off. get this lawyer to be the guy um, that has to But in addition to, to that, he can supplement and reduce right. the time it yeah. would take Jump to in. pay those fines by going to a financial counselor to find out um, the best options based Mr. on his income thanks uh, for, the new for tier paying one. off the fines and working the uh, community service. Oh, yeah, Reese's Cups. Any other questions, Judge Lambda? And RJ with the 10 months. No, I think I have a clear picture. Okay. All right, uh, that will be it for uh, the arguments here. Just give us um, a couple of minutes to uh, talk about it, and that will be that, okay? Just give us a couple of minutes. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you, Your Honor. Man, I hope they garnish the wage a little bit. God damn. 
Okay, let me let me I want let that me say nutty something paid real quick, for. DJ. <laughs> we cannot sit there and make you it to where people cannot not. survive. Okay. What? But it's not. Uh, I said a little bit. It, no, you didn't say a little bit. You said all of it. Leave him twenty dollars. Take all of his money. Bro, I just said a little bit just right now. Okay. I say I hope they guard you. You have to take a breath. That's not what you said to me. You told me that you wanted him to pay everything that he could. Fuck it. I said he didn't pay at all. He wanted us to go empty his bank account. I mean, not. I mean, after you explained stuff to me, then I was like, okay. That's why I changed my stance to. I think we should shoot him, Mr. Hat. You can't be blurt. You what? You definitely can't say that shit. All right. What do you mean? Can't be blurting shit out like that. The I'm judge not, can contempt you for stuff like that, okay? I don't think I'm the real problem here, okay? I, feel I, like... I don't think you're a problem, but I'm I saying, hey, him. fucking yeah. breathe oh, and take a second. I know the guy irritates you. I get it. But we can't be sitting there saying things like, I'm going to take all his stuff and things like that, all right? Because that's going to freak him out. I never said that to him, though. Dude, we're saying it right here next to him. Yeah, no, I'm saying it to you quietly. Oh, I promise you he heard you. Nah, you know, as soon no as he way. gets out of here, he's getting a gun to shoot me, right? No, maybe. Maybe. I mean, if, yeah, he if, might. if it I happens, then it'll be worse for him. <laughs> then we'll be Listen, back here again. Fair compromises, right? We're not trying I'll to just constantly dead. punish people. We're trying to make sure that we can restore them as well. What okay? kind of liberal bullshit is this? What is this pussy blue state? You, you live in a about... socialist state. We what do you take want? Him out back and oh, fucking shoot him. Fuck. You literally live in a socialist when republic. Literally, we have a few more hours. Let him do Trump it. Wouldn't want. Trump wouldn't stand no. for this. Drain the swamp. Drain the swamp. We're not even in a swamp. You're on an island. Drain the swamp. Trump, Donald Trump. What my city? Right That's a swamp. Far. Wait, hold on. There is a swamp. It's just on the other side of Route 68 towards the ocean. It's not a swamp. Like right before Fort Zancudo. That's a swamp. There's no way you can tell. Oh, it's, a it's a marsh. It's not a swamp. Okay. There's okay. a pier that I know. Go to a swamp. Of. Go to Vice City. Swamp. Oh, I guess a swamp is more foresty and shit. Yeah. Peters get the body. But I mean... we're going to. Listen, my thought is we'll have him go get the paycheck, have him get 50% of what he has to the state. And then we work out a deal to where either A, he works off a certain amount of fucking community service hours by a certain date. Or repays the fines by a certain date. And if he doesn't, we're going to garnish him again. He told me he's never paying a dollar. What if there is no paycheck? If there is no paycheck, then guess what? I'm going to say, hey, nah, send his ass to prison until he works 188 hours of fucking community service. Oh I think God. we let Mr. Hat just have Adam at that point. It's not our I problem can't in a let few Mr. hours. Hat do that. As long as I get paid, I don't give a shit. I'll hunt him down tomorrow. See? That's do between you and the judges. Yeah. We're washing our hands of all. I literally, I turned over one name <laughs> to Hat Carl. And you know what? I'm, I'm just turning over all the names now. Every person. Do it. I mean, yeah, he God. fucking got his ass quick as shit. Like, yeah, you that's get, fucking you arrest impressive, somebody. Hat. You arrest but you somebody. Can't shoot him. Have... Bullshit, I can't shoot him. him. He comes running at me, trying to hit, hit me. I'm going to blow his fucking okay. head off. You can't just shoot them for no reason. Mm -hmm. yeah, okay? Well, well, you can if nobody's around to see it. No. He's this is true. Of, it's true, though. Yeah, you're not. First off, it's DJ, like you should be saying no, definitely. No witnesses. Oh my god. Yeah, like we don't know. Oh my god, I'm so happy. I'm a realist. DJ's office. I'm a, I'm a realist, Falcon. All right. Yeah, Lenny. Carl's on to something. I don't. I don't recommend that you do that. I got four Big gangs difference. hunting me. Maybe in City Hall then. Probably because you're threatening to shoot them all. Yeah, I'm going. You know, this is far more interesting than I thought it would. What are you even eating? What is oh, that? We... Uh, hey. Oh, magic. No, right. Here we go. Hello, hello, everybody. Uh, okay, hey, so, so uh, Lambda and I have to actually go to our, our scheduled court case, and uh, those citizens, uh, you know, are, are due that time. We have to skedaddle, as it were, but uh, oh, we do have Justice uh, Schwinghammer, who will be here to. Um, to, and he 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 is well aware of everything. He was here for the entire entirety of the arguments. Okay, awesome. So he will let uh, all of you know we've deliberated. Uh, thank you for bringing this to us. I do appreciate that. Uh, either way, good luck to both the state and to Mr. Valentine. Okay, we'll be, we'll right. uh, we'll give you good luck. Bye, Magistrate. Was it interesting, Dupree. Your Honor? Dupree. 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 D
everything are all with uh, justice. He's just collecting and collating how he's going to word things. That's right. All right. Was it interesting, Your Honors? Very yes, it was. Actually. Yes. Uh, yes, I, I like this. Am I getting I like paid? <laughs> yeah, I'm sure the state is paying you right now, Mr. Grohl. Yep. Yep. I'm trying to buy a, a sandstorm. Okay. Must be nice to say he's paying you, but try to take everything from me, dog. Thank you for your time, Giannis. Um, Thank you. What That's I'm what makes me enjoy it more. Before I kind of tell you how we're going to handle this, Mr. Valentine or his representation, um, one thing that I'm going to require out of whatever happens in, 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 in the next phase of this is going to be a commitment to community service because as I do agree with... Sorry, it's, it's, is that Falcon? Is that you over there, or is it... Yes, Your Honor. I okay. can't yeah. tell because you're yeah, dressed I, I actually good. I you the other day. I want to make sure <sighs> you. I, I do agree with Your you. Honor. Has, he doesn't know who you are. A period of time, uh, and while there has been some engagement... No, he doesn't know who service, Muller is. He always thinks about me. ...hugely significant amount to pay off the amount of debt, as well as the types of charges Mr. Valentine has been charged with. So I'm going to uh, ask the defense... I need a firm commitment on how many hours Mr. Valentine is going to be able to work on community service. Let's say per week. What is that number? Give us the time to talk about it, and yeah. I'll get back to you in just a moment. I think we should just lock him up hey. and throw away the key. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to disagree. But Gooder, I thanks for make the sure 29 months. paid for this, too. Uh, we got to get the state's money. Yeah, what's going on? Someone knocked your car under the curb. I'll take care of this shit. Okay, Your Honor. Uh, the defense, uh, the defense oh. will be uh, willing to commit or able oh. to commit. The fuck? Are you got anything I to eat or drink? I do. Hook, you want some nuggets? Yeah, let me hook me up with some nuggets in a soda. I'm picking up bounties left and right. Is that right? Ain't got time to pick up food. Hell no. I'm fucking starving though. Alright, well, uh, good luck in the... You said you're hungry, Carl? Yeah, I'm a little. I I could use another drink and another. Yeah, another... yeah, I got, I got, I got some stuff on the way. So just give me like two minutes. Perfect. I'll be in the courtroom. I'm. I'm yeah, no worries. Do think. Hell, get him. Can you help me with that? What did you need to do? Well, I I I was able to um, like uh, I got invited. Be polite. It's not in my body. It's not in my fucking body to be a polite man. I ain't polite. Oh, no, okay. No, no, no. Then no, you will be uh, committed to, like you, like you, you've already made ah, a of at least five. Oh hours. my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, as well as making additional financial decisions. This will be a court order. If you violate those, this order, that will be another charge. You will continue to rack up the fines. Is everything clear? Do you have any questions? Your Your Honor, the state has one question. Uh, one sec. Let me let me uh, chat check with the defense first, Falcon. Uh, uh, does the judiciary have a plan for how he will be able to eat in the next twenty four hours, Your Honor? If you zero out his bank account, pet him, starve. Uh, he should have thought of that before. Five separate incidents of attempted murder of a government employee. Yo, Tiberius does that. Gonna have to go to well, work. It, Tiberius is my mean. You hear that, Falcone? Zero it out. We don't give a fuck. That's fucked hell up, yeah. yo. You're fuck you that's and you're dumb. Yeah, hell yeah. That's so dumb, bro. You're you're gonna kill me, dog. Los Santos is a red state. All right. So anyway, yeah. question from the prosecution. Yana, the the state does have to agree with the defense a little bit on this. Is there any way that we only take you fucking maybe seventy five percent of it, so that way he <laughs> does have funds to be able to eat and get around and do his job? Is that what you want to propose? You are proposing. Hell no! Take it all. Pat, it's a hat. Pat, Pat. <laughs> yes, Your Honor. I don't. I don't want to get into the habit of taking people down to zero in their bank account. It has a propensity to create or have them create more crime. 
Good, more fines for me to collect. Is the uh, Eighth Amendment cruel and unusual, unusual At punishment? Carl Proven Corrupt, how do you feel about this? Let me tell you something Hold there, on. Your Honor. Oh, uh, you want to go first? The fifth, Mr. Yeah, 15? Um, yeah, let me. Uh, Your Honor, Um, do we have a, a cruel and unusual punishment amendment, or is that not really a thing? Um, Do we have cruel and unusual punishment? Uh, we certainly do, Your Honor. We uh, do. What, what amendment is that? Is it eight? Because uh, if it's eight, it is an eighth amendment. I know. I mean, I know by heart it's the eighth, but there, there is it does, there is a cruel and unusual punishment, Article Eight of the Constitution. Okay. Uh, then yeah, I have to go with Falcone on that one. Mm. Is this thing on? Is this, is this thing that. on? Go ahead. Hello, man. hello, Judge. How are you today? Nah, I'm good. I'm good. How about yourself? Zero amount! Circle of life! If he commits more crime, that's just more money for the state! Fuck him! Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Zero amount! Take his emperor! Take it all! I see we go to his apartment, and we open up his apartment storage, and we see what he has in there, and evict his ass out of there, too! Alright. The here's state does not do. agree with that, Your here, Honor. Here's what we're I, I would say we need to take his okay. car. Um, I Mr. Take the car. Mr. Valentine is a taxi driver. The state will recognize that in order to continue earning wages, he is going to have to pay for gas. Um, we will recognize that he does need to eat, and based on Falcone and Proven Crux's um, uh, testimony otherwise, we will leave him some money. But that's going to be some money, not a lot of money. Uh, we will not be seizing the emperor at this time. However, oh. uh, I, I will. We will certainly revisit this if Mr. What's Valentine the mechanics are in? We will continue to do the community <laughs> service that he is committing himself to at this time. Uh, if if he continues to, uh, if once you start taking cars like this, you know what you'll be able to do? Car auctions, police auctions. Yeah. yeah. We're not going to have that conversation. Today. Who the fuck right. wants it? Your Honor, Emperor. I do have one more point of order on the uh, the court order for the oh, community service. Uh, should be worded in the the attempt to uh, to serve this community service. However, it's dependent on the availability of Department Evan of Corrections now, at this Police time, is my understanding. So he'd make his best Police effort to do so. Dude. But if there are no um, DOC officers, wardens, or otherwise available to support that, he couldn't necessarily. Uh, uh, acquiesce to the court order if okay. he can't. Uh, I, I am willing to accept that. However, uh, I am going to need him to ensure that due diligence is done on that side. Uh, if, if DOC is unavailable, he's going to have to make sure checking in with police officers, checking in with... Uh, um, Would a 311 uh, call judges, be sufficient? Do, putting, making sure that uh, that is properly documented. Okay, I'm not, I'm not just right. going willing to accept Oh, no one was available, so I couldn't do it. All right. No, that's that understandable. Is it okay if he uh, puts in a 311 call just to make sure and ensure that there are no DOC available at the time? That way it's documented. Um, I don't know if... Uh, I think if police auctions would be cool. Be in and of itself enough in this instance. The um, DOC I cannot see those, Your Honor. What's that? The DOC cannot see those from my understanding, Your Honor. I do also want to make a point that DOC is not the only ones that can do uh, community service. You also have bounty hunters, magistrates, judges. Uh, police can also do them. So there are multiple options, and there's always a judge around, almost always. So, so there you go. There you go. All right. Any other questions before we go get this resolved? Not for the defense, Your Honor. All right. Let's head on down to the bank. Let Come zero on. his ass out. You're not zeroing his ass out. Why not? Get him uncuffed from the chair. I'm going. I got my nightstick ready in case he wants to try to run again. I was again. not going to let them zero that guy out. That's, That's good. You're lucky I'm not the judge. I would have zeroed, zeroed your ass out and put you back on the corner sucking dicks. <laughs> so far. No, I still don't do that shit, dog. I'm finding everybody now, as no, mayor. Because of you, that shit's way more expensive. Hello, you just hi. fucked up everybody. Hello, hi. Hello, way more because of you. Hello, hi, hi. Hello. Thank you, ma'am. I appreciate y'all. 
Did you park your car? You guys are looking nice. I like, like the jacket, $10. Justice. Damn it, Carl! <coughs> hey, does he want to ride with me? Fuck no. Hey, that lady's a repo lady. She's coming after you. Uh, Falcon, you're with me, man. Wait, she is? Yeah, the lady back there in the black hair. I don't need you. Taking care of business. Thought about going over the curb and hitting that guy. No, oh, nothing's funnier than VDM. You know, on our server, you can use a car for a weapon. You just can't do it excessively. All right, but I mean, if someone's shooting a gun at you and you're behind the wheel of a car... They're like 20 feet in front of you. Step on that fucking gas pedal and run them down. Class 3's fucking authorized. I'm enjoying bounty hunting, but I do gotta get the cops to, like, report the bounties that are around. Like, if they see someone with a fucking bounty, they'll make me aware that they're around. Need a bounty board? Yeah. No, I think uh, we're kind of all thinking that the meta MDW that tells you when people have outstanding fines is around, but when they have warrants, it doesn't tell you they're around is the best option. But the thing is, though, is I feel like as a bounty hunter, I should be able to zero out their accounts. Like, I feel like, all right, you see how it's like all kind of like, all right, so see how the fines are kind of separated? There should be a cumulative total for fines, and you can put money towards that, and it, zero, and it zeroes them out. Because, I mean, how can you not have debt and, and not zero people out? You know, you kind of kind of have to. Freeze accounts and shit. I mean, to be fair, we should be zeroing them out and freezing his fucking account. Actually, maybe that's even too rough, even for me. You gotta think of a mechanic that, like, makes things fun, though. Stop flexing when you walk here. You look like a fucking jerk-off. Hey, flexing get that so mask off! Nah. Let's keep, keep going, guys. Keep hey, going. I work security here, keep motherfucker! Going. You wanna get that You wanna ride the lightning?! Got my fucking taser ready for you, bitch! He's running! He's got a gun! He's got a gun! Well, he pulled out a gun! That's... Oh, shit. He pulled out a gun. He pulled out a gun! We gotta take care of this. Alright, alright. take care of this. Jesus Christ. Hey, you're with that Carl later. now. You know what? You maybe you yeah, should yeah, join I'm me for some later. bounty hunting there, Mr. Fifteenth. Maybe I should. I don't know it's if it's that funny, sir. It's all clear. Yeah, he pulled out a good. gun. I almost oh shot God. him. As you didn't, you threatened to shoot me every day. Otherwise. Well, welcome to Maze Bank. I'm John Fleeser. Right this way hey, for a Mr. curated Fleeser. banking experience. A curated banking experience. That's I'm right. Ready. In our newly renovated facility. It looks the same as yesterday, though. It how can we look, help you today? But it looks, it's clean today. Look, look how clean it looks. Um, it's less our guy, slippery. Our guy here is going to need to pick up his paycheck. Oh, we're going to be right this way, sir. Grab my check. 
You can talk to Betty. She can help you. Hey, mister, I can help you. That's a real cool face tattoo yeah, you got yeah, there. Got it out of these cuffs, yo. Don't I'm worry, I got the here. nightstick ready for him. I bet you fucking would like to use that. Just stand back a little bit. You guys gave yeah, a PTSD-crazed madman a gun. Yeah, they gave well, a Vietnam a War vet, vet a gun. He's a veteran. I love America. Oh, look at that. There's he no used to pitching. work for my father at the other, some other city. Okay. At Lisa we'll, Bank. We'll see. We'll put you back. He's a good go. man. All right. He grabbed his paycheck. All right. Let All me right. Uh, check his new balance. Uh, check to see if he actually tried to uh, pull out his check. I did. Speaking of which. Sir, have you ever considered tipping your banker? Oh, yeah. They're taking you know, we keep your money, money safe. Uh, we usually <laughs> recommend 20% of your paycheck. Oh, yeah. We're garnishing his wages. <laughs> That's all we're doing. Well, sir, uh, next time you're at Mays Bank, just come in. You'll see a friendly teller with a smile. Possibly how much money should we leave him with, Your Honor? That guy would rather shoot me down in front of a cop than take off his mask. You guys get paid. <laughs> yeah. Hmm, you did see him grab his paycheck, correct? Correct, Justin? Uh, looks like he walked up to the, the woman. Uh, I mean, I could tell him, hey, I, get your I paycheck. I swear to God, all my life, bro. There, I, he I said, didn't hey, do I have a check? He said, no. Nah, he you told poor me, as looked a... at me. He made a finger Betty, gun. And then he said, Betty, oh, help! shut the fuck help! up. Oh, my Betty. God, Betty. God, help! Betty, you dumb motherfucker. Help! You gave it to me with zero. Hey, don't something. threaten help! Betty. Sorry, she's just pissing me off. It's been a stressful Yeah, you know, I have so many HR complaints about I tried to give him his paycheck. Her. I tried to give him his paycheck, and he said, Dog, you better keep that no bitch, and then pointed his finger at me like a gun. Okay, all right. Oh, my Back God. Right, oh, so there isn't any no paycheck, paycheck for him. It was all for right, Raymano right. Valentino. All right. Whoops, sorry that about like that. Bag. Betty, we're going to have to have a chat about your job Help! performance. Help! Help! My job performance is under review. Betty, I'm going to talk to the manager. Because I am not a manager. No, I do not then. run this place. This is a state facility. John Fleesa is not a manager. He does not own the bank. I am not liable. Help! Betty, it's okay. Okay. Um, I, I don't know if it takes a few moments for, for my banking records to update um, or if it's already included in here. I didn't take a look at his balance before we walked in. Um, still the same. He said he didn't have any money. Okay, so it's still the same then. Um, yeah, Betty. He he needs to do money. he needs to do his job. He needs to 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 do his taxi. He needs to eat. Um, okay. well, how much what do you think? Uh, um, let's just uh, sixteen fifteen. All right, I can uh, go by. I can I tell mean, you his fines real quick, and then you can tell me which ones you want to hit. Let me pull them up. Well, I mean, it'll just go on. Oh uh, my God, that guy has a mask. He's right. Oh, hey, no, get he's that mask off! Hey, hey, mask help, off in the back, man. Help! The building, sir. sir hey, get that off mask off now! Sir, mask get the mask off now! Sir! He's running. We got a runner. No running in the bank. Uh, uh. Mask off. Hey, stop running. Now stop running. Oh, my God. Hit! <laughs> Son of a bitch! <laughs> He's out of here! Son of a bitch! Okay, okay. I got him? his fines up. Okay, uh, leave him, leave him 200 bucks, all right? Uh, 14, 15. Doesn't is what work, you can take so here's him. how it goes. So here I can get him. So how much money does he have? He has sixteen fifteen in his bank account. I want to leave him two hundred bucks. All right, he can only afford to there. pay off two fines. Then he can only afford to pay off the seven fifty dollar, seven hundred fifty dollar one, and three hundred and twenty dollar one. Then. Okay, so that's gonna be seven fifty and three twenty, so ten seventy. So he's still gonna have four hundred and change left, four forty left ish. That's fine. All right, I can send him the bills. Okay. 
gotta, I gotta but if we him. zeroed him out, we could get him to pay a sixteen hundred dollar overdue fine. Hey, the judge already said you can't. Yeah, do that, we're that we're, we're not gonna do that. Oh not my gonna god, so rude, sir. Sorry. Sorry. I'll oh, leave him enough no to, to do his job. Uh, that, that, that way, he continues to be a productive member of society and he's right, still fine, engaged Sam. in community service. All right, seven fifty paid and paid. We got eight sixty five left. I'm gonna send him the other All one. Right. One more. What's his state ID? Three nine four nine. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Three nine four nine. And here you go. Three hundred and twenty dollars. Demanded door doesn't play around. Okay, and I'm going to make a uh, note on his profile about his commitment of doing five hours of community service of uh, a week. A week. Um, as well as good faith reimbursements of Five these, a week? Of these this guy's going to be working until 2025. What well, is the... Per um, perhaps some, some weeks he might be able to do some more. What is yeah. the lowest amount fine that's left that is pending? The lowest one left. Mm -hmm. It is... Right, hold on, hold on. It's looking like the lowest one is sixteen hundred dollars. That's the lowest one. The lowest one, yeah. He has listed here two thousand, sixteen hundred, twenty-six hundred, fifty-three hundred, oh forty-five hundred, sixty-six hundred, forty-six hundred, thirty-five hundred. You guys are making a deal with the devil. Mm. Yeah, you. Right. You should be zeroing him out and buried him under the prison and taking his car. Has he got no an longer, infinity sir. apartment key? I said we take that shit and open up his closet and see what he's hiding in there. I'm Why'd saying no for again? now, Kraft. I'm <laughs> saying no licensed? for now. How is he licensed? What do you mean? Though? He's effective. Look, he's bringing people in, making them he's pay their debts. He's a psychopath. That's why I'm so offended. He's getting on. He said, let's get it on, dog, and he had a crazy look in his eye. Look, the state doesn't fuck him. around when it comes to unpaid fines, okay? We give you guys 21 days to pay that shit. You're like, hey, I got 21 days. That doesn't matter. I can keep doing I can keep doing this. I can keep doing this. I can keep doing this. And then what happens? You owe 30 grand. Who who what do you think we're gonna do? Just like send send Mr. Fleece at you? No, we're sending Hat Carl. Yeah. So I'm that, very ineffective, sir. Those are the eyes of a stone cold killer. They oh, are. I killed a man oh, yeah. yesterday. I bet well, you did. He's he's well, the state's killer. What was your rank the in the matador. military, Mr. Carl? Um, I'm gonna be checking in. I was a sergeant. Hell yeah. Pat Carl's a goddamn hero. He defended hey. banks like these. Ray Valentine, I'm gonna call you every week. From now on. All right. He he probably used so much Agent Orange on those innocent civilians, dog. Hell they yeah. They probably deserve it. Criminal. All right. Uh, you hear me, Ray? <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm gonna check in on you every week. See if you've done your time. If you haven't, I'm going to send uh, Carl on you. You already know what? how that's going to end up. Hey, you know, you gonna, you are not going to get me like you did this time, bro. I am not falling for that shit twice. You're not going to fall for cocaine, Kenny, a second time. I do love the powder, but I'm going to say I'm going to try very hard to say no. Okay. All right, All right Mr. Valentine, let me know if you need anything. Hey, I really appreciate it, yo. I'll be reaching out to that financial advisor. I'll be hunting him okay, like a dog good, next week. Yeah, yeah. I, understood. I look hey, forward to it. I'll let you know. Our bounty Thanks for visiting Maze Bank. Bank. I hope you had an amazing Thank experience. You. Appreciate it. You guys got lucky. The liberal left stood with you today. Donald Trump yep, wouldn't yep. have stood for this. Nah, I understand. My truck's right, gone. Uh, Our bounty hunter's government oh, is in the street. Is your truck, is your truck Someone, actually... Oh. Somebody, they somebody hit it. Jesus. All right, Hat. Um, all right. I'll let you know if I have anybody else uh, that I come up on, all right? All right, perfect.
or some more taser cartridges. Yeah, maybe a revolver. Yeah, you're not getting a revolver. Are you approved for a taser? Yeah, I'm approved for a taser. Okay. Um, where are you, the DMV? No, oh, no, I'm down at VPD. VPD? Oh, okay. Um, where are you at? I'm at Insani. You want me to head up there? No, stand by. Uh, gorgeous Ford, any available units in uh, VPD? Is anyone available? Oh, okay. Um, do, do, do. okay, no worries. Okay, um, I will come down to VPD. Just give me like five minutes. How about I just head to you then? Because I got to head up there anyway. Okay, yeah, you come up here. Not an emergency, she says. She's not Hat Carl. Ripley Rodeos, whatever her name is. Better get my gun on my lap. Popcorn things for the 48 months. I hate how my truck's beat to shit now. I was doing such a good job keeping it nice. Now I gotta hear the fucking death rattle of it. The death gargle. Why doesn't Hat Carl wear a hat? He usually does wear a hat, but not when he's bounty hunting. Imagine questioning the matador. Start your own gun selling store. No. I'm a bounty hunter and a security guard. I wonder how much money I'm getting paid for this shit. I better get a sick paycheck for tomorrow. I better get a sick paycheck for tomorrow. I'm gonna fucking, I'm gonna have to email Mantis and tell him I got, I fucking served four diff, four bounties today. Isn't it a percentage of the amount they owe? Yeah, I think it is. I think it's like 10% or some shit. Dog shit. Pay me now! with the 22 months. Thanks for the 22 months, Willie. Hope you guys are enjoying today's stream. Chat, remember if you're new to hit that follow button and to get those subs, and if everybody in here gifts one sub right now, that's a good day. We are nowhere near our 300 subs a day quota. We're only at 60 fucking three! Nah, I can't do a subathon today. Don Q with the 20 bomb! Shift in with the 5 bomb! It's always Don Q. Don Q is an oiler. Why not a subathon? Cuz I fucking hate subathons. That's why. Shadow Medic thinks for the 5 bomb. But usually the subathons do turn into the best streams. Jelly Man with the two years. Cannibal Snacks with the seven with the gift sub. Apello with the five bomb. Always Apello. Twenty-four hour cobalt stream. Fuck no. Twenty-four hour hat stream. Twenty-four hour hat stream, and I get Mantis to join me.
pro cell with the five bomb. It's always, uh, I don't, it's always the same people. I feel so bad for them because they're carrying the weight of the world on their goddamn shoulders. I'm not running ads, all right? I'm fucking taking care of business. Put my gun away before a cop charges me. I know how these dog shit cops are. Gun on Qua Duck on Quack, thanks for the 50 months. And Ty Jora with the 20 bomb! Hello! This is the Matador Hat Carl! Delirious Beast with the 5 bomb. It's always the same fucking people. I feel so bad. Fabio with the 5 bomb. And Fabio. It's always the fucking same people. Where are the new Oilers at? Reger with the five bomb. They can't do it every day. Chat. Call 311. Boogs, thanks for the five bomb. Hey, call. Hey, I'm Hattie out of the bomb. I'm in the lobby. Yeah, I'm here. Good job on using 311 this time. Oh, I meant to hit 911. No, that's bad. Don't do that. What's bad about come that? Come it's come an right emergency. Here. Abyssal! It's not an emergency. With the 5 Kyle. bomb. M Doc with the 10 bomb. What? So There's Steve so much trash. Um, it is an emergency. People. Okay. That's wrong. You don't have a license plate. Yeah, because people keep stealing them. Black's a new fit, Kyle. Ain't that a son of a bitch. You only brought me one goddamn med kit. How many do you need? They're how expensive they are on the street. They're $250 on the street. I get attacked all the time. You bring me fucking one? You want the rest of mine? Yeah. No, I don't want the rest of yours. I need like three more. People are trying to kill me. Free? Okay. Hey, why don't you go give me one of them duty belts? <laughs> um. I can't. You have why a not? table for the stuff you have. Uh, it's a belt. I'm not getting in. I'm not getting in trouble for shit. It's a belt, though. You know, how are you gonna get in trouble for a belt? Get get a judge to say you can have one. You can have one. What if my pants fall down? Riley Reads is the worst. Putting all my trash in here. Putting all my fucking trash in here. Riley Reads is the devil. Joe with the five bomb. Prone with the five bomb. Is your car? Yeah, yeah, it's my rental. I have a car like this. Mine's yeah, I bet you have a ton of money. I don't. I brought in five bounties today. I can't even you pick did. up my paycheck. And there's two more in there. Fuck yeah. I Wait, what was that call? I said, fuck yeah. Oh, okay. Well, you said, fuck yeah. I was about to be upset. Fuck you. Fuck you, Matador. What do you mean, fuck me? I didn't even say nothing. I said, fuck yeah. Oh, it sounds like you're saying fuck you. Go get me a duty belt. No, until you get approval from a judge. How do you get approval from a judge for a duty belt? Yeah, because it's government equipment. I can get that right you're now. You're for the taser stuff because it's in your profile that you can have one. I need to... Bro, why I... are people putting... Mm, I hate people. So much trash in here. Like, why? Hey, Judge Swinghammer, it's K hey, Carl, the Matador. Be back in a second. Yeah, I'm not gonna help you. Are you okay? Did you hit a bong yeah, or something? No, I'm, I'm in the courtroom. I, I just stepped out into the judge's chambers. What can I do for oh, you? Oh, can I get permission on my MDW profile to have a duty belt to carry my bounty hunting tools? Um. What kind of bounty hunting tools are those? My med kits, my nightstick, my flashlight, my camera, my MDW, 
my taser um, cartridges. So, so are, I, I'm just trying to clarify here. Like, are, are the police not willing to let you have those, or like what? Told me the, she what? hopes my pants fall down. I did not oh. say that. Oh, That's geez. Not okay. Um. So, 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 so you just you're just looking for a belt so that you can just uh, keep your pants up, but oh, it has uh, and, pouches and, and, and on hang... it to carry things. Okay. 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 Um. But. None of like they're not they don't have an issue with you possessing them. You're just looking for permission to have. Yeah, them she felt, said I correct? needed a judge permission. She said she wasn't going to give it to me unless a judge told me I could have one. Um. Okay. 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 Um. How, you know what? Can Can you get the? Uh, is, is it? It's an officer saying this. It's Who, Ripley it? Rodeo. Is, are they uh, just like a normal officer? Or are they like a deputy? Yeah, she's a they, normal uh... deputy. She's wearing real baggy pants. Wait, my name is okay, not Ripley. Okay. Um, Ripley Rodeo. Have her... I'll have her call have you. Her... Give me a call. Riley yeah. Reed. Thank you. Bye. Hey, Ripley Rodeo, can you call Judge Tiberius? <gasps> my name is not Ripley. What is it then? Riley. Hey, you got outstanding vines? Hey, Titus, my name is Riley Reed, not Ripley Roheo. Thanks for all the subs, guys. Wow. Wow. Oh. Fuck, sorry. I, I just woke up. I'm sorry. Well, so you guys were able to provide subs. Wow, would you look at that? It's always the same. The poor regulars in this fucking stream. Poor fucking regulars always having to carry the weight of all the fucking assholes. I don't know how other people you have so many You can only put oilers. handcuffs in it and the first aid kit. That's all you could be able to put in it. No, you put MDW in there and handcuffs. And camera. And night. Can stick. you put a camera in there? No, you can't. You can't put a camera in there. Might as well. Uh, yeah, he's allowed a taser per ju a judge. And handcuffs. Goal! Thanks for the gift sub. Only a hundred short on the subs we need for the day, chat. Only a hundred short. Uh, I don't think so, no. That ain't too bad. No, that shouldn't be an issue. I just wanted him to have approval before I gave him government equipment. Under the sunlight Welcome to this place I'll show you everything What are you staring at, weirdo? I found Boggling, thanks for the 15 months what was that? Speak up! Staring at my phone. You're not a bounty hunter, you're a dope. I am a bounty hunter. You're a dope. Well, I'm a bounty hunter. Fuck you, thanks for the 28 months and Craigie, thanks for the gifts up. Fuck yeah. No, that should be fine. Uh, I have a question while I have you, though. Uh, what, my subpoena to get blood from someone was approved? Uh, what do I do now? Fuck yeah. Yeah, exactly, so... The real bounty hunters have work to do. Catch you later okay. there, Ripley Rodeo! I'm out of door. Bye. Taking care of business. Hi, thanks for the gift sub. Ooh. Gifted a sub to 100 subs. Poor Sandy Shores. Where's the Sandy gang at? 
Where's the Sandy gang at, chat? Where have they been? Sandy Shores has the most potential of any hub. And they're not, well, it's not normally around until later in the day, I feel like. I know one thing, Roach Motel. Where I'm heading right now, anyway. See if I can spot Joe Fudge. I remember the RV park. Yeah, and then it got ruined by a bunch of people who just parked there and didn't want to do anything. Abyssal, thanks for the five bomb. Appreciate that. Oh! Better keep my heater on my Peter. I bet you this place is a hotbed. Is there specific charities that you recommend with your condition? Yeah, the Kyle charity. That's what I recommend. I just saw someone in the corner there. That's what I recommend. The Kyle charity. Redwind fight night? I didn't go. Me and Kermodo were hanging out. Me and Kermodo hung out for a bit. Pretty much came over when I ended up hanging, hung out until like late night. Just chilling. Just bro shit, you know? I do really like the Roach Motel. It is a nice place. buy into people's bathrooms and shit. This is more of a late night thing, isn't it? As per usual. They did a really good job on this. Even got the sign, the Roach Motel. Might be a Sunday thing. I'll have to check it out. While I was down here looking for you, bitch. Fuck, you can't climb that. Son of a bitch, that'd be dope to climb.
rented it for two hours, four hours ago. Yeah, I did. And I ain't giving it back. This is all I got right now. This is all I got at the moment. The hunter becomes the hunted. The hunter becomes the hunted. See this shit. All right. I need to do is get the fucking. This is why you can't call three one one. Cause cops will never fucking pick up. All right, Chad. Who wants to take a bet? I call three one one five times. Let it ring for fifteen seconds. Nobody answers. I call 911, someone will answer. Take the bet. Because they don't answer, they don't answer the 311 calls. All right, there we go, that's one. Try again, technically that's two. Yeah, technically that is two. Odds not worth betting, huh? Let it, let it ring five more times. Five subs on 911 picking up. Nah, I, I, they will. Alright, another time. That was three times. Let's call fourth. Yeah, because they never take the 311 calls. There's a cop. Bambi used to take those. Well, she's, you know, take relaxing. Hey, hey, Carl, bounty hunter. I need to talk to somebody in charge. You're gonna have to wait a little bit. They're all coming up uh, from the station downstairs. The uh, station down downstairs. Station down south. Who else do a, I talk to? The way. Uh, Sergeant Dokes. He's gonna be on his way up. All right, I need to talk to. You. Is there you guys having a meeting? Uh, no. He's just coming up because we're dealing with the situation. So. Who? What happened? Do they have? Listen, I'm Hat Carl, bounty hunter. Oh, pleasure to meet you. I'm, uh, so, got when you guys away. arrest somebody, hey, hey, does that guy have fines? Uh, I don't know yet. We're gonna find out. Hey, chicken shit, I'll see you when you get out of prison. Cause you're gonna be paying them fines to the state. What the fuck? I'm not, you're not seeing anything. Motherfucker, I'll grab anything, you up. Fatty, except, except for burger shot, that's all you're seeing. I'm a Vietnam veteran. I'm crazy. I got PTSD. I'm crazy. I have a mohawk. No, you're not. Get the fuck out of my face, bitch. Get the fuck out of here, fatty. What are you going to do I if I go. don't, huh? What the fuck are you going to do if I don't? Yeah, that's right. Follow behind the deputy you there, you little Come bitch on, boy. Walk yeah, you little um, bitch boy. Yeah, follow, yeah, follow you, behind the deputy fatty. like a good little bitch. Mohawk, start walking or you're going to lose your ability to walk. Yeah, that's right. Start walking. Bitch boy. Listen here, fatty. I'll see you on the outside when I don't. Devil dogs. More like dung dogs. Dumb dogs. Uh, oh, yeah, that was a good one. Dickless dogs. Yeah, that, yeah, that was a good one, fatty. Drunken delinquents. I mean, that one's kind of on the nose, but. Sick in the mind. Thanks for the 21 months in Viwine. Thanks for the gift sub. I do appreciate it. That Hansel is so hot right now. Pansy puppies. Listen, I like to come up with my own insults, but sometimes you guys do have good recommendations. Sometimes some of you are funny, but most of the time you guys are just fucking cringe. Hey, how you doing? 
Hey, how you doing? What's your name? Uh, Gamble, what's yours? Gamble, Gam Gamble what? Are you looking me up right now? Scott Gamble or James Gamble? James Gamble? James Gamble, yeah. You're lucky you don't got any fucking fines. I ain't got no fines, I don't break the law. Wouldn't, wouldn't be the first cop that I had to chase down like a fucking dog. Having to chase cops down for fines, huh? Hey, Randy Wrangler, wild. I had to chase his ass down. Well, fuck is Randy Wrangler? Yeah, you got anything to drink? Ah. Uh, hey, why nah, don't you run the burger shot and get us both some up. sodas? You just bark orders at me. Hey, why don't you just run down to burger shot and get us both some sodas or something? But well, how about you ask me nicely instead of you know just demanding I do something for you for a man you just met? Do it. <laughs> you mean do it? Do it. Do you not support the veterans? No, absolutely. But I also believe in respect. I was in Vietnam! I don't give a fuck where you were with your life. Ask me nicely. That's the problem with you goddamn liberals. You don't care about much. You mean liberals? Did you just assume I'm a goddamn liberal? You're damn right I did. <laughs> You're as crazy as you are bald, huh? Hey, can you let me know when Dokes gets here? I told him I was going to talk to him. Dokes, you said. Yeah, I can yeah, let Sergeant him know. Sergeant Dokes. Yeah, All absolutely. right, thanks, bitch. I'll be sitting down in the lobby. And you a feisty little one, aren't you? When you, get the, when oh, you live to be uh, as old no, as I am, uh, this is how you always turn out. This motherfucker is losing a screw. James Gamble. No gambles. <laughs> this is a police station. Yes, I can see that. How are you doing? Uh, I'm doing pretty good, old man. Uh, if you think I sound vaguely like somebody you know, I don't. My name's Hank Carl, bounty hunter. No, you don't sound like anyone I know. Good. Uh, is that your sand, sand King out there? Did you rent that? Are you here to repo it? Yeah. How about this? I'll give you a job as a bounty hunter if you let me keep that Sand King. A bounty hunter? Yeah, you want to help me bounty hunt? I'm not much of a bounty hunter. Dog the bounty hunter had a, had his wife help him. Well, My wife left me 25 people? years ago. Oh, God. He cheated like on God. me with 20 other men. I walked into I'm the room sorry. and saw the film crew. My face oh, is on God. the cover of the BHS tape. Oh, God, so sorry. They called it Cucking Carl. Oh my God. I am it so won sorry. adult film of the year. <laughs> Did you get any money out of that? No. That's unfortunate. How about you take your seat? Come on. Uh, right there. A seat? Uh oh. Come on, okay. take your seat. All right, I know what you're thinking. Oh, I got you something, buddy. You give me my food. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Perfect. Better not be any of that vegan shit. Vegan shit? What not, you think I would do that to you? Good, I'm not a pussy. <laughs> there you go, right there in the little baggie for you. Nice you little Put it on the meal. table. I'm not putting it on the table. You can get your old ass up and pick it up. It is trash. No, it's just expired like you are. Fuck you! Oh, that's not very nice. 
And I know what you're thinking. I just met this guy. And how do I not know that he's going to disappear on me in a couple days like previous people have in your life? Well, I'll have you know something, honey. I'm not that guy. I'm a bounty hunter. And I'm sure that other guy will appear at some point in time. <laughs> How would you feel what? about working with the bounty hunters? Um, I don't think it's something that I would get into. How often do you shoot people? Damn, I killed somebody yesterday. <laughs> I, I killed a guy at a murder trial. <laughs> <laughs> During the trial? Yeah. <laughs> How are you not in prison? Because it was self-defense. Oh, Son of a bitch came at me with a hatchet. Oh. Yeah, so I shot him 12 times. Well, how, how well does it pay? Damn, I don't know. <laughs> it pays all right. Well, that's good to hear. Oh, you know what, old man? Uh, I'll let you keep the car. Hey, Look, let, let, I can't hey, stop. Let me give you my phone number. I can't stop number. other people from repoing it. Well, if they come up here, I'll just kick their ass. Oh, would, would you? Do? Okay. I would have fucked you up. <laughs> I would have beat the shit out of you and left you on the side of the road. Jesus. Okay, good to know. Yep. Future reference. Okay, well, I'll let you be up. I'll go after the other car. There's another car. Yeah, it's a food Want me to help you apprehend him? Uh... I bet he's got outstanding fines. <laughs> how about we how about we work together a little bit? Maybe I can show you how the world of bounty hunting's like. Now they're just gonna leave me here to sit here to play with my dick anyway. I don't know. I don't I don't think I wanna Let's get do into this the bounty repo hunting, truck. Bounty stuff. What? Let's go get into the repo truck. I got my- I brought my car up here. Yeah, fuck that piece of shit. That Sand King's badass. Oh, God. Where's his other vehicle at? It's right next to it. Oh, you mean no. the Futo? Yeah, the Futo. I have to go back to the city and track it. Perfect. Hop on in. Oh, no. Come I on, get in. Sure my hey! You left your door open. <laughs> Closing it. You know what? How Maybe much uh. Did you rent this out? I rent it for two hundred dollars an hour for two hours. So, and, and to help you out, I'll help you find that Futo guy. I bet his bitch ass has outstanding fines. Oh, you know what? I think Ralph goes after him. Who? Rocco, he's he's my sweetheart. What's his name? Rocco what? Rocco Russo. Are you looking him up? He doesn't got any fines. Yeah, terrible fucking pork chop sideburns, though. I love his sideburns. I was gonna get you to lure him out for me if he had fines. No, no. He's, he works as a repo as well. I think he's, uh, he might be tracking the other guy. Well, so that's your man. That's your boyfriend. Yeah. What's a hot piece of ass like you doing with an ugly fuck like that? He's not ugly. Looks awful. Don't worry, this won't take too long. I'll help you find that Futo. 
And then, I'll take you back to your car. The Matador is here to help you. Oh. How long you been at Repo? Uh, I would say a week now. I did that today and I beat the shit out of both of them. Oh, jeez. Ah, uh, well, if you ever want to rent out a car, I recommend you going to Todd. He can rent these out for you a lot cheaper. Hey, I'm trying to buy one. I need to get, uh, $12,800. Hey, Rafa. Yeah, I'm okay. Uh... We're heading back to PDM. Did he get the Futo? Yeah, well... He's, he wants to help me find the Futo, but I know that's what you're tracking, so... I don't know where to go from here. It's it, okay. He got the Futo! Well, we're, we're in his, uh... We're in his truck right now. I left my car up there. Did he get the Fudo? Oh, man? Say that again. Did he get the Fudo? He knows where it's at. Let's go pick it up. Where are you, Rocco? Oh, yeah, he's, he's already where the car is. Is it abandoned? It's at the... Uh, we don't have it. Uh, Here, I'll drop you off at Rocco then. And then I'll give you a ride. Probably. We might need to eat tow truck. Okay. Uh, here, I'll mark it on the map, old man. I'm not an old man. I'm a Vietnam veteran. Vietnam! Oh. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, they're doing a derby? Okay. Hey, you should use this, uh, Sand King in the derby. Hell no, it's my only means of transportation. Wait, where are we going? I'll meet you up there, Uncle. Where are we going? Okay, thank you. I marked it on... Where'd you I go? I don't see nothing. How about now? Yeah, I got you. Yeah, wake up, chat, you yeah, lazy fucking slobs. Us. Sorry. Why don't you work for Repo as well? Like another side. Oh, no, I chase similar people. Similar to bounty hunting. Oh. I don't give a fuck about cars. Energy What's chat! Your name? Again. Hey, Carl, the Matador. Carl? Yeah, Hat Carl, the Matador. Hat oh. Carl. Hat Carl? Yeah. Pop oh. Lock. Well, I'm Penny. Thanks for the two months. Yeah, you remind me a lot of my daughter. Do I? Yep, she was going to lawyer. She was going to Harvard to become a lawyer. She dropped out and became a whore. Oh my god. <laughs> Hat Carl, the Matador. Hey there, Hat. It's it me, Freedom. I know you rejected my uh, advances yesterday, so I'm guessing you're not into men. However, there's going to be a party at the uh, Vagina Unicorn. In case you're oh, interested. She, she was doing a lot better I might than be I there. Was, but... All right. Starts in like 30 minutes ish. Yeah. Right. Just put. Uh... All right, toodles. Toodles. Turn right here. All right. You're Wait, not gonna see. drop me off here at the road. Turn left. You see where all those where cars the... are? Yeah, I do. Straight ahead. Hold on. Ugh. Oh god. Alright, thanks. 
Hey, no problem. I'm glad I didn't have to kick your ass. Hello, would you like to enter this in the destruction derby? What's the what's the prize? Uh, two hundred dollars and the pride. You Fuck should. You. It's so much fun. What's your name? Oh. My name is Melvin Brown. Said Melvin Brown. Yeah, that's right. All right. Were you gonna enter or what? You gotta pay the entry fee, baby. I'm not pay. I'm not getting in this. Oh, you still watching? What if I pay for it? Absolutely, that'll work, Penny. Go fix your car once it's done. We also will fix your car once it's done. <laughs> Fuck your destruction derby. Hey now, come on now. Out of the fucking way! Hey, boss. Watch yourself. What are you doing here? Ah, uh, nothing. You want the derby? Fuck no, it's the only car I got. You can join it with the derby, you're just gonna wreck it. <laughs> no, no, there's so many people out there trying. Listen, right, they're very, be there's so many people out here trying to fucking kill me. All I can't right, afford to be in this derby. You are not allowed to get out oh, I fucking know it. Some people are trying to frame me for room, attempted murder or some shit. Um, they have fines. All right. Hey, why don't you hop in real fast? Come on, we gotta wait for it. Come on, truck. Hello, Moxie! Howdy. I gotta talk to him hey, for a second. Moxie. Hey, you see anybody here with uh, outstanding fines? <laughs> I don't, I have no idea. Yeah, I mean, is there anyone here that you know is uh, up to some shit? I'm not trying to, listen. All I'm trying to do is get them in custody, get them to pay their fines, that's all. Uh, I have a fine right now. What? But it's not, I just got it. It was a ticket, a speeding ticket. I give a fuck about that. <laughs> I, I literally don't. I don't know if anybody has fines. I don't keep track of their. God damn histories. it, boss! It's not. I'm not a bounty hunter. All right, that's not my job. God damn it, boss! You know anybody that would be trying to frame me for attempted murder? Ah, uh, no, probably an unattractive fatty. Probably. There's a lot of those around here. Anyway, sorry I couldn't be more help. So am I. Get the fuck out. Wow. Okay, bye. 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 Put that back on. What do you mean? Penny doesn't sound anything like Tesla Lamp. What a dumb thing to say. Fucking idiot. Is that guy such an asshole? Is he trying to be like Wrangler? Why is that guy such an asshole? Is he trying to be like Fred? Why is that woman so nice? Is she trying to be blah 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 blah? Why does that woman have white hair? Is she trying to be Brittany Angel?
What am I doing? Fucking idiot. Damn, I didn't know you could do animated GIFs. What the fuck? I didn't know you could do that. Hello? Hey, Sergeant Dokes, this is Hack Carol, the Matador. How the fuck did you get this number, Hack Carl? I got an MDW, I know everything. That's abuse of power. No, it's not, it's public info. It this is private information. All right, what can hey, I do for you, Hat Carl? I need to have a meeting with you. I'm at the LSSD. All right, well, you have to wait a while. We just had to wrap up a giant gang war involving two major gangs, so uh, we're still dealing with these pansies at the minute. Well, I mean, actually, this coincides with stuff like that. You, it'll take me 30 seconds. I mean, give me what? a bit and I'll come up there, okay? It won't be longer than five there, times. Sergeant Dokes. What's, come on, just give me 30 seconds. Of All right, you want 30 seconds on the phone or...? Uh, yeah, yeah, we can do it hey, on Connor, the phone. Connor, your, lawyer, your lawyer's in the uh, thing waiting for you. I'm sorry, it's just a busy thing. Right, well, go ahead, Hat Car. 30 seconds. Right. Tick. Pretty simple. When you guys arrest people and you pull up their profile, you guys see if they have overdue outstanding fines. All right? After you process them, you should notify a bounty hunter. Well, that sounds like more paperwork to me. It's not more paperwork. It's just one phone call. Hmm. I mean, the issue is you're going to have probably... A, well, the thing is, well, they won't be overdue fines until... Uh, actually, they will be overdue if we not send them. I get what you mean. No, no, um, man. So when you pull up their profile... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fines. Yeah, so we've just told cops at the minute to ignore that because it's a DMV and bounty hunter problem, right? Um, exactly. So you let I us get, know I get, I get you want some business, don't you? So... Hmm. Yeah, you're just letting us know they're around so we can add them to the list and go after them. Okay. Uh, let me have a think about that, and I'll get back to you. All right. Bye. All right. Bye. Time to drive through Fudge Lane. Why is it unlocking? You always gotta walk through the camera, boss man. Hmm. I do wanna hop on Pred today, by the way. Talk to Dokes and be like, hey man, listen. Actually, maybe it would be a good time to hop on Pred. Might be a good, it, it actually might be a good time. I think. Maybe, uh, maybe I'll get lucky and Metzger can come around today. But Metzger is a real adult with a life. Pat Carl's my favorite character to play right now. Actually. Poor Con Con? Well, here's the thing. I don't really want to be high command anyway. You know? But I do want to make sure that the PD kind of always stays on the right path of RP that I think's best. I don't want to see things turn into cops versus everybody. That's the only thing. I don't want to see RP turn into cops versus the world. That's it. That's it. That's really all it is. I don't need to be high command for it. Buddy, come on. Buddy. Buddy. Come on.
But Hat Carl is being shifted into main character once we I mean once we got like the meta MDW thing, bounty hunting will be great. Once we kind of iron out how things are gonna work with people owing shit, it'll be good. Rank equals do whatever the fuck you want. Yeah, but that ain't fun to me. I don't need rank. And I like someone breathing down my neck in RP. Someone breathing down my neck in RP is good shit. Can't wait to see Carl run into JFTV or Jordan. Brother. Alright. I used to deal with steel on fucking Slim and it was light work. Alright. Chief... Come on. He's light work, too. None of them will be able to stand up to combat Carl. Hey, Carl, the Matador. 2367. That's all you get. What do you mean, that's all I get? Well, you can look up his profile in the MD oven, can you not? Yeah, yeah, two, three, six, seven. All right, I appreciate it. Yeah, a thousand dollars owed. Just gonna be coming out of prison soon. Perfect. Thank you. All right, Thank enjoy. You. Bye, Sergeant. Hmm. Tommy fucking Kingston. Herder. This guy's violent. I don't want to pick up anyone when they're getting out of prison, though. Tommy Kingston, 2367. Overdue fine. 1,000, 1040. Unpaid, December 18th. Just follow them back to the city. Nah, I'm not. I'm never gonna just pick someone up outside of prison. But I do want to switch to Kyle Pred. Locked. Yes, it is. Is there a character switcher? Joining, joining, joining. Bag them and tag them, boys. Bag them, fucking tag them. Ooh, baby. Oh, what are we drinking to, chat? Chat, what are we drinking to? Everybody drink up. Everybody drink up. Can you imagine if we actually played that game? Where if we took a shot every time somebody fucking came in here asking me about no pixel. Bad man, thanks for the gift sub. I do appreciate that. Yo, Pickles, thanks for the four months, dude. I do appreciate that. Let me change my title. Info updated successfully. Don Q with the 10 bomb. Just so you guys know, 300 subs a day unlocks a 10-hour stream for that day. You know, just so you're aware. It does. No, I don't want to do it. It does. I'm not lying. Yo, 
Yo, Caffy, thanks for the five bomb. Appreciate that. Yeah, that was different, though, ro Robot. Let's be honest, Robot. It's not like you contributed that. You're probably just a, a dirty, gifted subman. Dirty, dirty bitch. Mr. Rager, thanks for the five bomb. Angry John with the five bomb. I've never lied to you. What the fuck? And is still around. Give her a call. Oh my god. Red, hey, hi. what's up, Candace? How you doing? How you been? How'd the election go? I have some bad news. I wanted that um, first VP nod. That's I wanted that. I wanted I wanted to be the first lady, Candace. Fred, I'm really sorry. But I didn't win. Oh, so my dreams just don't matter. They do, I they do. You, hey, right? look, Pred, okay. I let you finger bang I... every woman you want, and you can't even get mayor and make me first lady. It's like, how can you do this to me? I wanted that. I wanted that I for know, you and me. I know. I wanted it for us, too, okay? Look, I'm going to be honest with you. I missed you, okay? And the trailer is gone, and I don't know where, but I couldn't find it earlier. Someone probably moved it. Why? I don't know. I don't know, but I might be getting a. I might be taking a city job down in the uh, LSPD. They're giving me a detective job, so. Oh, so we'll be in the same department. Yeah, yeah, we will. Oh hell yeah, we're gonna look so good. Look, know, okay, I know. Oh, they all are. Every single fucking uniform's trash, but at least we'll be matching, right? Yeah, I guess you're right mm -hmm. about that. Oh, also. I got promoted. To what? Mayor? Officer. No, I didn't. <laughs> I, I came second, okay? No, I I got promoted to officer. I'm not a cadet anymore. Nice, nice. I'm proud of you. You know something? You've done a lot. You know, you're a smart woman, intelligent, beautiful. You know, you got, you're got. you the whole package, Candace. Thanks, Fred. I do. I appreciate it. I appreciate it very much. And you know what? I'm glad to hear you back. I just okay? wish you would have gotten mayor, though. I just wish. I Next really time. Would've. Next time. But how, how much did you lose by? Was it a blowout? I don't know the numbers because Jerry didn't give the numbers. I just Ooh, know that, that I came good. second. Ooh, right? I, okay. I'm thinking he's either not giving the numbers because it's rigged or he's just, or he's lazy or I don't know. It's just those two, really. Damn. All right. Yeah, well, Jerry is an asshole. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you know, he actually, like, announced it at fucking, like, really, really, like, early in the morning or late at night. Oh, when you weren't around? Mm-hmm. 3 a.m. I know. Why would he announce it at 3 a.m. and not waiting for, like, everybody to be around to do a big reveal? Right? That's what I'm saying. What's the matter with him? See, I just went to bed. I went into the apartment. I went to bed. I had a sleep, and I thought, fuck it. I'm just going to wake up and see tomorrow. And then I was disappointed, obviously. <sighs> uh, but you know, the good news is I want to go again. I well, do. I, vote, I voted for you. Thank you. You and a lot of other people, actually. There's a lot of people that have been coming up to me like, well, it's a shame. Because I was going to do good things. Yeah, yeah, you were going to legalize drugs. I was. I was going to legalize weed. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to have to buy it illegally. You're joking, a cop. I'm not going to buy it. I'm, just, I'm not going to buy it. I'm joking. Sorry, right, hey, I get it for free. <laughs> Wait, what? Candy Shores boys. Oh. Yeah, they're my boys when it comes to that shit. Hmm. Might have to hook me up sometime. Oh, well. Well... I got to go take care of some business. I'll talk to you later. Sorry to hear you didn't become mayor. Of married. course. Always next Well, look, election. I've got this nice bikini on right now with some fishnets. Maybe I'll show you it later. Perfect, perfect. I'll, I'll wear you like a mouth guard. 
Perfect. Sounds good. I can't wait, Brad. I'm, you're going to need to bring some Listerine because I, I, I need to get that pussy off my breath. I don't want oh, to come to work. I don't want to come to work with pussy on my breath the next day. Okay. Mm -hmm. You don't I want pussy Listerine on your breath. I need some Listerine and a mm -hmm. toothbrush. You don't have those already? I need more of them. Okay. How can I trust that you're clean going down there? Okay. I'm always clean. Yeah? You brush your yep. teeth? Yeah, I brushed them, I think. Okay, look, just make sure yeah, you I stay did. nice and fresh, okay? Because you're going to be down there a long time. Perfect, perfect. I will. All right, I'll talk to you later, Candace. Okay, goodbye, friend. Bye. Goodbye. Shit. Riley arrests two people. Cave Pred joyriding added to incident. I'm not looking at this stuff. Added to case file. Trevor, Trevor, two times assault with a... I guess that's the old one. Text messages. Hector Hernandez, double eche. Ooh, Skyler. Please play Hat Carl when Wrangler is around. I mean, how come you can't just hop on Pat? And we can play together. He won't be able to handle us both. Shit, he can't even handle hat. Can't even RP with my friend anymore. Can you believe that shit? Uh, let's see who's around. I don't think Vare's around right now. All right, Vare should be around soon. It's all around. And they really need to fix this, huh? Oh, shit. Do I have Riley Reads on my phone? No, I don't. Fuck. Hello. Hey, Reeds, it's Pred. Hi, Pred. What's this shit you attach me to that I'm refusing to open? What is it? Let me take a look. It says, uh, added to incident. You have been added to a report. Riley arrests two people. I assume you did that. Is that a report or an incident? I said I refuse to open it. I need to know what you're trying to get me in on here. What okay, what was the do? incident number? I have to open it up to tell you that. I can okay, tell well, you I can't tell you otherwise, Pred. Well, I can tell you the name of it. It's Riley Arrest Two People. No, it's, it's, it's it. changed since then. All right, so now you're making me do extra work. See, this is what... Okay, I just need the report fine, number. Fine, fine, fine. I'll open it. Jesus. I can't get the report number, and now the notification's gone. Okay, hang on. Wait, what are you attaching me to stuff? Making, oh, me, do was, your, um, making me do your yeah, work? No, no, it was. You need to put a statement in report number 3993 because it's What's about that, that green car we chased. 3993. Yeah. Uh, the one oh. we went to get food and then. Uh. 
yeah, you gotta write a, just a quick statement saying you chased the green car and then lost guys and then found it at burger shop. Pending. I'll get to it. I'll leave it up on the end. You have 24 hours and it's already been five days. What do you mean I have 24 hours? What do you mean it's You have 24 five hours! Days? You have 24 hours to finish reports and statements and it's already been... Actually, it's... it's I can't hey, who count. Cares? They, they all, who cares? They all pleaded guilty. Oh, it doesn't matter, Brad! You're a corporal! The standards! What do you mean standards? Standards for fucking what? It's just standards. For what? Exactly. I mean, we are. They pled you guilty. You need to send Who an example. Cares? You need to do your statements and your reports. Yeah, but I mean, they pled guilty. Who gives a shit? Okay, we'll raise that with command then and get them to amend the SOPs. As it currently stands, you They're need to put a statement like in. like I read those. Oh my God, Kyle. What, Riley? You want to take the? Hey, you want to take the buffalo out again? Me and you. That was a good time. Pretty it's sure much... there's already like two out. Yeah, and then me and you can take one out together. There's no need. There's nothing happening. What do you mean there's nothing happening? There's tons happening. It, it... Well, I have to deal with a report first because oh someone decided god. to bash a hemophiliac's go. head. Oh my god, here we go. Blah, 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 I, blah. I'm doing blah, my job, Pred. Blah. I'm doing my job, Pred. I'm doing... Well, I was trying to get you to do your job. No, you're trying to make me ditch this report and ride with you. That's... Ah, uh, just forget about it. it. I can't. Yeah, just let it go. Who cares? I care. Why? Did they plead guilty? No, it's a civilian report. She got her head bashed in. Did she deserve it? I don't think so. I bet you she did. I bet oh, you no. she bashed her own head in and is fucking with you. That's what I'm thinking. Mm, I don't know about that. You hit her, she bashed her own head in and is fucking with you. That's exactly what it is. If you can get a co command approval to take the buffalo out, I'll ride with you after I've done this report. I'll think about it. Okay. Hey, Lula! Oh, fuck. Hi, Pred. What you up to? Uh, investigate. Did she just flip me off? No, I was lowering my window. Hey, 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 put that down. Or put it in my mouth. You make a decision. Ah, <laughs> uh, investigation shit. I mean, I oh, got that's a nice. murder. You know, uh, a murder. You know, we might be working together. I got an offer. What? Yeah, yeah, maybe I'll show you how it's really done. Something tells me you guys need my help. Oh, yeah? Yep. Yep. Yeah. Are you, uh, you doing homicides or are you doing, like, gang style? I do it all, baby. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, you want to help us with this investigation then? I think I got to wait for, uh, Metzger to come around. Before I can you jump can ride with me, with uh, if I, I can technically, quote unquote, deputize you to ride with me. But if you don't want to, that's fine. I'll, I'll take on all the work, all the cases. Ouch, I mean, gladly. All right, listen. Calm your tits. <laughs> What's the uh, case? Uh, a lost member executed. Moxie, here, I'll just give you the fucking report. Uh, it is incident, no, CR4457. Yellowjack killed lost member. You got a body? Read the text messages between Moxie Maddox and this individual. Execution style, bullet through the back of the head. Damn, whose phone number is this? I don't know yet. That's why we get a... You know how to do that, right? You know you can put in a... So you know you can put in a... Yes. Yes. Okay. Fine. Yes. Did you already I'm do that? Summer child. Not yet. We just got this case. It just landed in our lap. We have to head over okay. to uh, the Yellow Jack and try and collect evidence because uh, it was not collected at the time. Okay. What kind of dumbass did all this goddamn report writing but didn't collect any fucking evidence? Uh, he said that he was not aware that it was a execution. 
hell situation. Hey, but he was aware that a gun was used. Is he fucking special needs or some shit? Oh, let's want to head over there. Yeah, I'm waiting for uh, my brother. He's you know, time is of the essence it. when it comes yes, to evidence, right? It's most likely gone. Yeah. Yes, friend. Thank you. Oh, shit. Keep shining it. What's that show that was on Nickelodeon? There's a lot of shows that are on Nickelodeon. Yeah, you but it was like uh, <laughs> something it was like the ones. It was like the fire. It was this ghost stories one. Are you afraid of uh, the dark? Yeah, yeah. Are you afraid of the dark? Are you afraid of the dark? You're the no. one that doesn't work night shift. I'm Is afraid of failure. Bread? Hey, what's up, Walker? Yeah. What up, homie? No, I think I'm going to be uh, joining you guys today. Yeah, he's he's oh, yeah? joining us on this one. Hell yeah. Oh, good yeah, change. Can't wait. Can't wait. Well, we got to run to the Yellow Jack real fast. Yeah, let's yeah. go get that evidence. And then we can play dress up later. I do love to You're play driving, dress brother. up. Nice. Well, it was locked. Damn, whoever didn't gather the evidence really dropped the fucking ball. The judge yeah, will the be fucking pissed if this goes to trial. The excuse was uh, he thought he wasn't dead. That doesn't matter. Who was the cop that did yeah. this? They should be fucking fired. <laughs> Oh, Fred's on one. But they should oh! be. They just dropped the they dropped the major, you know, pins on a murder case. They, they should Welcome be fucking. Welcome to every case that I have right now, Fred. Yeah, they should. It's that's like... why you fire them. I'll check I inside. Think... Did he have pictures of where the body was found? Fired or retrained? Nah, you fire people that do that shit. You don't retrain them. My opinion. Certain things are just... Get you fired, man. All right, well, I'm going to just say it. That was a body dump. Killed somewhere else. Can't teach giving a fuck. Who's the officer? Was it Vondel? Vondel, was it you? Ooh, I'm all about firing you. What it is, chat, all you do is you, you fire people for shit, and then they can make another character. It's literally that fucking simple. But certain things should get you fucking fired. Then if you make another big mistake, you just get blacklisted from PD for a while. Can you call Boston and ask him where the body was found, please? Specifically? Yeah. Well, you know, your whole case is fucked because of that guy. Welcome to all of my cases. This is why I can't get a van. It's the usual. This is the usual, Fred. But so people get shot and then nobody can't, no, nobody gets evidence? No hey, Boston, officers get evidence or file exactly evidence. Did you find that body? And then we have to come in and clean up and look like the fucking idiots who can't close cases. Oh, no, that's why you got to That's why you got to make sure you give this guy's name to Bob and get him shit canned. Because of this guy, uh, uh, there's a murder. 
that can that you can't solve. We need to talk with Moxie. Right smack dab in the middle of the parking lot is what he said. You want About me to call him and yell at him? The front door. I'll call Dokes. You want to go take this to Dokes real quick? Because this is kind of a big You're deal. You're such a bully. Focus. I'm not a Focus. bully. It's just... I, I, look, look. I'll follow your guys' lead on whatever it is you want to do, but... We can, look, we can handle it later, but I think... What if another person gets murdered? He says the same shit. <laughs> yeah, you can't teach giving a fuck. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. Smack dab in the middle of the parking lot. Said about four yards from the door. Yeah, there's nothing here. And there there's ain't shit. Here. I mean, I heard you say something about a body dump. I mean, I'm thinking well, it's a body dump. All the text messages I hear said the yellow, the yellow jack was a good call or something like that. Did you call him and did you call Mr. Boston or, or Deputy Boston or whatever and ask him if he did see blood and bullet casings on the scene? I don't even think he looked. I'm gonna be real honest with you. Is he still collecting statements right now? Yeah. Oh, let's get down there. Oh. At least it sounded like he was. You want to drive or you want me to drive? Hey, you can drive. I like driving. Yeah, I'll follow your guy's lead. You tell me what you want to do. Uh, after, so... after this, we need to speak to Moxie. Cause, yeah. yeah. Uh, did you already tell the doctors that you want the coroner report? Yeah. My whole thing is like, the only reason I'm saying it's a body dump is if he was shot execution style, there would be plenty of evidence there to, uh, to you know, not, say that. Well, evidence doesn't stay forever. Yeah. It will, though, eventually, but just not yet. Uh, let me ask you a question. Where's this guy at taking statements? Zona. Zona. All right. Uh, I have DNA and fingerprints on our deceased individual, but it kind of is useless. This is good RP. It's going to be a whole Too Conrad case. Too bad some guy fucked you. it all up. Yeah. It's going to be we the still have the phone, and Conrad case. All but over it's here. probably a burner. Uh, Walker, if you can start getting the, uh, the phone stuff, the warrant thing. You need me to help you with the phone <laughs> subpoena? That's it. Uh, yeah. I haven't subpoenaed a phone yet. I can help so. you. I've done it a couple times. Yes. Yeah. I appreciate it. I mean, uh, you know, you just got to articulate that this is like the only, like, article Lead. of evidence. And yeah, I mean the pictures themselves, that, um, the text messages, pretty much articulate itself. Yeah, and then if you believe, do you have reason to believe it's a burner? I think I saw something in the messages. Something, there something is something, something in the messages. Let me yeah, see. Yeah, well, then you can use that as like probable cause to get everything on that phone. Find out yeah. who it belongs to. Find out if it was reported stolen. If it was stolen, who was it stolen by? You know. A known person who called confirming something happened at Yellowjack and that Winnie told them to tell me about it. They then gave me the number of said Winnie. So we have... Got a lead. A lead. Don't got uh, a fucking bullet, though, and a murder weapon and blood. You just got a body. Yeah. Can't All remember if this is your nine personal... Millimeter. That's what the doctor said. 9mm bullet. I can't remember if this is your personal or burner phone, but I want Peter to... Tot, thanks for the want five the bomb. job discreet and done quickly. No witnesses. Is Moxie involved or did she give you this stuff? Moxie provided this information. Moxie says she's being set up because of a prior altercation with the lost. <laughs> Curbs. <laughs> Is that guy just screaming Pred outside the front of the hospital? 
No, I think you said friend. Oh. I was just chanting Pred. I've been doing that too. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna go back to Hey, how you doing? Um, not not good. Is there? Can I? What? It's Why aren't been you doing a day. Good? Well, we we lost we lost somebody today. Um. The lost lost somebody. That's 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 something. Sorry to hear that. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Is there? Uh, is there? Uh, sorry. Can I? I was just about to go vote for some fresh air. If, uh, are you part that's... of the investigative team or something? Hey, listen. Yeah, Have you talked to anybody yet? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I talked to that that cop over there uh, by the yeah, sprunk machine. Shoot a gun recently? Have you been Mirandized? For what? I mean, have you been Mirandized? No. All right, all right. Well, I mean, so I guess, like... You knew the guy. Yeah, he was like a family member to us. Oh, man. Yeah, like, I... What? What's your name? Yeah, like, he... My Axel? Nice, Axel what? Blackwood. Blackwood, Axel Blackwood. That, now that's, a, that's a good name. Thank you. My mom shoot, gave it to me. Shoot a gun recently? No. Mind, mind if I GSR test you? You go right ahead. All right. See, let me give, give me your hand real quick. Yeah, I've only seen your mom's uh, dispatch from the one time. Oh, oh. Sorry about what happened. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> you know, I, I, and I don't mean to get my back up, but when a cop comes up and is like, have you been Miranda rise or whatever the fuck you said? I mean, that... you should have been Mirandized. I mean, if someone's going to ask you questions, you should always be Mirandized. Oh, and then you see this, this doctor, Anna, she takes care of animals. She loves animals. Uh, uh, She's uh, really uh, nice. Uh, um, and this Dr. Kaz over there, he's very, very nice too. And Dr. Moby. Hey, old lady. Yeah, they are all Coming very, very nice. Yeah. You know, people seem to respect him. You know, uh, in any you gotta love it when people just randomly walk up while you're taking a statement and just start saying the stupidest shit. Hey, just tell him to get back. Okay, you woke up at the clock and bell. You got a call from Axel. He said, "Hey, we're gonna go do some hunting by the dam and continue." I can't hear her. And, and, oh. Two brothers. Oh. Sorry, uh, sorry, I tripped. Sorry. Uh. You okay, ma'am? Let me help all you right, out. All right, I, I figured. All right, all right, I'm good. Um, so we um, we were just uh, waiting for my brother Clyde and Otis. Um. And oh. Bruce. Oh no no no. And um. Mubo, it's okay. Oh no no. no. I uh, was uh... uh. Yeah. So after we met up with them, um. We uh, I guess I think we ended up like riding up to the dam. That's where we met them. I'm trying to remember. Yeah, and uh, so we. Try to do a little bit of hunting up there because we thought maybe it might be a good place to go. Um, and um, I saw in my our little group text that the VP was around, uh, Zorin, and um, so he I, usually I, you know, the other guys I, I leave that to them to you know contact them. Um, and they, um, uh, I don't know if they reached this out woman's to him full or of not. Shit. Um, they may have texted him, but I didn't have any contact with Zorin. She is full of shit. Um, she is fucking lying so, so much. She's we, nervous. 
tried to find some some deer out there. We weren't having any luck, and then we kind of decided to go swimming. Um, and get this on Bruce ended up hitting anything. his head. Um, I think uh, Axel had to take him to the hospital, and then um, and then there was uh, and then I think I jumped in a little too hard and hurt myself, which I yeah I need to go to the doctor real soon here after this. Um, and then um, afterwards, me and Otis went over and did a little bit of time uh, at the clock and bell. They need to bring her in for. They need to bring all these. And people then after into... that, that's when I um, uh, Axel showed Boy. up, and then that's when I heard that uh, from him that Zorn was here at the hospital. Hey, can I uh, talk to you two guys real quick, real fast? Yep. One second, ma'am. What's your name? Uh, Millie. Yeah, listen, in these situations, you want to get them on recording. And because she's she's noticeably lying. She's definitely full of shit. You, you, you want to you wanna be we can take him down. You want to be taking all these people down separately on recording. I mean, yeah, let's, we can. You already have like, didn't what did the evidence say that you already have on the case attached? So, about which part? That well, you said something that you said that the individual suggested that it was you know, <laughs> that, that you have that suggestion, so you have that reasonable suspicion to believe their own involvement and that they're full of shit, and then you have her testimony being really inconsistent like she remembers all these minute details and shit like that she's definitely been you know trying to cover bumbling we have uh, let's see we have millie du duberger treasurer otis duberger her brother not sure what his rank is within the um the lost axel blackwood and Moxie Maddox and whoever this Winnie person is. Yeah, what you wanna what you wanna do is you wanna be getting all these Why people. Why are you talking to come like that? So that they can hear me. I'm whispering. I'm whispering okay, to you. Okay. You you, you can... wanna get these people to come in voluntarily, right? But you can make them come in forcefully, but you wanna say, Hey, listen, we know you care about this guy. You gotta try and appeal to their side of the story because it's like they're trying to be sympathetic, right? Like they're trying to be like, Oh my god, this is so important to me. And how would it look if you said, yeah, well, we need you to come down to give a statement to us. You know what I mean? Like on the record type shit. Yeah. And it, what, what if they say no? I mean, that that looks pretty damning as evidence to, you know, further your case. You want to be you want to take these people down and you want to you want to talk to all of them on recording. You, you want to get all of this on recording and then you want to get someone to sift through it so you can find the inconsistencies because he's she's full of shit, you know. And she's giving so many. She's give, She's saying too much. She's giving so many details. A lot of us. Yeah, she's she's giving so many details that it'll be so easy to spot inconsistencies with other people's stories, especially if you have them on recording. And you know, recordings are far better evidence for murder cases than written statements. Because mm -hmm. if she, if you submit statements to a court case, right, that's only hearsay testimony unless they come to the courthouse and take the stand. But if you have an actual recording that you can submit as evidence, like that's pretty powerful. Yeah, you don't you don't want to be doing this type of stuff in the field, like especially when it comes to a murder. Like, you want to get them down. You want to get them on recording. You want to try and get her to come down there willingly, so you don't scare her or anything like that. And then, you know, I mean, they're obviously they're already cooperating with police. Is a change of scenery really going to make a difference there? You have to. You have no. to. Like, this is just a suggestion. It's your guy's case. I'm just trying to help you out. I've done a lot of this. A lot. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we're just trying to clean up what 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 was already a mess. Uh. Yeah. Let's. Yeah, we can we can ask him to head down to VPD. Hey, what you want to do is get them all to go down and just get everything on recording. That's all. <laughs> all right. You want to go talk to Boston? Make sure he doesn't fuck it up.
Mr. Uh, yeah. How do, is that how I say it? Is that German? Burger. Um, honestly, I'm not sure. My daddy left when I was young, so. That's unfortunate. You seem so charming. Uh, do you want to come head down to VP where it's a little bit more private, where we can talk about things? Uh, sure. Right, yeah, let's be honest. Last thing you want is people to see you talking to the cops in public. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I agree. That we will be uh, uh, taking them down. Hey, how you doing? Fuck up. Voluntarily. But if they say okay. no, they hey, oh. that's even better. Oh okay. shit, this lady keeps dissing. We can. <clears throat> oh my gosh. Sorry about that. For some reason. Are you okay? Are you okay, ma'am? Didn't even see you. I, I think I just hit my head. Oh my god. Do you need medical? <laughs> um. Maybe. Are you sure? I mean, we can get you medical. I can give you a med kit. Yeah, for some reason, oh. when you keep walking, I can't hear you. I don't know why that is. Oh. Okay, that's strange. You can All hear right. me now, though. Yeah, you sound beautiful. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, thank you. I want to apologize. Um, the detectives would like to. Um, why is he saying that? Okay. Why? Uh, hey, yeah, Boston, right? You got a second? Yeah. Yeah, give I me one second, Fred. Yeah, give me one second. Nah, this is this is more important. You you come with me. So uh, if you just walk over to detectives, and they'll uh, they'll help you guys. Okay. Thank you. You have a good one. Fred, why right? are you why are you telling him that? Why are you telling him that? Why? Why, why are you? What why you are mean? you over? What are you? Why are you over there telling him it's for an investigation and all this? Why are you using those words? Because, why are you using that verbiage? Because we don't You're, want them to go on. Uh, go on what? You don't want them to go on, on what? The video. On the video. What do you mean on the video? You don't want them to go on. The, what does that mean? What does it mean? You don't want them to go on the video. What does that mean? They. No, I'm, I'm just. Relay what, is, what they told me here. What does that mean? You don't want no, you don't relay that. We're going there right now. Listen, you already fucked they, up the scene and they, now you're fucking up the investigation. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, you're a big you're a huge fuck up. No. No, you are. Okay. okay. Perfect. Sounds good. We will meet y'all there. Alrighty. Okay. Jesus, you get a good murder case, and this guy fucks it up every uh, every in in interaction. Fuck. Why are they heading to VPD? Yeah. Yep. I yelled at that Boston guy. He is such a fucking idiot. He was over there telling one of them, "This is you want. We want to get you on recording for investigation." This guy is a fucking dipshit. This guy is literally oh, the no. biggest fucking dipshit. I, I listen. You need to get him away from this fucking case. Uh, listen, I'm sure he. Listen, I'm sure he's not like. Look, it's, a lot of people don't know how to handle investigations. All right, they don't. They don't know what the fuck they're doing. Okay. That guy already fucked you, and he's fucking you again. You're part of this case, too. Yeah, but I'm coming in on the tail end trying to help you recover it. And fuck, you keep getting sabotaged by, de by Corporal We all came Boston. in at the same time, my love. Yeah. Nah, nah, nah. I'm telling Bob that I came in at the tail end of this. You guys feel, would you guys feel better if you parked them out front or do you want to park them around back where they're safe? Yeah, I'm not, I don't, I don't think we're trying to, yeah, maybe we're going to the back. You want to go, let's get, let's get, let's get them behind the fence. But the thing is though, people can still grab them because of the pylons. 
I, I can actually I got a place for him here. Follow me. I see how I'm doing. I'm making them think I care. You know, I don't. Yeah, building rapport. So sweet. Yeah, it's a, trust me, it's really important. Yeah, yeah. Show us the ways, friend. I will. Teach right. it teach us with your big brain. Big strong, wrinkly brain. There's a lot of wrinkles in that brain. Yeah, hopefully your guys' bikes are fine here. Yeah, the gate's Appreciate locked. it. Look, any, uh, listen, if you guys have anything illegal, you should put them on the bike, because you just can't come in with any weapons. So any weapons, if you could just put them on the bike. You can't come into the PD with, like, bats, knives, guns. Yeah. Yeah, so why don't you go to the bikes and take care of that? See, I'm making it look like I don't want to fuck them. You are something else. You know that? I know. All right, perfect. So All just right. so you're aware, this you is going to be like one at a time, that type thing. You know, and then I'm we're just going to. I'm not going through. Sir, your do I have permission anything? to touch okay. you, or would you prefer a female officer? Oh uh, no, it's fine. Man. You're good. All right, perfect. Yeah, hey, hey, you're not going to stab me with those keys, are you? No. You're not going to stab me with those keys. I've been stabbed with keys before. You ain't going to stab. You ain't sharpening those keys, are you, on that key ring? Nah. You live another day. All right, perfect. All right. So uh, why don't we... Uh, here, why don't you guys follow me real quick? I just want to... How about... Uh, you ever been in here before? I bet you have. Unfortunately. Yeah, it's not a good spot for us, to be all honest. Right, all right, I prefer the hospital, but... Hey, come on in. Now, hospital's bad. Hospital's really bad. A lot of people go to the hospital, they talk. Not a lot of cops talk, so. You never know what anyone's going to try and say you're doing. Fair enough. Here, follow me. Where are you going, Fred? I was going to keep two of them in the office. Oh, okay. That's good with you. Oh. Yep, minus one. This is it. Do we just go below ground by going up? Uh, I'm going to be honest with you. The building layout doesn't really make sense. You see, we got like a pool room in here, some desks. Oh, shit. Yeah, oh, it's a nice shit. little. Damn. Hold on, I don't awesome. think. Hold on, we might not be able to use this room. Oh yeah, we definitely can't use this one. I think there's guns in there. Uh, sit tight. Oh, there's beds in here though. You like beds? We got are some you... nice bunks. Are you anywhere? You know... Anywhere where I could think. All right, come over here. You... Where? Wait, are we going in circles here, or will you? It's yeah, yeah. What I'm just gonna do is. I'm just going to lock these doors, and then you guys can, you know, play pool and stuff like that. Yeah, all right, fella. I'm going to go think about something. All right, that door is locked. Let me just lock these double doors. All right, perfect. All right, ma'am, you mind coming with us? We'll just knock this out real fast. Sure. Hey, SpongeBob Season 1. Hey, come on out. And uh, I'm just going to lock this door from the outside. Uh, okay. What? If... All right. What if I need to... All right, let's head on downstairs. Hey, why don't you get her to interrogation? Yeah, I will I will do that, Brad. Excuse me. Walk. It, it. Normally, I'd keep them separated, but that'd be kind of boring.
Yeah, I'll call Dokes. Oh, yeah, do you guys need anything? I mean, you got some water? Yeah, I can have someone bring you some water up. Or, like, soda or whatever. I don't give a shit. Something. I'm yeah, I'll have, some, I'll have someone bring you some stuff up. All right, thanks. Is that a dispatcher? Rob missed. Uh, one indigo double zero to dispatch. Good. Gotcha. I need you to be aware we have two individuals who are staying inside of the SWAT room on negative one. They're staying inside the SWAT office now. All the doors are locked and everything. Um, but uh, they do need some food and some drinks. So if you could maybe bring them some food and some drinks on negative one in the SWAT room. That'd be great, and then make other officers aware of their presence. I'd appreciate it. Who's in negative one? It's gonna be two uh, two guys that we need to talk to. They're in the uh, SWAT SWAT room, the SWAT rec room on negative one. Oh, floor negative one. I thought you meant radio channel. I was confused for a moment. Okay. No, no, floor negative one. Yeah, you. Right. Metzger. There you are. There, there's a cop that needs to be fired. What happened? They'll t listen, Lula, the, the, Lula, the McCoys will tell you all about it afterwards. Right now, trying to help yeah, them. Yeah, they're interrogating uh, somebody right now. Yeah, yeah, well, they, they needed some tutelage from me to help them out. So, you know, you've got, you know taking care of, taking care of everything. Uh, you want to know Hello. what happened? Hello. Some deputy named Boston. Are they in Boston, need of food, like, right now? Yeah, they yeah. would like some food and water right now. If you could handle that, that'd be great. That's clear. I'm going to be off radio, but if you need me, just pull my number and call me, all right? That's clear. All right, so what happened is there was a murder scene. The guy yeah, didn't I read the gather report, evidence. Generally. The cop didn't? The deputy? The cop didn't gather evidence, so we don't this have Boston? casings or blood. He didn't? No, we don't have... And then, oh, okay, because well, I also have a complaint about him for this and incident. And then also... When, uh, you know, we, while the detectives and along myself were working, you know, talking to some people who we suspect to be involved due to some information we have, and I really need to overlook them in that interrogation room, uh, he walked over to them and said, yeah, we're going to have to interrogate you. So you're going to have to go down to the PD instead of trying to get them to be like, hey, can you tell us the story and everything uh -uh. like that? Mm -hmm. So, oh, there he is. You could talk to okay. him. No, uh, I'm going to figure out what's going on. Hey, uh, bud. <laughs> May I help you out? Oh, she requested her lawyer to be present during questioning. Oh, that's a good sign for us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's a great sign. Never want to talk this close to doors, by the way. You want to come over here. Now we're safe. <laughs> yeah, it's real simple. So how you feeling? How am I feeling? Yeah. You look yeah. good. Thank you. You got more pink dye in your hair than usual? Your cheeks are, nope. you know, full of color. Have you been getting nope. tan? Oh, yeah. I, yeah, I actually have been. Hey, keep it up. You know something, Walker? You look good, too. Hey, thanks, buddy. Appreciate if it. If I was gay, I'd he be attracted to you. I see he That's got a haircut. Enough. I don't like it. Better than what I had, trust me. No, it's not. Nothing's better. Listen, nothing's better than this. No, uh, you, you weren't. Hey, did you Trust take her me, phone would, from her, by the way? No. You should take her phone. You want me to confiscate her phone? Yeah, second they ask for an attorney, I mean, you know, they breached good faith. Take their phone. Send a message. 
Okay, Walker, you want to go take your phone? Oh, you want me to be the asshole? I'll yes. do it. I'll do it. Okay. Okay. Oh, no. Yeah. No. Well, oh, this is perfect. This is the perfect synergy. We just send this is. Kyle in to be the asshole. Ma'am? Ma'am, are you in here? Ma'am? Ma'am? Where's that at? <laughs> right, right here, Fred. <laughs> you got it. Hey, how you doing? Gotcha. I just need to grab your phone off you. You okay? Can you hear me, ma'am? 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 Sorry, Ma sorry. I was right. thinking real quick. Uh, yeah, you need to grab my phone? Yeah, I just need to hold on to your phone. It's just procedure. Sure. All right, don't worry. I'll give it right back to you. Uh, do I have permission to grab your purse, or would you prefer for a female officer? I mean, I could put my phone right here on the desk. Well, I just need to verify it. Oh, oh. Uh... You know what I mean? You could have two. Yeah. I'm not looking for anything else, man. Do you have do I have permission to search you? Yes. Okay. I'm not looking for anything else. I'm not I'm not that type of guy. You don't even have a phone. Well, I put my phone on the desk. Oh. Here, can you scoot over? Yeah, let me put my cigarette out. That was nice of you. You know something? I like you lost guys. Look, this is just uh procedure. You know what I mean? Uh, There's nothing I, really yeah. to be worried about. I understand. Hey, Mets. You I got the hey, bitch's phone. She has no way. idea. Oh, well, never mind. There's Metzger. I'm just here. I'm not. I'm. I'm just sort of existing. That's all I'm doing. Okay. Hi, Friday, Weddy. Hey, what were you calling me about, Riley? Um, do you want to? Yeah, do you want to speak to Boston with me? About what? He already fucked up an entire murder investigation. About that, was... basically. And then judging by his response, no, uh, then let the sergeant know. Like an, he's talking to me like I'm an asshole. It's probably better. He called you an him. asshole in front of me and Metzger. I mean, well, he's a fucking dipshit, you know? So. Yeah, no, I can go. Uh, but yeah, do you want to sit him down in office with me and uh, talk to him? I got I to gotta handle this. Uh, I got to handle this inter these interrogations. We got three of them. We got to run real quick and time's of the essence here. So I got to Okay, you want me shit. to do it? Yeah, I mean, I can just fill you in. I mean... I mean, you basically okay. heard everything I said. He basically fucked up. He didn't up collect everything. evidence on scene? Didn't collect evidence on scene, so this case is ten times harder. What, what is the actual report number? Uh, Yeah, I can give it to you. I mean, the report looks good. It's just, I don't understand why evidence Yo, is Jack. It's four, Okay, four, I got five, it, I got seven. it. Yes, unfortunately. Okay. Okay, uh, I will have a chat I mean, we can do him. We can do it now if you want, because their attorney ain't even here yet, so. Yeah, yeah, if we could, I want you there, because like, you're involved, and then... It looks better if it's two corporals. Oh, All right, right. yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, you know me. I'm kind of a dickhead, so. No, so am I. Me. Everyone hates me, too. It's fine. Uh, you know what? I'm starting to like you, though. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I'm starting I'm starting to like you. You're starting to grow on me. You're like a tumor. A malignant a tumor. tumor. Oh, I'm a tumor. Oh, yeah. okay. All right. You're like a I... tumor growing in my brain. Okay. Well, thank you, Pred, I guess. Hey. You're All welcome. Right. You're uh, welcome, Riley. All right, uh, come bring him up to floor two. You want me to bring him up? Yeah, if you'll buy him. Yeah, yeah, okay. Bring him up to uh, floor two. Perfect. Hey, we got to go to the second floor there, Boston. What's up? Oh, Riley wants to talk to you. Gotcha. That's right, come on, keep up. I walk fast. Yeah, I walk slow. You are slow. <laughs> I'm not really slow, though. 
Hey, if I would have gotten any indication that there was a fucking giant bullet hole in someone's head, I would have done more work. I know, but that's like looking for nothing. you first. Good to see you again. We never talk details like that, especially. Uh, hmm? You never talk details yes. like anything about any case, especially when there's a murder in a public setting, like, you know, stairwells and stuff. Oh, wrong floor, because I got distracted. Before. Oh, there's Riley. I'll be in there in a second. I gotta call Lula real fast. Yes, Fred. Yeah, he was ba uh, Listen, this Boston guy's pissing me off. I don't. Uh, this guy, this guy is. What's going on? This guy can barely. F I'm surprised this guy can tie his own fucking shoes. All right, listen. So here's basically what you're gonna do. This isn't. So there's different levels of like interrogations, right? We're not trying to really ask her many questions. What we want to get her to do is to go into as much detail about everything that she can on recording. All right. Now here's what you want to do. You're going to Mirandize her on recording. You're going to make yes. her state her name. You're going to make the lawyer yes. state his Fred. name. All right. I'm just Fred, making sure. I'm just helping you out. All right. I'm just helping Fred, you out. I, That's all. I have done investigations. Yes. <laughs> okay. All right. But I'm just, listen, yeah, I'm yeah. trying to help you. All right, then I'll be down soon. Uh, did, oh, okay. Hey, what's up? Hey, right, so, John. Yeah. This situation uh. does not look good. Yeah, you really fucked up. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, I have a question. Did you ask for 77s? No, I did not. We didn't have any units available. We had a massive shooting down at the uh, forum, and they were all busy. Uh, but did you ask? And I, I did not, know. I okay. didn't want to break from the radio traffic. Okay, well, okay. So... Poor guy. It's good that you went with him to the hospital, but why like did you leave him? He seems like such a nice guy, too. Uh, like I stated before, he was uh, totally unresponsive. I didn't get any... any uh, didn't see any information that he was uh, shot or not breathing, even though I checked his breathing. That's when you talk to the doctors and you ask... Can't talk right now. What's going on? All right. Uh, you don't just leave someone at the hospital and respond to them and go back on patrol. And then also, why didn't you get evidence? Because uh, I didn't have time to get evidence. I had to drive him to the hospital. Okay, I but it, after that, EMS. it says you, in your statement, you say that you took him to the hospital and then left the hospital and went back on patrol. So why didn't you return and get evidence? Uh, because he was totally unresponsive. Um, like, totally unresponsive. Okay. So. I mean... I'm reading your statement. You said you picked up a 311 where someone says there's so much blood. Oh my God, so much blood. Mm -hmm. And then you find someone incapacitated on scene and you don't think, mm -hmm. hey, let me get my flashlight out. Listen, I'm going to be honest. You should be a fucking cadet. <laughs> you you should be a fucking cadet. Uh, this, this, is, this is a travesty. This is, this is something else. Yeah, this is not a good, this is not good at all, John. Like, this is... You said you didn't go back because he was unresponsive. He was fucking dead, John. What do you think he did? Walked out of the yellow jack and had a fucking heart attack? I don't know what happened to him. Well, that's why I, you uh, investigate, dipshit. I had no, uh, I, I had no feedback on uh, anything. That's I why did you investigate. What do you mean you had no feedback? You had a call of phone three one one saying John. there's so much he blood. Oh my god, so much blood. Yeah, I hear you. Okay. Um. 
Okay. I mean, that's I don't all think you I realize needed. How bad this is? Yeah, this is this is pretty bad, John. Like this as is... as bad as it could be. Okay. This you might I'm as well take full responsibility for my actions. I'll be back in a second. <laughs> so what did you mean by you didn't want them to be on video? <laughs> I uh, I told uh, the detectives told me that I should tell them that. We're bringing them here to get them on video. If they don't, uh, that's just good. No, you never do that. So what you do is... That, that's what they told me. Yeah, I, yeah, but I mean... I just you don't, did what they told They're me. telling you that. Yeah, but that's like... that's like. They said tell them. That's like... Okay. <laughs> yeah, but you don't. I mean, they're listen, they're new too, right? So, I mean, you know, me, I got... I don't think you know how much experience I got, John. I got a lot. A lot of experience. That's good. Yeah. If the guy gets away with it, it's because of you. Yep. I take full responsibility. My fuck up. Yeah, this case is a hundred times harder now. I get that. Had I gotten feedback on anything I did with him when I checked the breathing and I'm um, going to be honest, if I was in charge, I'd fire you. <laughs> I understand that. I don't think you're a bad guy. I actually think you're a nice guy. All right. I um, just think you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> Why are the chairs like this? This is. I don't know. It's kind of really awkward, but I do hey, want to Sergeant, run you want to Sergeant see... Paxton through this situation no, yeah, in yeah, Boston. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay, go ahead. Wait. You want to start at the beginning? What happened? <laughs> sure. Sure. Uh. Um, I answered a 311 call today. Um, panicked woman screaming, there's so much that. blood, there's so <laughs> much blood. Yeah. Uh, didn't want to answer any questions. Finally, <laughs> get it out of her that it's at the Yellow Jack. And then she just hangs up. So I drive to the Yellow Jack, uh, yeah, find a for the year. Uh, incapacitated individual in the Ubar, parking lot in front the of the Yellow Jack. Uh, yeah. I walk up to him, um, check for breathing, don't get any response, check for uh, injuries, don't get any response, call for EMS, uh, don't get any response. Um, so I brought him into my vehicle. Uh, drove him to uh, Sandy Shores Medical. Uh, still no response on anything. Your weekend uh, at Bernie's, a, dumb, John. Got a, um, <laughs> a doctor to tend to him. Yeah. Um, the no, wait, did you take him to Sandy or Mount Zona? Uh, Sandy. Closest was hospital. The, okay, did an actual doctor come up yes. to Sandy? Okay. Yes. The actual doctor was at Sandy. <clears throat> okay. Um... Get the camera after i dropped him off there um uh the doctor wasn't able to get any information uh from the situation either so uh so i left uh drove down to the city because i i didn't think that was i thought that was going to be the end of it right it was for him. Um, what? <laughs> it was. Okay, wait, hold on. So you couldn't get any information out of a dead body, so you just called it a beat, is it? Mm -hmm. That's what I did. Yeah. <laughs> Drove down what? to uh, Sandy. Uh, was approached by uh, Moxie Maddox down by the uh, DMV. Um, recorded her statement. Um, oh. Contacted the doctor again, who said the uh, the victim was dead on arrival. Uh, that's when I immediately drove to Mount Zona. <laughs> Can I ask yeah. what you were doing at Mount Zona? Like, what were you actually doing there? Uh, I made sure that uh, the deceased uh, uh, inventory was documented. Uh, I tried <laughs> to uh, contact... Uh, CID on the radio several times. Uh, finally got through to them on the phone. Ooh, CID, that's and, a good uh, name. Wanted that name for a while. Because I had a, another issue with this entire thing. 
I responded to a 311 after a doctor had already attempted to contact you on 311 that they needed a deputy to come and do sample collecting of the dead body. Oh, I didn't see that 311. I'm sorry, okay. but I have some things I got to handle. Is that is it, a, okay. is it okay if uh no, you you're and the fine, sergeant Kyle. take over? I got it. I got to I got to salvage this investigation cuz the McCoys are pretty new, so someone's got to, you know, help them out. Seems like such a nice guy. He just needs he needs he needs time to cook. He either needs to be busted down to cadet, because it's new, or he needs to be fired and then make a new character and be a cadet. I think he needs to be fired, make a new character, and be a cadet. because we have no evidence. Uh, Man, this whole thing is fucked up. To the back of the head. Yeah. No. It was straight to the back of the head, so I'm assuming executions now. Hey, okay. Greco, how are you doing? Hey, how you doing? Not so bad. Oh, a casing Do nearby? A... Do we see a casing? There's no, no evidence. There's nothing. Is... nothing at the LJ. That's the issue that we have. Yeah, the early. guy, uh, he picked up the body that was unresponsive and then drove it to the hospital and then documented its belongings and then went back out on patrol. Who's the guy? Uh, John Boston, and I really think he should be fired. It's getting it's getting handled. Okay, no, I just I, I just don't, didn't I don't know the name, so I just wanted to know. By the uh, time I had gotten the call, the body was already in the morgue, being autopsied. Yeah. It's just strange so, for the guy not to. Uh, they didn't take his cash out. They didn't take anything off it. him. <laughs> I think John Boston did it. <laughs> okay, Brett. I just, I just wonder, you know, they he had valuable shit on him, so either he went willingly and then was shot. What was his possession? He has rifle on him, still yeah, cash in his wallet. Looking, yeah. yeah, weapons license. Yeah, and they had a bunch of valuable stuff. That, bucks. Yeah, I mean, it, it, you know, not robbing him, no, no resistance. Shot up close. He was on. Um, yeah, they right, knew his. They knew his ass. Yeah. Can I tell you? They, he definitely was friends with the shooters. It's definitely. Oh yeah, a hundred percent. There's yeah, no yeah, doubt yeah. about it. Okay. Okay. Um, and it kind of gives uh, some solidity to what you said, Greco, about uh, that Bruce guy. Yeah, the, for the, sure. The president. Bruce Tyler. Right. Yeah. So. Um, and Bruce likes that, Moxie. Yeah, that that's motive right there. Yeah. Um, do we so, get um a, a report, the new report up, the investigative report? Yes, it is. Okay. Is, okay, so is Mc the McCoy? You said you got to you got to buff out your PC statement just a little bit. I would okay. uh, summarize the, what's in the evidence and say you know. On such and such a date, Moxie Maddox was contacted, uh, you know, uh, talking about uh, what appeared to be, you know, a contract or agreement of some kind to do something. Payment was agreed upon. And then, you know, it would be at the Yellow Jack, whatever, whatever your evidence is indicating this. Really just summarize the totality of what you believe your evidence indicates and then uh, use that as the basis of your PC. You can still be short, uh, but don't just uh, relate to the evidence because a judge doesn't want to have to infer yeah. what that means. If they're smart, they're using a, a burner phone or a pay phone. I don't think you can send text off a pay phone, so I assume they have uh, a burner phone. Or not, and it'll just come back to Bruce, which would honestly rate. I've talked to the guy a few times. He, you know, what brain cells he do he does have a, a fighting for survival inside his own head, so. I made sure we got everyone brought down here to get them and, you know, to get their statement on fucking recording. Yeah. Got it. Um, all right. I think the strategy in this is obviously follow the the subpoenas on the phones, right? Like try to get that. Greco, you already have some stuff that might provide motive, right? I'm um, also background on the organization and and you know loose intel that's been gathered as I reviewed it. Uh, unfortunately, I couldn't get no traction to uh, explore further into the subpoena, but uh, now I maybe take the lawyer's phone. You need to take the lawyer's phone. I'm gonna go take the lawyer's phone. Is that I think that guy that guy also said that someone was ready for questioning. She? 
Whoever it is. Yeah, I need to take this lawyer's phone. Yeah. Hey, sorry if I come in. Uh, Dutch, I need to yeah. grab the attorney's yeah. phones as well. You want our phones? Yeah, it's procedure when you're in this. When you're. In this. I need to grab your phones. All right. Dutch, if you could face away from me so I could pat you down. Not looking for anything else. I don't give a shit. All right. You don't got a phone. You do got a phone. Grab a... All right, if I reach in your pocket, sir. Yeah, go for it. Got two phones on you, huh? Yeah, that's for my side piece. All right, all right. I'll make sure I got these organized for you. Thanks. All right, perfect. All right, have a good one. Are you guys ready? All right. Or you want to get this yeah. going? Yeah, yeah, we're ready. Yeah. All right, cool. We'll head in a second. They're ready. Okay. Yeah, you always want to make sure you're taking attorney's phones when you take them in interrogation rooms, especially when there's a large group involved. They could be for than anything. A gang, particularly. This guy's uh, an uh, FTO? Yep, Jesus. Uh, not. Yeah, that's a different discussion. Okay. Listen, that, uh, guy's, that guy's an idiot. Nah, it's my... I, we don't need to focus on that. It's all right. All right. I, uh, yeah. It's, uh, it it it's happened. Being handled it, by it, command. Yeah. Yeah. It's not for me to say. Sucks. Sucks for you guys. Yep. Makes you a job matter. All right, Walker. Whenever you're ready, we'll get in there. And then I'll I'll just back you guys up. You take a lead. This is your case. I'm not the detective, so. This is going on um, Walker's case files, so he's going to uh, be taking lead. I'm going to go primary. upstairs and I'm going to separate the uh, two guys that yep. we have in the SWAT rec room. Yeah, please and do. I'm going to take their phones. Hey, uh, oh shit. Hey, Greco, you need to get Moxie to some place where. You know, fucking predicament. Not the basement of a police station? We're gonna be bringing people down, down here eventually. Is she okay. out there? She's, yeah, she's out there. Okay. Hey! My noise gate. Hmm. I gotta fix that, huh? Yeah. Either Jeez, Jesus, huh? Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh. Negative two. I'm a fucking idiot. My bad. I'm trying to help them out, but I don't want to step on their toes because it's their RP that they're letting me be a part of, so. I'm not trying to be a dickhead. Fuck am I? Minus one. I hate this building. We're in the long way. <laughs> you know, I have the ability to take a back seat. Hey, what's up, guys? How much longer I'm falling asleep over here? I know, man. I know. It's a little. It's a difficult situation. You know what I mean. Your guy's friend was killed, so we're trying to make sure we do our due diligence. You know. Yeah, but uh, didn't we give our statement already? Yeah, but the thing is, though, this is a different type of thing. You always need to make sure. Here's the thing. Sometimes when you're writing stuff down, you miss it. Yeah. You're telling it to us, you know, to our face, it's a little different. So, I mean, I'm, right. just asking you, I'm just asking you to be a little patient. I know it's kind of a pain in the ass. All right. Yeah, all right, fellow. Yeah, I'm not... we're fully, we'll fully, you've got the whole club behind you. You know, we want to figure this out just as much as all you right. do. So Perfect. I, I just need to grab your guys' phones. 
Yes, sir. Gosh, and it's not for no. anything other than basically it comes down from the top. If you're not a cop, you're not allowed to have a phone in this building. I said it was fucking stupid, too, but, you know, huh. I would, that's what they want to do, so. Uh, I'm going to place sure. it on this uh, bulletin. No, I, I just got to pat you down. I'm not looking for anything else. I'll give a shit if you got anything else on you, all right? Okay. I don't give a shit. I'm just going to grab this. Okay. Oh. Face away from me. Seems like, get... Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah. It seems... Yeah, okay. All right. I'm going to grab this. All right, you able to... I need you to come with me. All right, sir, if you don't you mind need... waiting in here. Yeah, I need you to come with me. Uh, okay. Yeah, all right. Upstairs. I'm just gonna have you uh, wait in the lobby. Oh, okay, great. Yeah. They want to make a report reference to vehicle. Is the yeah, is waiting down here? The Pluto closing sure. door. Phone roulette. Yeah. Yeah, it will be. I don't remember whose phone is whose. I don't have a look pack. I have a toothpick in my mouth right now. Ideally, it'd probably be good to get LSSD as a unified one because gyms are only detectives want to be at the moment. And yeah, I got. I got um, uh, I, this hello. And, it did. Uh, we went in it. But uh, I, the results I, I, of this, I'm just trying to put it in your investigator report. You need yeah, to yeah. look at it right hey, now. You, you guys, you guys want to go talk? Yeah, do to your thing. Now. Do your thing. Yeah, yeah, we're going right now. I'll back you up. This is your guys' shit. Oh, okay, so that's what you're doing. All right, All right you're taking lead, Walker. I told him basically. Okay. I'll be, I'll be in the other room. How's it going? Hey, how's it going? going? Uh, yes, it is indeed procedure. All right. Well, let me go over here and start the recording. Take hours? Um, if it does, it does. All right. Just get things squared away. I'm going to go ahead and read your rights again. Okay. Good RP. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say or do can and will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you can't afford one, one will be provided by the state if available. Do you understand these rights? Yes. All right. With those rights in mind, would you still it's like to speak? It's actually good that it's taking a while. The guys are sweating. Yes. And the yes. fact that I took their phones and separated right. them. Would you go ahead and state your name for the recording? Millie. Order. Thanks for the 17 months. All right. Millie Duberger is joined by one officer, Walker McCoy, and officer Lula McCoy. Uh, if her in my two years like of watching, I have never well. heard Kyle like this. Like what? I take investigation RP pretty serious because I want to make sure investigation RP is good on on Onyx. All right. It is well, if investigation RP rolling. is good. Um, Which it what will was be. your uh, relation? It will be a driving with the, uh, factor with for Zona. Late game. I believe is how you say his name. Zoran? Um, yeah, he was a member of our MC um, that I'm newly a part of. I didn't uh, meet or I didn't know Zoran very well. Uh, was he just a member or was, did he uh, hold any rank within your uh, your MC at all? He was vice president. Or Rad, thanks for the Oh, he was vice months. president, okay. Um, and you, you said you didn't know him very well? They don't want to be asking questions. They oh, just I mean, wanted... do you have any reason to believe that there would be anyone that would want to do this to him? Phone's mine. Um, no. I don't have any reason to believe anybody would want to hurt him. <laughs> um, has Zoran in the past had any uh, altercations with anyone that you know of? 
with the limited time I've been around him, no. I I, I do not recall any. There hasn't been any uh, beef within the uh, the group itself or anything like that? Any disagreements that you can remember? Um, no. None that I can remember. None. Alright. Uh, when was the last time you saw Zoran? He's German. They're not into democracy. He's, you know... Um... More of a authority weekend? guy. Last weekend? Yeah. Okay. Um, as vice president, what, uh, what did Zoran usually handle within the, uh, the group? I was told that, uh, he would talk to any, uh, potential new recruits, um, and but that was about it. Like, I, um... Will! Thanks for the I four months. much of what he did. I, again, never spent a whole lot of time with mm. him. Um, as today, um, can you talk about your whereabouts and where you were? Yeah. As, as of today, I, uh, woke up at the Cocoa Bell, um, got myself some food, um, got a call from Axel. He asked me, hey, um, do you want to go hunting up by the dam? We're going to try to find a new spot up there. And I said, sure. Um, and they asked me to grab some more food. So I did. Um, because we were joined by my brother Clyde and Otis, um, as well as Bruce, um, and Axel. Um, so I got the food. Axel came to pick me up. And, uh, then we went over to the dam waited on the guys to meet up with us and uh <laughs> so then we ended up going swimming Bruce hit his head uh. um and he had to be taken to the hospital <laughs> and that was it and then after that we There we go. Um, hey, Ron, do you have a minute? Oh, yeah. Good luck. Thank you can let Metzger. Hey, Metzger, no you want to take care of this? You want to finish our conversation? It's just yeah, their case. I was just kind of helping them salvage Yeah, are they in there right mean? now talking to them? Yeah, they are. I just want to see some real quick. Um, give me one second. Guy looks like Weems. We can let that off. That hey guy's a dead shit. So he looks like he's about to go golfing. All right, let's go talk. You can talk back here if you want. It's easy. If you want to stay yeah, involved yeah. in this thing. Oh, uh, no, it's all right. It's just, um, you know, I'm just trying to... I'm trying to see where they're at and like kind of help them out with stuff. You know no, what I good. mean? Everybody's kind of feeling things out. Yeah. You know, they were taking statements. I was like, this is the type of shit you want to get on recording, especially when yeah. you don't have a murder weapon or a bullet case. And the only thing you're going to do is. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I tried giving them interrogation tactics and stuff like that, too. We're, we're about to go down. They have to go down the paper trail because it's the phones are the only thing they really got on this. And Greco's got some backstory he thinks is uh, relevant to uh, build That's it out. Perfect. So. It's yeah, really the uh, phone records that they have to go after because I guess they, they already had a subpoena on like their group chat and they talk about where they hide guns and shit, so. Well, that's know. good. Oh, Lulu's yeah, over here. Yeah, what's up, uh, female McCoy? No, there you go. Lula! Call me that. Just call me Lula. Lula, Lula, Lula. Real McCoy. Da, 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 da. Okay. Oh, all right, what did you... I didn't need anything. No, 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 Walker. She's pretty much just doing the same thing she did oh. at Zona. Just kind of... Perfect. You want her bullshit. to talk as much as possible. Yeah. You guys got the recording device yeah. in there? And the videotape? Yep. Okay, yep. perfect. Just yeah, make you... sure, just legal rights-wise, if they're with the attorney, make sure we 
turn them off when they. Yeah, it's paused. It's paused right now. Yep. Yeah, you want right, her to um, talk as much as possible. You want her to talk her a little, talk your fucking ear sing. off. That's uh, who's in there? Which one is that? Is that Millie? Millie, Millie? Duberger. Oh, Millie. Yeah, Millie. That's Duberger. not the Moxie one, right? So Moxie is. No. We have to talk to Moxie, right? Yeah. At some so point. After... That's the fake. That's the lost, but says she's not lost person. Yep. Okay. I don't know how that works, but okay. Right. I'm. I just work here, so. All right. We'll fi we'll figure it out. I'm just trying to talk to Pred. You know, one on one. No offense. I'm not trying to kick you guys oh, out. Oh yeah. Do you guys yeah, no need, That's why yeah, I said yeah, you guys. You guys this is your guys' case. Yeah, I'm not trying to step on their toes. You know, I no, mean, they were good. kind of. No. I just wanted to help them salvage and kind of see, you know, but sometimes a lot of people don't know what's the best to do in certain situations. Nah, you know what I mean? Some people have different, uh, come from different departments where they may or may not have different, you know, standards of what they can and can't do. Yeah. Or what they should do. So it's kind of like a feeling out process right now. So uh, I'll preface this conversation with I had a conversation with uh, Wilcox last night. You know Wilcox? Sounds Travis familiar. Travis Wilcox. He's shipped yeah. to LSSD. That's my so, sheriff, uh, isn't it? That's isn't your that, sheriff? Isn't that the sheriff? No, that's Trevor no, Woods. Trevor Woods. I haven't seen him. Close. TW, TW. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, it's, you can see what happened there. Yeah, I got it. You know, name dyslexia. Um Okay, so he he's also uh, he 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 reached out to me. He got sent to me from uh, Caruso, and he's interested in in some stuff too. Um, and he's been doing stuff up in the county. So the conversation him and I had is he's not particularly interested in transferring, but he he is trying to get his feet underneath him so in the future he can assist with the, the sheriff's department getting something similar going. So with that in mind, joint operation uh, kind of thing. Uh, Look, uh, like. That's yeah, like they have their own. Um, so this is the kind of I was just talking to Ron out there about. Uh, you know, we're gonna help the sheriff's department with anybody they have that wants to eventually uh, create a mirror type, uh, you know, unit within the sheriff's department. But I think the idea is everything's gonna be unified in how we operate. Just the culture is probably gonna be a little different between the sheriff's department, the priorities. You know. Yeah, what's gonna happen is if you do that. They're going to, regardless, what they're going to do is they're going to get cases. They're not going to share them with the LSPD. They're going to be like, we have our own, yeah. you know, investigation team doing this shit. So it's better kind of just let them do their own thing and you guys do your own thing and then like share information. Because at the end yeah. of the day, the results are going to be the same. They're going to fucking keep their shit to themselves. Yeah, LSPD so, one will keep the shit to themselves. You know, that's just how that shit goes. Yeah, we, we got a case board that we're basically going to try to unify between the two. Uh, and, that, and just basically, you know, we were just talking about it out there. Like, we've got a serial killer potentially right now. His first body was down here in the city, but his second one was up in the county. We're obviously going to keep investigating it because yeah. it started down here. So, uh, and vice versa. But right now, the name of the game is just trying to, you know, uh, get people's feet underneath them and get some standards. Um, you know, like I was telling people last night when I was pulling them in, uh, things are pretty far on the like left and the right limit, you know? Um, and there's no need for red tape really anywhere, yeah. right? Like, uh, I was telling them, find your cases, make your cases, win your cases. Like, I'm not, you know, the, the only thing that I'm trying to do is uh, be top cover, be a liaison between uh, the higher powers that be, which is, like, now the mayor and the judiciary, like Greco and the DA, Bob, yeah. and then also provide priorities. Like for right now, our priorities are we got a couple bodies that we need to kind of crack down on if we can, as long as uh you know we have leads, uh, the bomb investigation which we're about to make arrests on, and then uh, gang intelligence which we're kind of falling into right now with this murder a little bit. So um, we got some priorities because then we can spin off those it. priorities. I mean, they obviously did it. You know, I mean, it's just, it sucks. Yeah, that we I think don't the president have... did it. Yeah, that's what it's looking like. I mean, VPs don't just get you know just drop dead. Merked. Uh, I got yeah. it. So here's uh, here's what I'm thinking. All right. Yeah, I'm. I'm I like you, Metzger. All right. I like you. There's. I'm just gonna tell you basically, if you can do this for me, all right, I'm all in. Okay. All right. Uh, I can't buy you a fancy car like the governor. So. I don't know. I don't need anything like that. 
Oh, yeah, I'm, listen, I'm just, uh, I'm just a simple detective. Okay. I think uh, you got a lot of good people. I love the McCoys, all right? They're good. I like them. I'm curious who else you guys got, but if you got the McCoys, I like working with them. All right, they're good people. Okay, so I already like the people that you're like, you know, you're inclined to, you know, get to work for you. Me, what I feel like, though, is you need is you need someone that's got experience and knows not to really step on people's toes, but knows when he mm -hmm. has to step in. Okay, all I want is I just want a cushy little senior officer position, maybe, maybe hopeful to sergeant. Who knows? Okay, and I just want to be a detective supervisor. Okay. That's what I want to do. I want to, I want to solve cases, but I also want to be able to oversee other people so I can help them out. Because no, I, 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 I think I got the experience to, to help them get better and also help mold the shit into what you want it to be. Yeah, so uh, here's my question. What, what would you say... Uh, uh, so this is what I... I think I talked to you about this already, but uh, and I was telling people last night, you know, some people have a preference for what they investigate, right? You know this. Uh, I like people, it all. You like it all, but I mean, yeah, so like same people like Burton, right? Jack Burton, who's a shift three guy, really big into violent crimes and murders. But like I told he him, he's a serial killer. Know, <laughs> no, he's not a serial killer. Um, but what I told him, and it's the same thing that I would tell somebody who's on the opposite end of this, where they really like you know gangs, narcotics, vice stuff like that. I like that it all. At, at some point, you got to cross the line and do the other stuff too, because you know it's just the nature of the business, right? Yep. So. uh Right now, what we're really struggling with is kind of gang intelligence. I can uh, help with that. And narcotics. They're kind of hand in hand. And, um, well, prostitution is legal, so we don't really have a problem with that. But I think the, the DA and the AG, particularly Greco, is a little up in arms probably about some of the, the white collar gambling <laughs> money. Me. So um, that's kind of in like a gray area for classification. But hey, what's up, Dandy? You know, you're, you're primarily shift one into shift two, right? Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah, I'm primarily okay. shift one into shift two, but uh, I could make appearances here or there. You know what okay. I mean? So uh, right now we got, um, you know the McCoys. They're primarily shift three. Yeah, well, they're great. Lula is primarily shift three. Uh, Waka said he can pretty much be anywhere. So I'm probably trying to put him. I mean, they're around right now in your shift, but they're they're doing crazy. Walker's hours right good, now. and he's got a willingness to learn. You know what yep, I mean? And I kind of told him I want him in shift one. Because that's where the gap is. And if he's in shift one and you're in shift one together, that's perfect. I can mold him into what you want him to uh -huh. be. And and Lula kind of bounces into the shift two, it looks like. And she said she might be moving as well. Or floating uh, between three to one. Lula's great. I love Lula. We got Burton in three. Late shift two and three. Burton and seems right like he's now, a good guy. He is. And then uh, Pond's involved right now for shift two. I like Late Pond. shift two. And uh, the Wilcox guy, you don't really know him, but he's a shift two. That's kind of the team I'm looking at. All right. Uh, Wilcox is probably going to stay as a deputy so he can kind of take the reins in the county a little bit. Um, but what I can tell you is if you do want to come over, you, you'll lateral straight over. And uh, you give me a week or two of good work and we'll bump you up to detective supervisor. All right, I can do right that. Now, it's right now it will be you and Pond working as the supervisors. She oh, kind of by merit of being a sergeant already kind of kind of stepped into that role naturally for the later times and then uh i definitely am uh, on board with uh you give me like a week or two of good work how about and, this uh, for the time being then all right instead of detective supervisor how about senior detective so that way i can okay, still kind of senior detective perfect perfect and on top of that uh so right now just so you know waka is uh i told waka this last night i told him i was gonna give i told him to give me a week or two of good work and he'll get brought on all the way so he's kind of in like a trial period all right perfect so it's even better for you to mold them that way yeah i like What's the up? people you're picking i just hope that you guys keep it to you know keep the group us uh, on the yeah, smallish end like side yeah that's that's what this i like pretty to much see. it what's going What's on up, there perfect? uh ag um, I just wanted to chat uh, with Mets about some of uh, this to who I, who's on your team, who I can look out for, you know, who, yeah. you know, that kind of stuff. Absolutely. Senior detective can I, like, Kyle up, Pred. Can I finish up with Pred here? And then, of uh, course. Are you gonna yeah, I didn't mean to interrupt. I just thought you guys were chilling. No, no, we're, we're talking uh, shop real quick. And then, uh, are you going to be down here? 
Yeah, yeah, I'm waiting yeah, for I'll, I'll, I'll be out. I'll be over in the hallway there. All right. All right. What uh what questions do you got? Look, I mean, uh I like listen, I'm a city cop. I like the okay. county a lot, but uh yeah, at, at the end of the day I'm a detective. Right? I'm mm -hmm. not I'm not really getting anything up in, you know, Sonora Desert. You know, I kind of they don't really they don't really value me as much as they should. Okay. Tell me what I'm looking to do is you know, I'm not I'm not asking. Listen, I know I got to prove myself, right? I understand that, especially with something new. I'm not asking you to hand me anything. Except senior officer and senior detective. Okay, that's done. All right, perfect. And then so, uh how is the pay increase his, looking like? <laughs> uh, I don't know because the budget's not set yet. So uh, that's going to be, uh, I think you're probably well aware and everybody's well aware that, you yeah, know, it's true. based on your rank, right? So uh, it's going to be, you'll probably get paid more than an officer, hopefully. And then, uh, hopefully. But I, can I, and I need you to reserve a spot on the team, though, for me, just in case. What team? Well, for Connie, I need you to reserve a spot on the, the detective team over here. For okay, Connie for yeah, me, if, just Connie, in case. if Connie wants to get involved, uh, and maybe she's the right person for the sheriff's department side of this, you know what I mean? I'm just saying, um, I might, Connie might want to come over here to LSP. Okay, yeah, I'll talk to Connie when Connie's back. I know Connie's on uh, LOA for a little bit, so I'm uh, not adverse to it, right? So, All right. Um, Change so, my uniform. You can, yeah. Hold on a second. What? What? Uh, your shift on. Let me get your call sign and stuff. The attorneys would like their phones returned, and we're going to cut Millie loose at this time and bring down the next one. Nice. The other guy. Who has the? Who has There's the phones? a guy in the lobby. I have all their phones. I have like ten of them on me right now. I'm a fucking phone guy right now. Yeah. Uh, if you want to give them to Lula, and then. Uh, uh, um, or do you need to just go do it? And I'll, I'll be right here. Just go I'll be right back. Then... I didn't want to tell him that I don't remember whose is whose. Oh my god, Fred. Hey, what's up? Hey. Hey. Gotcha. Um, so let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, I was hoping I you believe... might slip my, your hands back into my pockets. Perfect. Oh. Uh, all right. Okay, I gotcha. Uh, this is a little. Uh... Okay, uh, so this phone is yours. Uh, this phone is yours. Now, just double check both those phones for me Thank and make you. sure they're yours. Did you double check them? Yeah, we're all good. All good? All right. Appreciate you. All right. Um, um, uh, mm, I don't think this is his phone, judging by the. Uh, let's see. Okay. What's your uh, wallpaper? <laughs> uh, it's like black with a red stripe. Black with a red stripe. Okay. How many phones do you have? You have a pin? <laughs> oh, black with a yes. red. Is it white with red letters? <laughs> yeah. Is that it? What's Wait. it say? What's it say? Is there a stri it's a stringer. Okay. That's, hey. Good job. I found it. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Hey, there you go. To go ahead and make sure that's yours. <laughs> oh, I'm getting a call. Look at that. All right, ma'am. Uh, <clears throat> what's your wallpaper? Um, the standard one, but I do have a pen on it. Okay. All right. You got a pen on it. Uh -huh. Um, may I just ask? Uh, okay. Um, hold on. So it's not this one with the I smoke, like and it's house. not this one. Okay. So I'm pretty sure. Here you go, ma'am. Now double so check. Make phones. sure that's your phone. Yep, that's it. You got it. All right. Hey, and you got a great time here. Huh? All right. Um, okay. Yeah. Thanks. All right. All right. Perfect. Everyone got their things? Oh, yeah. yeah we're ready. Yeah. So ready. Hi, Mrs. Newberger. We're probably going to have. Hey, oh, I know I what we need to uh... get sticky notes that we can put on phones so we don't forget whose they are. That would be. Can you not use the evidence label? I think you could, actually. Uh, I think you can because uh, we were talking about how we gave stuff to the bounty hunters and they labeled it with this, the evidence marker so we uh, knew who it came from, like which uh, officer bought it for them. Like they like wrote the serial number on it, you know? Yeah, yeah. I think that's uh, I think that's a good thing to do. 
Um, I forgot. Oh, uh, McNamara as well is involved in late shift two, shift two, but it's only until uh, she's primarily been doing the. You know how Bob got kidnapped and attacked. Yeah, I had a. I tried telling. So Bob doesn't like me that much, and I tried telling him, "Hey, yeah. I'd like to help with that case because the people aren't making any headway on it." And There's, they're about to make. We're about to make two arrests. So, only took a month and a half. I don't disagree, but uh, she's also gone for a week, so I don't blame her for that. But uh, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, that that was a lot of subpoenas for phone records. That kind of like, she's got a lot of information out of that actually. Possible drug lead as well from the somebody that I think works at the DMV or someone connected to the DMV. But um, anyways, yeah. So she's she's been involved, but uh, she's eventually going to go to K nine. So she's kind of like on borrowed time with us, but she's been doing good work. She does good work. Yeah, she, she wants knows to be her a stuff. patrol K nine cop. She's probably going to lead the LSPD unit. Oh, okay. I mean, that's what she's, she wants uh, to do. No, she's she's good. It's just uh, she's good at this stuff too, uh, and and following paper trails. So. You know, uh, we're going to borrow her services for the time being until uh, that go that happens. But uh, so we we don't have a uh, government uh, offsite right now. Uh, I talked to Bob about this last night. So I'll get McNamara to add you to the email chain. Uh, um, I'll just. Uh, I'm probably already a part of every email chain. Every email chain. Yeah. Well, all I need is I need to get you the case board and, Perfect. Uh, you know. <laughs> that's this uh sheet there's two tabs to it one's for homicides and violent crimes and one's for gang uh gang and narcotics uh so that's Perfect. going on i'll get your name added to the drop down uh, so i take it you're gonna be like uh over so metzger you're gonna be like uh overseeing everything and like uh, yeah i'm the top cover for everybody giving us the uh giving us the priority case priority stuff you yeah want us to work. so yeah like i told you pretty much the the murders already have people assigned to them right so the priority is, and I'll tell you this, uh, and I told uh, Walk and McCoy this, is gang intelligence. So I really need you to dig your heels in, if you can, on uh, on getting that going. I think we already have like a left. dossier, you know, put together. Yeah, here, let me um, let me pull you up in the MDW real quick. So we have a separate section of the MDW that we're gonna start utilizing. We need to get a, a gang dossier put together. Ah, uh, yes, we can. Can you refresh your MBW real quick? Uh, I have my MBW. Uh, sure. Like your eyes. And then you should see when you click the drop down menu now a new investigative report. There should also be like it should have like a little like detective guy icon. I see. I don't see new investigative will, report. You might have to uh wipe your eyes real quick and then try it again. All right, let me restart this tablet. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Uh, it's I uh, hate how we have to do it with when we add you know people's roles in here. But yes, the, long story short, gotcha, the McCoys had a uh, so there's that and that's the section. Only detectives and state attorneys can see it. So, so, where, so it had, just says new investigative report. How do you see other investigative reports? Is that just just the way you'd see other reports in general? So it's just uh, okay. So you go over here and then oh, so, see it. Okay, good. All right. Whoa, yeah, so, there's a lot. Did they add a bunch of? When did this get here? What are you looking at? That there's like three buttons with bars through it. It's always been there. No way. Get that's, out of town. Did you just? Did you just give me that? No, that's always been there, Fred. Did you just give me that? No, I think you just don't know what you're doing with the MDW, maybe. No, no, I know. Look, man, I, I know what I'm doing with the MDW. These bars. Right. I was just so testing. The McCoys, of course I've had those. <laughs> the McCoys uh, had a gang intelligence uh, document up. However, they got caught up in murders. So what I gave them for direction was to um, take that and migrate it into separate investigative reports for each gang. And then we're going to start building that out. All right. I don't know if you know they got the around to putting it in there. Easiest way to build yet. a dossier is what? Easiest way to build a dossier is to just make people aware at meetings to kind of uh, gang tag people. Do we have do we have the gang yes. tags? Yes. So if you, I just did a massive revamp yesterday on all the tags. 
Oh, okay. So all right. they're all the same. Like basically, I unified the tags to be similar colors based on you know what they're related to and similar icons. So the all the gangs are currently the same color. Like we didn't do it by the gang colors. I just did it. This is a gang tag. You can see it on the report. It's always the same color. So this is um. So okay. So DNG gang. That's the tag, yeah. right? Yeah, so it will say gang in parentheses just so people don't confuse. And then we can kind of flush that out more to make yep. it okay, perfect. So I told all the other guys and girls I'm going to go through and uh, update. Like, So the case board has a bunch of statuses for cases like open, cleared, suspended, or like what's the status, like all the different statuses. I'm going to make some CID tags. And uh, basically, I'm going to put out a uh, department wide announcement about, hey, like, how to forward a case, all that stuff. So people stop fucking shit up like they did today with this this thing, where they didn't contact. That a was a huge detective. fuck up. This one was. That's a... a different kind of fuck up where there was detectives on duty. He just didn't call them. Um, granted, he might not know, but um, yeah. So there's gonna be a bunch of tags, and I think the way we we talked about instead of having different forms and all this stupid shit to forward a case, we're just gonna have a CID forward tag. And when somebody catches something and there's no detective around, they can just tag it that. And then when you get on duty, you know those little search features you just discovered? You can type the tag in and search for any reports that have that tag on it. And we can pull them into the case board. That's kind of how we're going to go with it. That way there's okay, no I like that craziness. System. All right, I like that system. And, I, and, then and one thing that I'm going to take... So we would yeah. take seriously when you suspend cases as well. Like if you're suspending a case, I take it that there's always going to be a reason there. So Like it's cold yeah cold or there's like you know you know dead end well there might be other uh, reasons why you would suspend a case to like maybe yeah. uh yeah I, I i get you no i think that's a good system yeah so like i'll, I'll get you the i mean sops are light reading like they got slimmed down to like 12 pages it's not bad and most of it's gonna go to uh patrol anyway because it's like this is how to conduct a fucking investigation and not fuck it up slash how to forward the case to us um i really like uh, my big thing is i'm not trying to tell people how to do investigations like it's basic police work personally what i care about is the systems you know the top end stuff of Ooh, sometimes how the... you'd be surprised how easily people could miss some evidence uh, you know what i'm saying though like from my yeah. perspective i'm worried mm -hmm. about the system i'm not gonna tell you guys per se like i'll give advice to people like hey yeah. like you just did like fucking turn your recorder on when yeah you're, i'm not uh, in, i'm not interview. trying to step on their toes they asked me if i wanted yeah. to help them out so i'm just kind of giving yeah. them like general guidelines and you know but now i'm going to tell yeah. them what to do <laughs> <laughs> that's fair um, okay so um the big things that i've been telling people okay so left and right limits are pretty fucking wide right now uh common sense applies to everything You'd be surprised so, how many people are lacking that that guy pulled up on a dead body and then thought what am i supposed to do here I've done all I can do. And then he fucking weekend at Bernie's the dead body down to the hospital. Yeah, I know. So the big thing is, uh, it's not really big things. I'm, I'm just going to, I'm just going to like scroll through this real quick and just hit the high notes and you can, you know, go back and read it, whatever. So, all right. All right so basically uh, in terms of uniforms and stuff like that, yep. You're clear to wear, you know, business casual, uh, whatever you need to wear to conduct your job. Right. So, you know, like, if I'm going to walk around here and conduct business at the fucking courthouse, I'll be, you know, like this. But if I'm going to go down, I don't know, do some plain clothes thing, I'll probably put on, you know, whatever, flannel and someone else, whatever the environment requires, right? Common sense for this. Um, the only thing we ask or are going to ask is that if you're going to do something unmarked or not really unmarked, but you see um, where you're going to be off your radio or something like that, um, like if you're going to meet with a CI, you're going to meet, you know, do something that requires a cover unit. You just talk to, you let it be known on dispatch or talk to a supervisor. My guy's supervisor, right eye is weird. So they know how to contact you, where you're at, what you're wearing, all that stuff. You know it's what I mean? Popping out. Kind of common sense stuff. Yeah. I mean, it's common um, sense. You can't just put yourself, I mean, even CIs sometimes are, you know, exactly. violent offenders. So, I mean, you got to protect yourself. Yeah. Yep. This offers or, basic or use another detective, safety. obviously. Yeah. Yeah, that's the only thing with that stuff. Uh, for calls for service, um, likewise, obviously, if you're uh, playing clothes, unless you're doing like something like a jump out boy stuff with like an unmarked, and you're you get a couple officers and you're you're you know jumping out on people, um, or basically don't no traffic stops unless it's like emergent you know emergent. Uh, 
shouldn't be responded to normal calls for service unless it's related to the type of investigation you're conducting. Like, you know, for instance, you're so doing you don't want us backing drugs. up. You don't want us backing up patrol units. If there's a 78 call, yes, absolutely. If All if right. you need if, in common sense, if it's urgent and you're right there on a 77, go for it. Well, me, I'll probably right. all I'm the type of guy that I always try to make sure people have backup. Yeah. There's not a lot of people get backup. So when I'm patrolling, yeah. I usually always try to attach. I, the, what I've been time. telling people is don't compromise your investigation. If it's going to compromise your investigation or your cover, don't do it. Right. Um, do unless it there's an officer it. out risk or a public safety concern. Yes. So it's up. It's common sense. Like yep. I don't want it to be a habit where people are like, "Oh, detectives are just doing whatever the fuck they want." Well, no, this guy needed backup. He called for backup. We're right there. We're gonna give him backup, right? But seventy-eight calls, unless it's gonna blow your cover, go to it yeah. and just if you're plain clothes, common sense, announce what you're wearing and that where you're coming from, and that you're gonna, you know. Do we have be a there. way to turn to mute, or we can mute our like uh, ten, thirteen signals yeah. and stuff like mute, that. Uh, it's dispatch. Um, dispatch mute. Yep, that's how you do it. On the MDW. Um, uh, yep. Okay. Okay, uh, for your equipment, uh, just tailor your equipment to what you're doing, right? Like, I don't carry a baton usually unless I'm going to do, you know, if I have my vest and shit like that, and it's in my vest. Um, I've been carrying the AMTB when I'm in plain clothes. That's like the little snub nose. The little stripper pistol. Like the little six-rounder. Uh, if you're going UC and you think having a police weapon on you is going to compromise you, obviously use a civilian firearm. Um, but, you know, no no restrictions on that. Just common sense, once again. If you're going to be UC and you think it's going to compromise you, carry a civilian firearm. Um, we're not changing our call signs yet. That'll come in the future. But we are using Channel 8. I think Channel 8 is labeled as CID. Yo, Honor B, thanks for the So four we can coordinate on there if we need to. And then... Common sense stuff, use for us. Just you know, we don't have uh, lanyards right now for badges and shit like that. So if you can, uh, if you can have a vest accessible to put on over your clothes, that's a good idea. But if you can't, just make sure you identify when you give commands, effect arrest, and then obviously before you use your weapon. And then same thing with offices. We have some idiots, um, as you know. I think I went to a, uh, I went to the Bahama Mama that fight night thing. You were there for that shit. Uh, we had a seventy eight call at the. We had a movie, we, well, that thing. But before, we had a 78s call when Bob and I rolled right up to the Bahama Mama. Wrangler got movie shot. Set. Yeah, and I responded. Going, yep. Hey, how you doing, pal? Good. Gotcha. What's your wallpaper? Is yours the... the smoke. What? Oh, what? The smoke. The smoke? Oh, okay, I got like yeah. the blue, bluish, like blue, blue, blue mm -hmm. kind of smoke. Hey, listen, I want you to know something. Mm-hmm. We're gonna get who got the who did this, right? I sure hope you guys do, and um, I think we're all you know fully gonna cooperate. With hey, whatever you guys need. Hey, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Yeah, well, thank you all. Yes. All right. There you go. Make sure that's your phone before you go. And then the last guy's just in the lobby hanging out. Yeah, that's it. Thank he? you, fellow. Uh, first floor lobby. Yeah, first floor lobby. He's been sitting there for all a right. while. All right, we'll grab them up. I like your bracelets. Yeah, thanks, fella. They're really bad. I'll be here, Walker. I'm just gonna. Okay. Tell it to my sister. She thinks they look stupid. Ah, no, those bracelets are badass. Yeah, thanks, okay. fella. I think you're pretty badass, too. Hey, thanks, man. I and this guy's that. sitting down. Thanks, brother. Sorry for your loss, man. Yeah, I appreciate it. Uh, but the, uh, yeah, I, uh, I went to this thing. Guy looks like, I was, uh, guy looks like fucking Captain Hook. <laughs> he does. Sounds, yeah. Yeah, fucking the, pirate. Uh... <laughs> I think his bracelets look like which, shit. Which version of Captain Hook? Oh, shit. I would say, uh, he looked like, you ever seen Hook, Robin Williams? Yeah, yes, that's the one I was yeah, You know, remember the part where he doesn't have his coat on and he walks out yes. there onto the deck, he has, like, this, like, the white shirt, you know, and he's just, like, way throwing his hook all around, being, being all, you know, Hook? Yes, that's he exactly what me. I imagined. That's what I pictured. But, yeah, the, uh, 
cops are stupid so just make sure they know where you're coming from what you're wearing because even after i announced myself on the radio i still had a cop say there's a guy in white pants and jacket running at us i'm like no shit i'm a cop i just told you that um so yeah the only other thing investigations are straightforward we're, like we're gonna work through shit. the case forwarding and all that tagging system and then we already kind of alluded to cis we have a master document in the uh what's it called the investigative section and it's called cid ci master list uh we're gonna flush out the format but basically we're just gonna ask that people main like put their statement in there and maintain their cis in there obviously people shouldn't abuse that you know, in terms of like, hey, I'm going to contact your CI or like, yeah, you never contact, so you never contact someone's CI because yeah, you, that's you, you going to discredit trust. Yeah, yeah, you got to go through the handler for that stuff. But um, like, you should only, you know, like if I have a CI, I, you, I'm not going to bring you around him unless I, you know, build that relationship first and I know you're not going to fuck with him. I've seen a lot of example. CIs die. Yep. So, but we're going to try to maintain it so at least detectives are aware uh generally and so like we can manage it because the big thing is going to be plea deals and uh, when we eventually have the ability to probably pay them uh for some things verified information so um we just we're trying to have a system in place for now um I, you know a trusted system and at least this one's out of the normal prying eyes of normal patrol officers so they uh they won't see it that's good that's um this is good stuff, man. I'm uh, I'm all on board. All right, I'll follow yeah. your lead. Whatever you need done, whatever you assign me, I'll hit it. You know. Yeah, I mean, but I, I will be oyster. supporting officers out in the field while I'm doing yeah. stuff. Because sometimes it's just sometimes you can't really hit a beat on a case. You know what I mean? No. Sometimes 100%. you can't. I told these guys if they want to throw their normal uniform on, go out and patrol, do stuff, or you know, go plank clothes for something, and then kind of back some officers up. You know, that way, like I don't have a problem. But with I do it. know just, how to uh, hit a beat. Yeah, I mean, we got plenty. The South Side is probably going to be popping off soon. We just had, oh my God, what are you doing? What are you doing? I was hitting a beat. Is that what the kids call it nowadays? Yeah, that's what they call I'm it. I'm a little out of touch. Bob's nah, got that little yeah. list of slay girl words or whatever. Yeah, yeah, them. I saw all that. That shit, was, uh, that shit was fat, yo. What the fuck? What the fuck? Fat, uh, yo, do you want P H. Do you want double zero as your call sign still? Yeah, I want double zero. Okay, so you'll be, uh, it's just change the J, the I to a J, and you'll be good so to um, go. So Indigo, so what? No, you're one Juliet, or one oh, John. I'm, oh, I'm one Juliet. Double zero, whatever you're one calling One Juliet, yourself. double zero, yeah, that's what I said, one Juliet, double zero. Or John, whatever is faster for you to say. Then uh, eventually, I think we're going to try to move to William for our call signs. But we'll probably uh, just go with just the, the letter and the number, no um, shift in it. How do I change my call sign? In dispatch? I'm on dispatch. I, oh. You click your name? You know? Man, you, how long radio. have you been able to do that for? Uh, since dispatch How long have you existed? been able to do that for? You kidding huh. me? Huh. Huh. What the shit is uh, going huh. on here? Huh. Damn. Yeah, I do uh. stuff every day. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Fred. Okay, I expect you to do great things. Like I said, I will. Two, give me, give me good paper on some stuff. Uh, mold him. I will. I'm gonna mold both the McCoys. The real McCoys. You're looking at your new senior Doing detective. What? Oh, hell yeah! Good but here, here, come here, real quick, Walker. Come here. Yeah, what's up? That doesn't just because I'm senior detective doesn't mean I'm going to step on anybody's toes. I'm just here to well, I'm just here to, I'm, I'm here for you. Yet, so well, I know I'm here. I'm, but I'm, here's the thing: you only learn through doing. All right. Exactly. As long as you're not like that fuck up John Boston earlier, you have hope. <laughs> but the thing is, though, when I look yeah, here, bring it in. Here, bring it in real quick. You two, bring it in. All right. All right, bring it in. Bring it in here. Get under these arms. Get under these arms. You've been under these arms, Lulu, but, but you know, Walker hasn't. Okay. Okay. Held, I don't need to know that. I have held I your sister tenderly. That. Okay. Now, listen. I want you guys to know something. I'm not going to step on your toes. In fact, I like what you're doing. You're doing good work. But you just got to know something. I know a lot. I know a lot more than you. 
Well, and I'm, I'm here looking to learn. And I'm here to help you out. And make God, sure the fact that you can't even keep a straight face while saying this. I am this, keeping a straight face. You I literally am. laughed. I didn't. I not. I didn't. Now listen, we're gonna get some shit done. Is that one of my phones ringing? I got a whole. Oh no. No, that was that was me. Burton was calling, but we're in the middle of a. Yeah, let's. Uh, why don't you go talk to that one member? Keys to interrogation are as follows. Busy right now, Burton. I have to call you, you want back. Want them to in this situation. In, uh, you want them to room. talk as much as possible. Trust me. I'm gonna go change. Yeah, I'll get everything right. uh, taken care of. What have you I'll, done? I'll be back down. I ain't no holla back, girl. I think this is where I want the RP to go. Hey, what floor know. do we get changed on? What floor is the cloakroom on? Uh, two. Um, I, I think yeah. so. I'll find it. No, no, no. Uh, negative one. Jesus. So many fucking. Yeah. Detective RP is the best RP in my fa in my opinion. Well, I mean, look, this is the RP I want to do. This this version of Pred isn't a madman. Back to the city. I'm gonna have to go clean out my locker. Torso. Ugh. Ugh. Put on a. Hey, I found this. The dead guy's lost jacket. <laughs> hey, I found that dead guy's lost jacket. <laughs> oh, fuck me. Ugh, I look gross. Hey, just remember, if it doesn't work out, Connie will be sheriff soon. <laughs> hey, if it doesn't work out, Connie will be sheriff soon, so. You have it out. All right, let me pee. Might be time for a mustache. Get a detective outfit so I don't have to wear this. Ah, no, nah, I don't want to. I don't want to get a detective outfit just yet.
We got to do something about these it's uniforms. One, Fred, there, it's one Mets. stripe, not two. Thought it was two for senior. No, senior lead is two. Oh. Hello, Prince. You okay. had the right amount of stripes. Okay, yeah, I can, I can peel You're that good. off. It looks good though. It looks good. Yeah, it does. You know, you look good. Blue's kind of. You know what, Pred? You might want a mustache. Fakes I think my eyes pop. Might suit. The mustache. Now the sh the, oh, the, the, the the blue the makes my eyes you know? just pop out. Maybe, yeah. Maybe you need a little uh, a tash. Will go well. Yeah, you know? I don't really. I'm not really much for facial hair. Mm. But you look. Yeah, it looks good. You know, you could wear more comfortable shoes if you wanted, but. Uh, no, I like the boots. They got steel toes in them, so when I got to kick suspects, I know I'm doing some damage. Jesus Christ. Yeah. All right, well, you know, it's not a rights violation. Look it's at just... this, look at this. I, I don't even feel this. Watch. I'm going to move over here. Ugh! Don't even feel it. Don't even fucking feel it. Just kicking the fucking bars like they're nothing. Holy fuck. That's why you always no. want to have steel toes. Now, if you did that in those shoes, you'd probably break a fucking toe. Yeah, right, and I'd scuff the fuck out of them. I'd have to get new shoes. Yeah, you'd have to get new fucking shoes. Not with these. New fucking, new fucking shoes. Those yeah, I'll, uh, I'll peel this off once I, I, I got to go clean out my locker. I got to go clean out my locker up at LSSD. You're good. Do you need anything from me or the LSPD right now? No, Other you've given free me everything to conduct I business? Want. Honestly, you've given me... Uh, Look, I'm just you've giving me everything I need. I'm here to enable you. And Get out of here. Offices. I'm an enabler. Get out of here. You're here to enable me. I'm here to it's enable very highly of you. I'm here to Those enable everybody. Those are dangerous everybody. words. So yeah. I'm here to Those enable are. all the... Very dangerous I'm words. I'm here sure. to enable the CID <laughs> to do their job. Don't say that, Sarge. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm going to get results. <laughs> You know, Pred, I think Lula got pretty spun up and heated about you. Why? I don't know. She asked me what I was doing, and I think she was just swooning over you. Everybody swoons over me. Look at me. I don't know. She was, you this. know. Take a look at this. Come on. Look I'm at me. looking. I'm looking. An attractive man right here. Right here. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm sorry, Pred. I told you this the other day. I'm not into men, so... I'm not gay, but it, you can acknowledge if another you man's attractive. You can, yeah, you can acknowledge, like, you know, right, you're, you're an attractive, attractive man. Nice. Thanks, there you I, go. Thanks, there you I go. appreciate that. You have nice eyes. You've got a great body. What's your name? Thank you. Kay McNamara, I've told you this several times. I know, I just like hearing you tell me it. Mm -hmm. Kate, right, go huh? clean your fucking locker out. Hey, all right, I'm going to go up north. I'm going to clear my locker out. Have fun. I look forward to working with you, Kate. Yeah, you too. Like I said, I've heard good things about you. Take really good care of your hair. Your hair looks really nice, and I can tell you exfoliate. You're a woman that takes care of herself. I try. Yeah, you know, uh, do you have my number? Uh, I don't think so. Yeah, let me give that to you in case you need me. Yeah. Um, wrong phone. All right, so uh, oh, my you got phone multiple. number. He's got like 10 phones. <laughs> I mean, I have a few. Three one zero seven four six one four four zero, and you just you know send me a text. All right, I will. Perfect. And if you ever just want to chat, you know, talk about things, maybe get to know each other over a cup of coffee, give me a call. We'll see. Yeah. I don't do relationships though. Oh, hey, I'm Fred, not doing that. I'll not... walk you out, Fred. Oh, sweet. Well, I, hold on. I got to go give them the phone I have just in case I... Oh, okay. Where, where, which way are you going? Hey, Burton, Back can you uh, do me a solid... Can you give sure. this phone to Lula? It's for the guy in there. Um, let's yeah. go. Gotcha. What's I'm going to put it right uh, next just to your uh, vest. Okay, you got that, got that the left of your vest there. Right. All right, there you yeah. go. Yeah. Did it work well for you? Appreciate it. You've been working out? Tuck it. Tuck it. That's a strong chest. Let me feel that stomach. There you go. That's what that You've been working that core out, huh? Let me punch that, that thing. Was fine. So that, that can be boop, 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 boop. That so guy's tough. Well, That's see. a tough guy. Yeah, he didn't uh, even move. Hold on move. I got to talk to Pred on the way out real quick. Um, perfect, yeah. Thanks for calling. Hi, Pred. Hey, uh, Bye, Kate. You know, she's got that dog in her. Oh, yeah, she, she likes dogs. Well, no, she got. She says all the time she's got that dog in her, and then uh, she's in her tell. her slut phase, her whore phase. Oh shit! Permanently. Well, so perfect. there you go, Pred. Hey, she uses. 
Jesus, you know the what? little office in the the fourth floor up there? Yeah. There's like a lieutenant's office. She's been using that. So maybe you get some flowers or something and put them on her desk. There you go. Per That's a good idea. You know, thanks. Uh, know. You know, I appreciate the opportunity, Mets. You're good. Like I said, I'm here to enable everybody. That's dangerous. So if you need words. enabling. You know, that's, that is oh, dangerous. Words. That's dangerous. Where did I park my car? Oh, I got in with them. <sighs> you can take the city boy out of the city, but you can't take the city out of the boy. Take the boy out of the city. But you can't take the city out of the boy. Really good role play, if I'm being honest with you. <laughs> oh, poor Honor B. <laughs> Man, that was funny. Felt bad. Not in character. Of course not. But out of character, I have a heart. <laughs> I have a gigantic heart. Overtime today. I mean, we didn't get to the 300 subs that we need every day for overtime, so I don't know. I don't know. We didn't get to the 300 subs that we need for overtime, so I don't know what to tell you. like begging for subs chat i want you guys to want to sub because you want to and you enjoy the content you don't want it to end that's all i want but also yeah you're right i do i do want to be able to pay my mortgage and buy myself a rolex potentially get a new car that i won't drive you know just the simple things in life What Rolex? I'll never get a Rolex. Dylan, thanks for the brand new tier one. I do like those brand new tier ones. You know, I'm turning off ads from now on. We're not going to be running ads anymore. You know, but we just got to hit. You know, there's just certain things we got to hit. Because ads are dog shit anyway. I'm starting to think pre-rolls are better than not pre-rolls because you can at least leave the stream up. Double back to it, you know? Narjiko, thanks for the 13 months. Trying to think of the plebs. Ooh, hoops, hoops with the 11 months and Venonair with the 20 bomb. Turbo is so worth it. I think I've said it a million times. If you uh, you watch more than 20 hours a month of Twitch, getting Turbo is probably not a bad investment. Marshall, thanks for the five bomb. Me, I don't really... Ah, that's a lie. I do watch a decent amount of Twitch. Pyro Freak with the five bomb. One, two, you with the five bomb. What? Wait a minute. They never gifted before. 
Who's around from LSSD? Sh Shackalackin! No one's up here to see me clear out my locker. Hi, Brad. Hey, what's up, Riley? Why'd you transfer? Why'd I transfer? Because I got a senior detective position. Oh. And a promotion to senior officer. Why wouldn't I? That's not a promotion. Transfer? That was the same rank. Ah, it was a promotion. That's not a promotion, Brad. That's the same rank. As corporal? What do you mean? Yeah, that's the same rank as corporal. Who the fuck decided that? Why not this? Why, though? So what is a senior deputy, then? A senior... There's no senior deputy. Senior deputy is corporal. I didn't so know you, that. You have, you have deputy officer, and then senior officer corporal, and then senior lead officer slash deputy, and then sergeant lieutenant. How do I get into my locker? I don't know. I don't use those. I have my fridge at Grape Seed. Yeah, I mean, you know, I mean, how could I turn down a senior detective position? Yeah, I'm gonna be a detective of Grape Seed. <laughs> yeah, I already caught a murder. Uh, yeah, what of a cow? No, fa Tim. What, Farmer Tim what, got of killed. A, of a cow? A, no, a human a... being got murdered. Yeah, yeah. Sure they did, Riley. Sure. I, they did. I have a subpoena approved to get DNA of my suspect. And then if once I get that, I should be able gotcha. to prove. Gotcha. You know something? Yep. Um, I didn't want to do this. I love the county, but uh, I just couldn't turn it down. Yeah, I mean, I don't fault you. Uh, the SPD I mean, you would needs probably more take people. A you would probably take a senior detective position. I mean, you know. No, I'm grapeseed. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you're grapeseed. I want to right? become a detective, but I'm grapeseed. How's that? Uh, either when they bring in deputies, that they said they're going to, or uh, if we make our own unit. Yep, that'll be... That'll be something. That'll be... Yeah, I mean, there's already works because uh, Kate, I can't remember her last name, contacted me like last week about joining a detective unit. Well, that's nice. That's sweet of her. Yeah. Uh, do you know what happened to that guy? Uh, no, I was hoping you could fill me in. That's another reason he why I'm calling. He got him. his FTO fully revoked. No longer an FTO. And he is pending going down to uh, Soto Cadet. All right, yeah, because that was one just of the Just needs biggest, approval from, like, lieutenants was, and stuff first. That was one of the... Poor guy. I listen. Fuck that guy. All right, that was a big fuck up. He he dropped the fucking Big ball. fuck up. This, yep. I mean, this, this, I'm going to be honest with you, Riley. This was probably a pretty easy case to solve, too. And it's just 100 times harder now. Well, yeah, you have no evidence. It's all statements now, really, rather than yep, and concrete smoking gun. I can already tell you that the Supreme Justice ain't a fan of stuff like that. So. Yep. It is what it is type deal, but I mean, it's still a very hot case, and you know, hopefully, it can still get solved. But I mean, I'm not, I'm not holding my breath on that one. No, no way to identify a murder weapon. Hell, the only yep. thing we have is a corpse with a gunshot in it. We don't even have the murder scene really fully documented. That could yeah, be I don't know how. Lawyer. I I I I just don't understand how. Hey, someone called me about a guy with lots of blood. I go there, there's a guy who's non-responsive, and I don't even take a photo of the scene and look for evidence. I just don't understand the whole process. Yeah, I know what you look. It's uh, it, it was a tricky one. That's for fucking sure. You know. Was it though? I mean, no, it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, it wasn't. And when he was no. talking to us about how he went there and just picked up the body, <laughs> and then I'm gonna go on patrol afterwards. You know, it was a little. Mm -hmm. huh. mm -hmm. He uh, he apologized and he says he wants to take full responsibility for his actions. So uh, at least yeah, there's that. I think that. we can work pretty well together there, Riley. 
Yeah. I know how to work the field. You know how to type. I mean, who knows? We could probably we could probably do some damage together. You've not done your statement yet, have you? I gotta go. <laughs> oh! 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 Hazel, thanks for the two months. Draps, thanks for the 41 months. I do appreciate those resubs, guys. I'll give you guys an extra two hours, all right? I'll give you a 10-hour stream today. I'll give you a 10-hour stream today. Look, all right, listen. Here's what 300 subs a day equals, all right? No ads, okay, except pre-rolls. I can't do anything about that, all right? And on top of that, what it'll do is it'll have a 10 hour stream I can I can do 10 pretty easily I just have to you know I can I can do it bad shorts thanks for the five bomb and Avalski thanks for the five bomb I do appreciate those uh shit, I'm gonna be honest I don't like playing ads I never did I think ads really dampen the viewer experience. And I think they make the viewer feel more like a commodity than a member of a community. I'm not really a big fan of ads. Like, yeah, like, I'm not gonna bullshit you. It is a hefty part of the income. But if we can keep 9K plus subs consistently, like, consistently, fuck it, I don't care. Right, plus, I'm going to be doing, like, more sponsored content anyway, too. It'll, it'll balance itself out, you know? It's just, I, I care about your viewing experience, man. What do you want me to say? Like, ads are dog shit. Like, I hate when I'm watching someone stream and ads play on them. It makes me want to turn it off. You know, but I know why they do it. I mean, I got no problem telling you, it is, for streamer of my size, six figures in ad, when you run ads. It's six, it's, it's, it's a lot of money. Just in ads. No, a year. Yeah, so. But I'd rather have like a nine to 10,000 sub count consistently and stream extra hours anyway. Look, man, I'm talking to a guy that turned down being rich from Facebook, okay? It's, believe it or not, as long as I just have enough to be able to do whatever I want, I don't care. Which might sound like bull... I mean, well, enough to do whatever someone like me wants to do. <laughs> you know, sometimes you just want a thousand dollar bottle of wine. What happened to Kick? Look, nothing really against Kick, but I just didn't feel like I fit in on that platform, man. I just want to play games, hang out. I don't want to be surrounded by a bunch of D-Gens that want to fucking break the law. Hey, what's up, Lula? How you doing? We have discrepancies. Perfect. Um, I'm, I actually just got back from cleaning out my locker. Yeah, cleaning out your locker? Oh, Quit? yeah, LSSD. Thank no, God, no. right? Oh. No, it, no it, <laughs> LSSD, Lula. <laughs> what you, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, me? I, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, you. Where are you at? I'm downstairs. Uh, By the interrogation rooms. Do you nice, need me to come get you? Because I know you got lost earlier. No, I know where. I know. I'm, I, know, I, I just figured know that's uh, kind of right up your room. Oh, we we see you made guy? it. Did yeah. we already get the I'm, guy uh, out of here? I don't know if he's. Yeah, yeah everyone's out of here. For now. I made a new uh, right, master file for the gang intelligence thing, so now each oh. gang has their own separate uh, file and report. Burgers. It's already happening. Um, oh, hold none on of them real mentioned. quick. One okay, second, yeah, one okay. second. Oh, keep, uh, okay. for now, Walker, Senior keep Detective all, all Kyle Pratt together. has entered the room. I hate oh, everything about this. Metzger said it was okay. Oh, okay. All right. So uh, you guys want to go sit down and talk in an office? You just want to talk down here? What do you yeah, want to do? Yeah, we can go up to five. 
Let's all right. Do that. All right, let's jump in that elevator. I don't. Look at you wearing the blue. I just yeah, realized I mean, that you're wearing the blue. the blue. Look good yeah. in the blue. Uh, I don't think Where's anybody your really looks good in this. Wait, we have those. Excuse me. Yeah. What do you mean? Wait, wait. We have those. What? Where have are those? bars and a star. We have that. I'm pretty sure we have that. Two bars yeah, and a star. Town. Damn, this one only goes to the fucking third floor. Uh, go to negative one, then you can hit the other elevator. Oh, okay. Jesus. I can tell you know this building. Yep. It's a fucking maze, man. Wait, so we have stripes for that? I, I don't have a stripe. I don't know what he's talking about. Oh, are you a probie? Friend, watch yourself. Oh, don't worry. I'm here to make sure you stay around. I, I can't hit everything. <laughs> close, 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 close. You didn't even hold the door for us? <laughs> it's fucked up, dude. That's fucking pretty fucked up. probational detectives. I had, to, I had places to be. I'm not probational, I don't even know, I don't even know if I'm probational. He is. You're not even probational yet. I don't know what uh, I am. Okay. Wait, one oh, second. Just... Where's Burton at? I gotta make a phone call. <laughs> Sergeant Mesker. Hey, so uh, <laughs> do we have like special <laughs> emblems for the shirt? Because I was told that two stripes and a star is what the detectives had, wears. We don't have any of that in the system yet. So just uh, just wear one stripe for now and then we'll sort it one out. one stripe. I look like a bitch. You're not a bitch, though. All right, I'm just talking. I'm just fucking with you, Metzger. We're, we're talking I, I, about I, I, cases and stuff. I'll talk to you later. All right. <laughs> bye, bye, boss. All right, we you don't have we the don't two have stripes. It? I got confirmation on the two stripes. All right, stop the murder investigation. Stop it. I got confirmation. Two stripes and a star does not equal anything. We, we don't have anything yet for our uniforms. That's okay. what I thought. Spreading misinformation. Good job, Walker. Anyway. Well, I'm just saying that's usually what it means. Is two stripes and a star is detective. All right. So we interviewed the DuBurgers, Otis and Millie. We went over their entire day. Clarified information and everything. Both of them left out the fact that they had been at the Yellow Jack with Bruce Teller, who is the president of Lost MC. Mm -hmm. And that they were um, at the clock and bell with him, too. Yeah. They had left out the president entirely out of their statements. Um, Axel came in and mentioned that Bruce had been around for the majority of things. Uh, Greco had also tipped us off that Bruce might be a person of interest. Damn. We also okay. have uh, their quote unquote alibi is that they were working at the cluck and bell when then they got the phone call about Zoran being at the hospital. They'd only clocked in 30 to 35 minutes before getting that phone call. By the time they arrived at the hospital, he was already in the morgue. So their their Sounds quote unquote like they alibi went to the cluck and exactly. bell after the estimated after the time fact. of death. Yep. Exactly. <sighs> So my to-do list here. Get the results on the subpoena. Interview Still Moxie in Maddox. Them. Interview Clyde Duberger. Interview Bruce Teller. Uh, I've got to go through the recordings and establish a timeline. This is good work. We had a fucking, you know, a bullet casing. Yeah. We yeah. actually be able to close this one. Yep. That's what they all boil down to, right? That's, I feel like every investigation that me and Lula have had, like the Conrad one. Every lack case that's been dumped DNA. in my lap, I've had nothing. Because this I wasn't one. the person on scene. No well, blood, be, no casings. You'd be surprised on what doors you can open up legally. 
you know, from legal standpoint with good interrogations. I mean, will we get a murder conviction out of this? Maybe not. But will we get something out of this? A hundred percent. So it's Millie kind of like... Millie Duberger is okay. also a secretary for the Lost MC, and she has no... Knowledge. <laughs> well, she has no connection, no association with the VP that passed away. Yeah. How can you be a secretary for the How Lost? How long has she been the secretary for? How long? Two weeks. Two weeks. Well, what does that tell you? She's either A, trying to cover her ass, not talking about the guy, or B, this guy's been on the outs for a while, and they've wanted him gone. Maybe exactly. they've already, maybe they've even already like. replaced him. They've That's already what it, replaced what it him. sounds like, is that they knew that, okay, somebody, I don't remember which, I think it was Axel. No, it was Otis. He brought up Moxie immediately, without us probing about Moxie whatsoever. He we said didn't that. We did mention Moxie he, at all during any of the interrogations. Did he? Yes. He brought her up on his own and said that yep. she had been arguing with uh, the VP over the phone. Frame job. Yeah. And so did Axel. Now, what's Maddox's alibi? How long was she with Greco today? We have not talked to her yet. She's We're next on my to-do list. Yep. Here's my I idea. Call Greco first. Get him to maybe establish Moxie's whereabouts to you. And then mm -hmm. get Moxie to do it herself. Because Greco, we I know, is going to shoot idea. straight with us. If Moxie did have involvement, she could. Does it look like it? Nah, it looks more like a frame job to me. But nothing's 100%. Could have involvement. And that could lead to a little slip-up or discrepancy. Like, let's say, if she has a good alibi, let's say she was with Greco for the last couple hours. What does that say? It couldn't have been her. Mm -hmm. But if they're going to try and pin oh, it no, on I her... Back to the whole body thing and no evidence. Mm -hmm. I still think it's a body dump. I I think it's a body dump solely due to the fact that it Ye Yellow Jack points to the lost. You know, if you're going to fucking execute one of your own members. I would ignore a lot, that fact. A lot better places to do it. I, here, here's the thing. I'm going to help you out. All right. We shouldn't focus on anything that we can't prove at the moment. Right. Well, if, it I know, comes just... up, if it comes up in interrogations, like stuff that makes us believe that. So what we should assume, I think it's safe to assume that it's more likely that he was shot there and, and left there than it is to assume that he was shot yeah. somewhere else and brought there. Because either way, that doesn't really impact the case we're working with. So we got to work off like the established facts of the case. The established fact is that that body was found there with a gunshot wound. So we should work off what we know and us making assumptions body dump or he was shot there shot you know it's shot somewhere else like that's just going to muddy the waters like we just got to focus yeah. on the stuff that we know for a certainty and then once we get the testimony from the people in the interrogation or sorry once we get the interrogation then we go from there about like kind of like drawing up kind of a time frame we to work with the facts no point in working with anything else yet. <sighs> I need a beer. Hands up, Lula. What? Okay, Sorry? what do you think of this stuff? You you heard everything. You've been here. What do you think? I wasn't really paying attention, I'll be honest with you. Sorry, I'm getting all my shit together because I have a meeting with the ADA for my case tonight. All right, let's... uh. Did we get the results of the subpoena? I am. I haven't heard anything back. Yeah, still pending. Okay. Um. I have to go over this. Thank you. Hear that, that was shared with us. Let's get uh, Greco down here and we'll talk to him about Moxie. Metzger just went to go talk to him, so he's going to be at his office for a bit, I think. Fuck. Okay. okay. Well, fuck. All right. Let's go find Whoa. Greco. Are you eating your cigarette? Eat cigarette? I'm smoking. That's disgusting, Fred. 
Now I'm smoking it. I think you're doing it. I think you're smoking it the wrong. You're not supposed to put it that far in your mouth. Yeah. So where's Greco at? With uh, Metzger? City Hall, I believe. Yeah, Metzger just went to go speak with him. DMV. City Hall. City Hall, I think, but City I, don't, I honestly don't yeah, know. Yeah, Metzger's there. Good luck. Happy hunting. Don't, uh, don't, don't be too upset if this one doesn't get solved. All right. Oh, I'm not going to be upset. Trust me. I've had my, my fair share of shit that goes south. Where's your sister? Is she coming? Uh oh. They're having girl talk. Girl uh -oh. talk. Let's just leave. Let's just Let's go. look at our nails. Let's look at our hair. How do we look? Oh my God. All right, I got to go. So today. I got to head okay. to the elevator. They're waiting for me. They're, They're waiting, waiting for, for me. me. I got to go, Kate. Yeah. yeah we held the door open here. for you. Oh! <laughs> sorry. Oh! Sorry. I tripped on the, the uh, opening. Oh! oh! <laughs> Smell like cigarettes. I like the smell of tobacco. He always scares me every time. That guy's creepy looking. He's got like that uncanny yeah, never says valley anything. kind of face. He never says anything. He just stands there. He talks and to you me. Tell him what floor. Tell him what floor you want to go to, and he just. Mm, mm. Now, if he has his hand in his pocket when he's making those sounds, walk away from him. No, I never, I never caught that. But I'll uh, keep my eyes peeled for that. Honestly, I'm impressed. Yeah? Yeah. And then plus, I get to hang out with the McCoys. I like the two of you. Learned Those a lot people I parents. can't stand being in a car with. Tell me about it. Whoa! They mentioned how the do burgers hold up most of the MC. Really? Mm hmm. And I can see why they would want to get rid of a VP. Well, who's the if VP? If they wanted then? to consume the MC with their whole family. Axel mm -hmm. Steele is now the new VP. Relation to the do burgers? Uh, they seem pretty close. Close, but not related. Yeah. But. Could be a reason. Yep. I mean, you want to know why she uh, lawyered up? Is that a hypothetical, or do you have information that I need? She was no, the only it's, one it's that lawyered up. It's only a up, hypothetical. By the way. Yeah, because she knows a lot more than what she's letting on. Of course. Oh, okay. Oh, yep. Oh, oh. Sorry. What's up? I don't know who parked out there. That's weird. All right, it was a tight you fit. Crushed me. Well, if I had crushed you, it would have been doing you a favor because you could afford to lose a few pounds. <laughs> what the fuck, Fred? <laughs> Fred. Uh, you look great, man. You look fantastic. He's in detective mode right now, so he's kind of like, he's just full-time bad cop.
Hey, Moxie. Oh, Howdy. How are you? <sighs> You're wearing, you know, I'm having flashbacks that time at the uh, Bahama Mamas. Those were good times we had. Those. Oh. Those were definitely, yeah. Uh huh? Yeah, those were yeah. good All times. Thanks to my daughter. Yep. Moxie's daughter made me uh, mount her for a photograph. Uh, those was good times. Good times. Hmm. It, it, it had to happen multiple times because yep. she just couldn't figure Who out how to work a camera. Who hasn't mounted someone for a photograph before? I'm right there yeah, with you, that's Brett. That's true. That's true. Moxie, do you know this guy right here in front of you? Kyle? Senior Detective Kyle Pred. Hey, how you doing? Yeah, no, I know him. Mm. He just called I'm, me fat outside and almost what? squished me between two cars. You called Tallulah fat? What the hell? This my this my I girl. Didn't call her fat? I said she could afford to lose a couple pounds. What the actual Ooh. what? Yeah. And That's he so uh, smashed I, into uh, I thought car. Also. I did not smash into any cars. Yes. Yep. You did. I, I didn't. It. I didn't. Liar. Mm -hmm. Objection, good... lying. Okay. Hmm. Sure. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Where's Greco at? In Matt's... Uh, he's currently in a meeting, but he will be out shortly. In that room? In the hallway? Uh, he, I think he's in one of the offices. Back oh. here. You can... I don't want to be Good catching up with y'all. So, Tallulah... You got a, uh -huh. you got Kiki face. You Thank you. Oh, um, no, I oh, don't. Oh, she just looks like that normally. No. Oh, what? my. My. Tallulah, we're sorry. Like my I told bad. you, he's in detective uh, mode right now, so he's just full-time bad So guy. he's just, like, massively rude. Guy. Okay, got it. It's, it's, this is just temporary? Sorry. I'm not yeah. trying to be No, right. he's always like this. I think you're a very like nice, I think you're a very oh. nice woman, Tallulah. Thank you. I don't know that I could say the same for you. That's fine. As I don't man, care. But guess what? Don't care if you do. That's okay. Hello. Moxie would say I'm a good man. Oh, okay. I'm saying you what? Okay. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, I'll see you, Mr. Told you. Yep. What? what? <laughs> I said Moxie would say I'm a good man. He's a cop. He's a heart. cop. A cop? Okay. That means he's a good man, right? No. Active. <laughs> oh my god, why is everyone calling me? Hello? Oh, I'm not on duty. What's up? Me. Uh, I'll talk to you about it later. I will... I need to have a meeting. I have like two meetings. So what's your job, to Tallulah? To. What do you do? I'm the Attorney yeah. General's assistant. Right. Yeah. Bye. Oh. The AG's oh. assistant, Kyle. The assistant, right. Kyle. Hello. The assistant to the AG. I do like Kyle. the AG a lot. I do like do him. You? Yeah, I like him a lot. Uh, Is there an uh, office you'd like? Yeah, there's an office back here we can use. I'm sure he'd be really happy to hear that you called me fat. He'd probably be a lot happier if you lost a couple pounds. Mm hmm. <gasps> uh, it'd be alright if I respond to this message from the DA. Okay, a street racer. Okay. Yeah, apparently she goes to people that organize different street races. So, uh, my priority right now is not that. My priority right now is uh, money. Good, good, good. Uh, okay, not a, not a concern, I guess. Uh, well, number one, that bitch ain't telling the truth. I think they're busy. Hey, come on. Let me let yeah. me let me get in there. Come on, let me get sit in there. Sit on my lap. Sit on my lap. Or you can sit on Walker's lap. Yeah, I'm good. Oh. Are you wearing? Are you wearing cologne? I always do. I like to smell like vanilla. Vanilla. That's interesting. Yeah, I like to smell like a cupcake. It smells like a cigarette cupcake. You know, like instead of a candle, it's a cigarette. It's yeah, that's bad. That's good. That's badass. Yeah, I think uh, you smell great. Hey, who's the leads? Hello. You ride a bike or something? You ride a bike now or something? You a biker? 
No, brain damage. Oh. Um, yeah, you remember the cool chase we had the other day? Yeah, yeah. Got pushed yeah. and I hit my head again. Fred also has brain damage. Nope. Don't have brain damage. Never have. Never oh, you will. Don't? Brains intact. Lots of creases. They said I got Why a brain damage. Why the fuck did you burn LSPD? Uh, today, actually. Looks good, doesn't he? Yeah. Looks Brats, blue. I guess? Question mark? I don't know. I'm a senior detective now. Nice! Wait, senior? Wait. Yeah, I'm Lula's you know boss. I'm Lula's oh, boss. Oh, hey, Lula. Yeah. Hi. Burton's told me great things about you. Oh, oh I can tell you some things. Nice. Walker, cover your ears. <laughs> Dear God. Really flexible. Oh, you didn't cover your ears. <laughs> you should have covered your ears. I'm just blocking it all out. <laughs> Are you though? I'm doing my best. Then you're not really blocking it out. It's okay. I've heard some really weird conversations between my sister and other people in the last three days. That's true. Yeah, she had she banged uh, Candace. I did. I did do that. Yeah, know about that. If I heard ever, all about it, every detail. Nice. It was. It was. It was great. I was just having sex with everyone. Yeah. Yeah. That's not yeah. true. You know. You know, Walker. That's your solution. You need to have sex. Who says I'm not? Yeah, I bet Walker's getting it. Look at him. He's an attractive man. He's got a charming personality. He's got a good voice. He's got a good head on his shoulders. Probably has a meat missile, too, judging by the way he carries himself. I can tell. <laughs> this guy. Should have come to your answer, I prefer a torpedo. Yeah, you see that? He's got a torpedo. <laughs> He's got, got, got a fucking missile. He's got a fucking bomb. <laughs> Good for you, man. <laughs> so, uh, Leeds, Sorry, what you been up to? Me. Doing brain damage stuff? Uh, yeah. I probably need to yell out a command member because Bambi didn't show up for court. Why didn't uh -oh. Bambi? Why I would have showed up. Yeah, but you wouldn't be able to testify to like what Bambi would have. Yeah, but I mean, because I was the one that made the actual arrest. <laughs> Testified a way more. Uh, for the for the original charges, yeah, but not for the escaping custody. So wait, was so what happened? Did the escaping custody thing drop then? It got, yeah, it got dropped because it didn't have Bambi. Bambino. Yeah. Why you should have I mean, called me. I probably, I probably should have. But my, yeah. what I'm, I'm getting mixed messages from everybody because there's sometimes where I should call more witnesses than I need, and then there's some instances where it's like, hey, I'd show up. I, I don't care about, yeah, I don't care about what's it called. Um. Having five free witnesses to testify to the same thing that one can. And I'm like, well, Bambi can testify to the most, so I'm going to call Bambi. Why do you let the judges bully you like that? You take, you know, you get the people in that you need. You know, I mean. All righty, Fred, think of it like this. Imagine Bambi was the primary and you were going to, and we had you and Lula both come to court to testify to the exact same thing that Bambi would have done. Like you, it's it's just a waste of time. You get what I mean? That's the issue. I don't think it's a waste of time. I think, look, man, I take court pretty serious. If I go to a court case, I'll stay there as long as I need to. I don't, I don't give a you, shit. You would, or would everybody? I bet you got helmet hair. Who, Bambi? No, I you. I told her about this. Man, I bet you, you have. I bet you have helmet hair. What does that mean? When you wear a helmet or a hat, you get like hat hair or helmet hair. It's an American uh -huh. thing. 
huh. which which you are. <laughs> Maybe they have some type like a different term for it, you know, like. Yeah, where are you, so where are you from, Leeds? London. Ugh. What's sort of London? What's right about it? <laughs> yeah, you're right. I'm from like London. Helmet fringe London, or something. Isn't it? In, empty the contents of your pantaloons. Pantaloons? Yeah, keep up yeah, the good what work, Leeds. What the fuck's Leeds. a pantaloon? Isn't that what they say? Pantaloons. Pantaloons. I thought that was a pantaloon. Pants. Yep. Oh, that was like Spanish. Pantalones. To be a pantaloon. No, that's, no p there's pantaloons. There's some, there, there is pantaloons. Oh. Muy caliente fiesta con pantalones. Oh, do you speak Spanish? Si. Mi hablo español. Lula, do you speak Spanish? Hola, mi amiga. Puedo hablarte con uh, algo. Hey, that was a good job. On the few words you do know, that was pretty good. I don't know if we're going to get to talk to Greco. Women's yeah. baggy trousers and gathered at the ankles. Pantaloon. What'd you say? All right, I got this. I'll be the guy. I was, just, I was reading the definition. I know some French. Wait here. Bonjour. Hey, I, I hate to interrupt, but it's, it's actually important. It's like... Oh, what's up, Fred? I was I is it okay if I bring them it will be like 30 seconds of your time yeah I just, hey come on in come on oh. in come on in okay what's hi up? hi I don't want to feel alone outside hey what's up uh so Lula why uh, don't you just say well you're you gonna ask him or you want me to okay yeah just throw me in the that's fine Greco is there any way that we can get you down at or well we can actually talk about you here whenever you're done with your conversation with Metzger about this whole situation that happened earlier today the body yeah that thing um, uh yeah uh yeah whatever you need all right uh um, you guys gonna be talking for a little bit longer uh, uh just wrap it up I think yeah we're, yeah we're getting close hey I got someone for uh, the real McCoys here okay yeah. Did you share this with them, Greco? Uh, yes. The subpoena results, but you I would say go drive... off of the annotated version in your investigative report. That is the easiest. There's a, the drive link, right? You're yeah, the about... drive link in your notes in your investigative report on uh, ZA's thing. Uh, Thank you. Kyle, obviously you can hand, uh, jump in on this, but this is off a subpoena from, uh, was it Clyde Duberger? Um, I haven't looked at it yet. Uh, is this, we from, the, about this from the case we're working now? This is, this it's is related, um, but it's related. an old. It's, it's like old, a week old. old now. I've been trying to. Uh, we. It's. Uh, it's been percolating for a while. Basically, the Greco and I have been talking about this. There's um, a lot of leads in there about people talking about where people are hiding PD weapons or storing them. It's a bunch of different gang-related intelligence. So mm, love that. Um, get that, and it will probably open some doors into different groups. Yeah, I have so, that already on my to-do list. Um, my report. Uh, well, sitting down and going through all this. So just what to... we need to add to the case for then is Clyde Duberger's subpoena, and uh, can you stop? We'll just that? call it that. Can you stop? What? You, are you doing that intentionally? Doing what? Are you saying subpoena to piss me yeah. off? Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> I don't get it. Uh, subpoena. B is silent. Yeah, subpoena. 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 Stop. Subpoena. It's, it's spreading. Uh, okay. Uh, anyway, the just uh, add this, that to the case board. this intel is a bit old now. It's about a week and some old, but um, doesn't mean the they, statute it, or PC went out on it, right? Oh no, yeah, no, we're, we're all good on that. Everything's great for that, but uh, the relevance of what they're talking about is likely out of date now. But the results of that subpoena will easily get you more records, especially considering this new thing that just happened. Yeah. So you'll be able to get a lot of good intel on a lot of people who have just been in the text messages. Hello, fellow gang members. Let us join this gang. So it's all in there yep. for you. Dig into it. Uh, Fred, um, work with him on it, obviously. Um, yeah. You got it, boss. What, what are you stuffing down your mouth? I'm cigarettes. He's been eating cigarettes. On my mouth. Okay. Uh, anyway... Can we get Walker Let's, access to Yeah, I can't see that. I can't see that stuff. Yeah, it's too easy. Oh, wait, here's my question for you. Uh, do you want to just, like, take off the state? It's only as access for a lot of people that I gave that stuff to now that you have a detective unit about. 
Who what? Oh, the, yeah, who yeah, is this? Prob yeah, probably. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Oh, basically, I've, I've, yeah, For the case was, files? Before, yeah, before I was giving people like status on the access because like, they've been watching a lot of the ADAs and just said, yep. hey, Pull you're up. a cop. His access. And you guys can okay. see ours anyway. I think we have view access as a state attorney to see the investigator reports. Oh, uh, yeah. We do. Mm, I'm going to change that. Okay. I want the DA, DA only for that yeah. for now. Yeah, you do whatever you want. Start that from the judiciary side. Uh, yeah, so. What you doing? <laughs> Hello, sir. Security. City Hall security. All right. All right. You, hey, keep up the good work. You do, sir. Even like command out of it, you know. What okay, I, mean? I was my next question because what I did is I as I changed it so that um, only uh, only PD command could see investigative reports. But if you need a, you probably already have a detective uh, role yeah, that I do. can alter it, for I that. I can, I can access it. Can, can you alter the role? Yeah, I can do all this. Oh, then okay, good for you. PD, wait, wait, does PD command totally have no, role manager? No, I have a different. Okay, access. good, excellent. I have direct access. Okay, good to know. Role manage uh, is dangerous. Can't be having that. Yeah, uh, I'm trying to find the fucking which tag is with the investigative reports. Uh, that would it's on the right hand column in no, reports. No, no, it's, it's just commander of sergeant because we have all our ranks as well. So I'm gonna look through this. Okay, I think PD command was your main tag. Yeah, that was being used. Yeah, I just changed. Okay. Uh, yeah, I just basically want to make sure that investigative information is locked as tight as possible to the investigators first, and then you can share it when you want. That's like the most important thing. Greco, you, yeah. you said there's like a, a drive on here somewhere? Yeah, it's in there. Uh, like no, on, the... on, your, on your notes of your investigative report that you just created. Uh, got it. Got it. Yeah, it should. It says, you know, Sal Greco annotated subpoena results, blah, blah, blah. I just had to link. refresh. My bad. I'm sorry. Yeah, you're good. Um, Walker, do you have access? Uh, I don't think I do. You need to refresh I, your MDW. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, let me let Greco and I finish this up, and then uh, you yep. guys can have unfettered access to him. Ooh. All right. <laughs> Jesus. You know, I gave okay, him well, a lot. Right. Right. You Wait, guys got what? this. I, everybody but Pred can have that. Wait, have what? Have what? Unfed nothing. Don't worry about it. Well, now Save I want to know. Save all the police work for later, all right? I'm going to need you out there. Undercover, deep. Hey, you know what my nickname was in high school? Deep throat? No, no. It was the man. Scratch and sniff? Oh, no. that, that's impressive. It was the man wow, because I am the man. All right, go get him, Fred. Oh, what are you looking at? Uh, are you okay? Are you still choking on that cigarette? No, I'm just standing here. Oh, okay. That's what you're looking at. What am I looking at? Yeah, what are you looking at? The report, the uh, attached um, uh, information on the subpoena. Got you. Do yourselves a favor. Don't talk any details here. Thanks. Be surprised. Hey, can you, that can John you add Boston me to that, guy? To that report, like, did. share it with me. I already did. <laughs> that John yeah, Boston guy it. was walking around screaming. It's a dead body. Someone shot. <laughs> it was funny when the. It was hilarious. Did you share it with me? You should have it, but I'll, I will share it again. Oh, thanks, Lula. There it is.
Phones are tricky, man. I'm telling you, phones, phones, they do be tricky. What? What the? Uh, What's that thing you okay. do whenever you fall? I don't know what we're, I don't know where this is what we're looking at. <laughs> I don't know how to get to it. I'm, I'm a junior to that you. I'm a junior I'm a junior to that you. People are good in the field. Some people are real good with their MDW. And then, you know, this, and this work, you got to pick one. Uh, It's 4473. And you can just go to shared with me. Oh, that's how that works. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Damn, you learn something new every day. I know a lot. Listen, you guys are going to be thankful. Kyle Pratt just happened. earned a wrinkle in his brain today. You guys are going to be thankful that you had me. I'm happy to have you, Fred. All right, you're a good addition to the to the team that I'm not even a part of yet. Yeah, there isn't many better. <laughs> you guys ever be eating chips and salsa, and it's like you eat too much salsa, and it's like down there all deep, like, and you can't can't get your chip in there without getting sauce it gets your, it gets all over all your hands hand. and yeah yeah been there you gotta like tip it are you the type that licks your hand i know something he, yeah he is he is not nah, you are i'm not actually I'm not that you are right. do not eat your brother's food wow there you go why would you put it in my possession if you didn't want me to eat it this is a trust. This is a trust exercise. I'm hungry. Who? I, I'm. I'm fucking hungry. Give me my burger. <clears throat> wow. Did you get me one? Uh, I Lula said she was hungry, and I knew she was with Walker. I know I'll you're be here. back. I'm gonna go grab food. I'll take the car. This is not how All you right. treat a senior detective. You you bring. <laughs> damn it! God damn it, Burton! God God damn it! I'm a senior, senior detective. Sure, sure you are. Senior detective. Hi. <laughs> hi. Oh, oh, I didn't hear you. I said hi. You guys got anything to eat? No. I'm gonna shake no. this vending machine. Water. Hold on. Get some water. Why the fuck is a, right, a vending machine in this town? It only accepts cash. I, I do know. Cash? I don't have yeah. any. I don't have any bills smaller than a hundred. I'm gonna fine. shake the shit out of this machine until I get a goddamn candy bo candy box. Detective. A, a what? Oh. Uh, the investigation boss of confused. boss. The investigation of the vending machine. Come. I solved it. We need to get credit card scanners on this thing. It's a scam. Ooh, that was All right, smart. there you go. I didn't really realize how excellent Good work, Brad. Hey. Oh. Until he started no problem. Oh. Lula, do you have a problem? What? No. What? Mm. I, completely, I, completely I can't wait to see what you're going to accomplish as a detective there. there. Yeah, Brad, Which I'm decision? really looking forward to you. Uh, the one to have Fred as a senior yeah, detective. You know how it goes. Yeah, Some absolutely. people are good at MDWs. Other people are good in the field. I just what do you good at? 
everything. <laughs> Can we go get food now? Me hungry. Um, we're meeting. We're, you're in the meeting still. <sighs> you want? You want some? Hey, yeah, I got some nuggies for you. Here you go. Hold on. Oh, I need Take a it drink easy. Too. Okay. Well, I got some one water. for you, sweetheart. Come over here. Thanks. Thanks, Greco. There you go. I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put that. The, all the that nuggets down. are gonna fall. The nugget. They're they're gonna fall. Catch him! Catch him! Catch him! Catch him! Uh, I got him. <sighs> Why'd you put it on the monitor? All right, Greco. There's a burger there for you too, if you want it. <laughs> I didn't even see that. You know, I was telling people earlier, it's real easy to miss evidence. It's like a burger being on a desk. Sometimes you don't know what's there until someone reminds Especially you. Especially if you're not looking, up. I guess, you know. Yep. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Especially Situational you know. awareness. Greco, where would you like to talk? Uh, uh, would you like a corner of this circular room or would you like to go into Something office a number three? More. Yeah, a little more. Office private. number three. Okay, I'll be okay, right back. Okay, office number three. All right. Have fun, guys. Thank you. Hey, we will. Real nice seeing you again, too, Lulu. You're great today. Uh, hi. What? I said hi. hi. Do you think I. Greco? Do I look it? okay today? What? You look great. Thank as you. As always. All right. Actually, you know what? We're mixing up. We're doing voting room. More space. Voting room. Okay. This one's soundproof, too. I believe so, uh, but speak uh, speak at a reasonable volume. Perfect. Lula, why don't you go ahead? You've been doing such a terrific job so far, and I only want to empower you as your senior. Right. Hold on, I'm, I'm, right. I'm college professoring. Pardon me. <clears throat> All right, what can I oh, do for uh, you guys? Oh, okay. Casual interview. All right, fantastic. We love that. We love that. Uh, can you just kind of go over your day with Moxie today? Uh, yes. Um, I arrived to work and Moxie had texted me stating that, let's see here, she said, um, uh, woke up to what I thought was a prank, ended up being some more lost BS, currently talking to police. Um, that is what the message I got. So then I saw her at the DMV. And we started speaking about what had transpired. She said, uh, I received a text message, uh, which she sent me. I received a text message basically saying, uh, you know, uh, you know, that money will be here. You, you know, this is what's happening at the yellow jack, something like that. I can't exactly recall. I thought she sent me the text message. I can He's send a detective. Send it, I think it's uh, funny that I have a Boy yeah. Scout outfit on. Uh, I think we have it. Actually. Okay. Yeah. So those. So she. So she showed me the or told me what the text message is. I think it's funny. And then um, I just asked her a little bit about it. She said that she'd spoken with you guys, and then we came down to uh, Vespucci PD to see what was up. And I went in there. I actually came into VPD without any particular reason, and tripped over you guys. So she you knew it before that. Before the... No, yeah. I wasn't really with her before that. Uh, I think I've been with her for a few hours, okay. if that. You know what she was doing, who she was with? Uh, at night, she hangs out with Tallulah. They frequently send me messages and pictures, so I can tell you that last night, uh, she was sending me photos of the Aqua Johnson concert, a picture with her and Aqua Johnson, a beer pong. Looks like she was at the event at uh, the Roach Motel, essentially, last night. Gotcha, but where was she, like, let's say five hours ago? Uh, five hours ago, at least according to, okay, no, that was at 2 a.m. almost. She bought a new car. Stop. No, I think the first message I got from her was at 1.23 p.m. Before that was 12.20, and before that, 12.20. Responding to a message I had sent uh, this morning at 10.45 a.m. So I can tell you that at 12.20, she had access to her phone. Don't know where she was over the no allocated no. hour nope. time frame of potential. But is there any incidents to name her? Did she get a speeding ticket anywhere? Anything like that? We'll look into that. Just trying to clarify, pinpoint her alibi. 
Okay. It looks well, I'm like... going to give you guys some other shit that is Perfect. probably relevant. Okay. Bruce Teller, president of the Lost, probably the guy that did it. And that's not really, you know, that's just my top level, ba barely substantiated guess. But Mr. Teller has made repeated contact attempts to Moxie. Um, upset that she's working for the government, uh, you know, that she's changed, you know, basically borderline harassment. Okay. Uh, I wouldn't say, you know, overt harassment, like, you know, oppressive, but he has a uh, little chub for Moxie for sure. Oh, so he's in love with her? I believe so, yeah. Well, okay. That's just, you know, based on the, the his demeanor, you know, he is, uh, you know, he's not a smart man. Mr. Teller. So the text messages and potential frame job, if that's what it was, uh, lines up with what I've seen from him, which is the human equivalent of drooling most of the time. Bruce Teller, huh? He strikes me as a guy big on, like, shapes, identifying them, maybe am aminals. Loves well, the graham crackers, probably. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Um, so when you read the subpoena, you can see how these guys talk to each other. The Dewbergers yeah. and all them. <laughs> they are not particularly yeah. coy. There's a... It's a good read. Definitely a good read so far. Yeah, I'm glad someone's finally fucking read it. No offense. Um, so, yeah. Uh, as far as uh, Bruce Teller is concerned, you know, uh, you heard my fucking opinions down in the cells. His arm yeah. was shot with his weapon yeah. still on him. Wasn't robbed. He knew the people who shot him. Or he was shot from distance. They did. If say only they were we going had. Uh, if only there was evidence. They did say they were all going hunting. Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, uh, did you get your subpoena approved? Uh, it's still pending. What the fuck? Call yeah. the judge. I'll call him. What's the number on it? Why is this not? I don't have any, I don't see any judges available right now, Greco. Oh, magistrate judges. Do they go, I, they don't go over that shit, can, do they, they? I got this. This will be approved. The, the, the fact that this is not approved already is bothersome because I know someone was looking at this already. Don't worry, Walker. Did you call my assistant fat? Hmm? Did you Walker, call my assistant Walker, fat? did you call his assistant fat? No one fucking called Tallulah fat. Walker, you can't do that, man. I didn't fucking call Tallulah fat, friend. Well, like, calm down. I don't know who called Tallulah fat, but it wasn't me. Look, look, just, just relax. We can get to the bottom of this. We get her to step on a scale. Do you respect women, Mr. Pred? Love them. Ask, ask Lula to my right here. I love women. I was, I'm a man that was raised by women. Really? Yeah. I'm a man that was raised by, by women, man. I love my mom, my grandma. My dad's cool as fuck, too. I love him. So who is responsible for what you have become, then? Well, me. I was one of those guys that in middle school, I wasn't very attractive. Then ah, in high school came along, yes. and I was really attractive. So I made up ah, for lost time. The ugly duckling. Yeah. And then you got a fault. You know, you got that sense of confidence that only peaking in high school can give a man that you have, have been I chasing ever even, since. I haven't even begun to peak. I haven't even. This isn't even my final form. I have not begun to peak. Look at this full head of hair. Uh, you did not include a date range for your subpoena request, my friend. What? Oh, wait, it's just an ID. Yeah. Let me look. Trying to find out if it's a burner before he does a full subpoena, I think. Me out is do both. Fuck it. Unless, hold on, let me reread this. Did you make a mistake? I didn't read it. Uh, phone record request. Phone records for the number. Oh, no, you did ask for records. Yeah. <coughs> uh. 
Uh, just uh, when it when it comes to when it comes to phone ID, just be specific. Be like looking for identifying information, and you can also you can do both. You can be like, I want identifying information and records for this date. Uh, do you need me to go ahead and uh, throw the date in there? Can't now. I would say it. yeah, date range. I would say yeah. you want ID and records for the last seventy two hours. Wait, so when you submit a, a subpoena, do you have to resubmit it or can you alter the current subpoena? Like, uh, you can, you know, you can just go ahead and uh, I am going to return this to draft and then you can resubmit. Okay, so that's how it goes. So if it doesn't get yeah. through, you can request. So I've returned return it to draft. draft. You just basically include the specific request for ID and records for the last uh, 24 hours, 48 would make sense. And then um, it'll be approved as soon as you're done, basically. Learning how to do this today, man. I'm happy for you. This type of so I, I I've mentioned this to Metzka, and I'll and I'll pass this along to you guys for transparency. Uh, DA Leeds is uh, is going to be Brain maintaining. Damaged. Yep, she's that's a that's a part of it. She's going to be maintaining uh, our docket and our ADAs and what they're doing for now. Investigative leads and oversight will remain with me until everything's square with our new ADAs. Uh, but I will be dealing primarily and shifting um, investigative leads uh, specifically to Metzka to distribute to you guys. So I won't be given any specific. I, you guys, I, I don't want to interfere with what you guys are doing. Um, I, I just need the shit that I have. Of everybody. Um, yeah, you know, frequently, yeah, frequently it seems as if um, partially brain damaged people are given huge amounts of responsibility, um, regardless of you know, uh, specifics. Well, I'm this, you know, it's, they made me the senior detective. All right, there we go. Update it with the time frame for the number and the records. Hey, listen, okay. I like to play Pred like uh, a savant. So yeah, anyway, uh, stir, 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 this, make uh, this people think thing? I can't these do guys things and then fucking knock it out of the park. I think you guys are tell these guys a pieces. Uh, yeah, they were pretty forthcoming with the uh, information during the uh, interrogations. Anything interesting at all? Uh, discrepancies. Yeah. Discrepancies okay. and huge and ones, actually. Shit. Huge ones, yeah. yeah. Okay. And timelines are looking a little bit uh, interesting. Aren't you glad I made the suggestion for us to get them on recording, guys? Because that shit is crystal. Effective of the three. You're a great detective. Oh. Jeez. You're gonna mess his hair up doing that. It'll be okay. What kind of product are you using? You using like contact cement type of guy? I think it's pristine. Ah, made in sea salt spray. Wow. I always thought you'd be a dapper Dan man. Pomade, sea salt spray, and then I hit it with the pomade. But you got to get that. You got to get a lot of friction going on the pomade. That's what it's all about. A lot of people, they'll put it on their hands and they'll give it like one or two rubs. Nah, nah. You got to get the friction going so it's burning. You need that temperature. You need that shit to be like lava when you're putting it in. Get a nice sleek look. I can only imagine how you're achieving this friction in such a short amount of time. Uh, I mean, I usually rub, I, I'll rub my hands together. It normally takes about seven to ten seconds. Depends on how much time I have. Wow, look at you. Longevity. It's quick. quick. I have a skincare routine as well. You don't stay this handsome forever. You know what? I've actually been moisturizing a lot more. As you get older, you recognize that uh, that, that tight feeling on your face is uh, is actually your skin screaming for help. Agreed. Yeah, you need to do that. You need to exfoliate. You need to fucking you know, put so some moisturize. lotion. And mo yeah, yeah, you exfoliate, then moisturize. You know, mm -hmm. I take a belt sand to my forehead, and then I just throw oh. some fucking Nivea on there. Call it a day. Oh, my there, God. There you go. That's why you look good. Okay. I mean, how old are you, AG? Uh, 42. 42? Yeah, yeah. You don't look a day over 20. Thank you. Thank you. It was an interrogation. I'd call that bullshit, but I'll take your word for it, AG, because I respect you. And if you want me to believe that you're 42 years old, I'll believe that because I respect you. I bought these glasses on eBay. They look, I think they, they, uh, they, I seen them on, actually, they, I, apparently they sell them on Instagrams. Did, did you dye your hair? Because I remember when I was giving you a lap dance, it was a little bit more gray. 
Um, I have had uh, some minor work done. I was on the uh, Sigma grind set for a few weeks there, um, but apparently it is hazardous to your health, and I was medically Bill ordered Bird to stop. Did say it best: white people have don't use lotion. Uh, mewing like uh, like a uh, like a kitty. Yeah, you put <laughs> no. your tongue on the roof of your mouth. Yeah. What's, Why does both of you know what that is? What's what is it? So what is the mewing? M e w i n g. Oh it's no, I don't. Um, I don't have a weak chin. Not a mewer. No, and no. also pushing the pushing your tongue into the roof of your mouth is a good way to give yourself a tension headache. Yeah, that's maybe that's why I always have headaches. I thought that was just because I'm not drinking. It and uh, consistent exposure to bright light is not good. Uh, so I do want to ask though. So, in your respect, let me ask you, Moxie Maddox, what's your relationship? You know, with her, like, uh, you know, not as like, you know, you questionable. No, nah, I mean, like, what is your guys like? Uh, she's someone you trust, right? Um, no. All right, Put that down. <laughs> I mean, the thing that the thing is, is, I don't trust anybody as well. You know, it's uh, it's the downside with Moxie is I know who her friends are, so certain certain conversations is she's not included in. So uh, you know, if it's related to anything to do with the lost, I, I treat it as an intel source more than anything else. All right, well, we gotta. You have a, listen. We're gonna have to like bring her down to the station and talk. Yeah, of course. No, her uh, her insight into the into the people and personalities that are lost would be useful to you. Perfect. Let's knock that out. Yep. Yep. Thank you it's for your time. It's always nice seeing you there, Greco. Oh, uh, Leeds, where the hell did you come from? She's been here. She's really? been here. I didn't even notice. Good God. You're, you're meant to be a detective. Detective. <laughs> Senior detective, senior detective, by the way. Rubber sole boot. Can't hear a thing. Hey, Moxie. Howdy. Mind uh, coming with us? We just got to talk to you. Sure. Perfect. Bye, Tallulah. It was real nice meeting you. We'll come Bye. pick you up when you're done. Okay. Go for a car ride? Yeah, you're in Go trouble. Go for a car ride. Car ride? Car ride, car ride. We'll roll the window down for you're you. You're like a cute little dog. Yeah. It's adorable. Hey, hey. A button to release you. Hmm? Hey, get this. Get this. There's two women here. All right, and there's two men here. You guys want to go yeah, on a double right. date okay. after this? Uh, well, what I was you, invited to a date after this. I hope you this, mean so. that, like, not me and, me and my brother. Walker. Fuck you. Oh, I knew it. I was joking. I knew it. Ow! Oh, my God. Ow, I was fucking kidding. It was a fucking <laughs> joke. I know you too well. Oh, my God. That's why. Well, that's why you're my work wife. Oh. Yeah, that's my work brother-in-law over there. Yep, I'm a work brother-in-law. Which side? Which side? Okay, well I'll go out. And yeah, you get on that street. side. Risk my life to open the door. <laughs> oh shit. My, the car. Oh, hold on. I'm getting a call from Double Eche. Hola, Who? amigo. Double Eche. Uh, Como estas? Look, hermano, I have big news for you. I need you oh. over here because the, the, the guys, they won't call the boss from the PD. You work with the sheriff, you, so you can't come and... Uh, oh, I don't work and, uh, for the sheriff anymore. I'm a cop. I'm a city cop now. I transferred. Oh, today. perfect. Look, I need your help because I'm going to be on the cover. I think I know what this is about, I, by the way. Maybe it's hey, not, Moxie, can you shut the fuck up while I'm on oh. the phone, you rude bitch? Oh, Jesus sorry. Christ. Sorry. Oh, Look, my you God. Two guys sorry about that, they double edge. They pilots up on the head. And they, uh, they say they are dispatch. I asked them to call the boss and they don't call it. So you come here and talk with them, guys. I might have to, I might have to I get the boss. You the might PD. have to call 911 hey, because I, I don't think I'll I can come to this. I'm talking with my hermano on the phone. Give me a minute. I don't, I, I'm a little busy. I'm, I'm like, you couldn't have picked a worse hermano, time to are you call. talking? Yeah, I am. <laughs> yeah, I am talking. H hello? Hello! God damn it! No signal? My neck! Double edge, yeah. I'm, I'm like swamped right now with work. I can't break off what I'm doing right now. Look, I'm at the Vespucci Bully's depth. Oh, you're here? Alright. 
What, I'll what come upstairs and meet you. Here? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'll oh, come upstairs and see you. All right, bye. Oh, perfect, perfect. Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah, I'm working on getting a handicap parking pass. I think you, you should. I'm about to take an IQ test and try and score a very low score on it so that I can maybe, <laughs> just maybe... All right, so hey, what haven't you done yet? Take her phone. No. Yeah. Always got to grab that. You always got to grab. What are you following me for? Follow him. I know you the love me. Here, I, don't, I don't know what's yeah, happening. The fuck over there. And make sure you take her phone. No, Lula, I love us spending time together. Me, you, and your yeah, brother. Yeah, so good. Feel so like great. I'm a. I feel like I'm a real McCoy. Yeah. Yeah. I want you to look at me. Look me dead in the eye. Mm -hmm. What's up? If you insinuate one more time, oh, what? there's incest going on between my brother and I. I didn't. I will destroy you. That was just a joke. I didn't insinuate I incest. You. I don't think you're banging your brother. No. Are you? Are you? <laughs> no, I'm not. Are I you know you're not. Yeah, I'm looking you in the eyes. You got my full attention. You got amazing eyes, Lula. So short. Yeah. It's so cute. Yeah, yeah. I'll take you down though. I'll take you down and pin you. <laughs> Are you sure? Yep. Oh, did you defend your title yesterday? No. <laughs> pussy. <laughs> or the week before. What do you mean, pussy? I've been busy. I'm trying to have a life. <laughs> Choose life or subs. Eh. Listen, I fucking through the eyes fight better when I'm drunk. <laughs> the, the one with the, the hair? Fucking lock. Cocksucker. Yeah, hey, amigo! Double leche! Como estas? Hey, how you doing? What's going on? Hey, well, he's my hermano. Hey, it's how nice to you? see you, hermano. It's nice to see you. You smell good like always. Hey, you smell good. You look good. Are those new threads you got? You look good, man. Yes, it looks amazing, right? Hey, this is Double Eche. He's my hermano. Look. Kyle, look something. I want to be, you know, you remember I told you I, I'm not a bandido anymore. Oh, yeah, so, you're not. Yeah, look. I, I'm talking here with the boss. That I'm, I want to be a special agent. Like an undercover one. You want to be a CI? <laughs> what is a CAI? Is it, I just know, oh, I know, no, I know the DEA. I yeah, not know the DCI. But it's not the same, right? No, CI no, is no. criminal C informant. CAE and CI are Two different things. All oh, right, I want to be undercover. I don't know what this that about, but I look. I want to stop the drug traffic and all the crime. You know. He used to drug traffic. He doesn't anymore. He he found God. He's a changed man. Exactly. Okay. Double Eche okay. is a changed okay. man. It's a good thing. Look, yeah. Monday until Saturday, I can be undercover, but at Sunday, I'm gonna be in the church marrying the people. All right. Oh, there so is, he, by the way, there's a new church I just opened up up in the uh, Greepseed if you ever ran a oh, this oh. ceremony up there. I just opened it up. Oh, shit. No, but that is in the in the north. I want in the south, you know? I want yeah, the, you know, the, but you know, the house is alert. Don't even open at the moment, so. Well, listen, I'm mm. glad to see you, Double Eche. I'll help you out as long as the sergeant's okay with it. I gotta head down. I'm doing it. I'm actually doing an interrogation uh, right now. Well, this is a C8. I'm kind of... And uh, I think it, it, this may be a Metzger thing. You know? Look, you want me... You want... You let me work one day with my hermano so I, I get used to it. And then I, I'm gonna be a perfect, talented, undercover agent. Look... When, when you say you're uh, Wendy working with your hermano, you just went and raid with... 
tried for a gears, you What did he say right now? I, 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 hey, he said, I, you said you said you wanna you wanna learn from me. You wanna ride with your hermano. I'm your hermano. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Is that what I was trying to say? It didn't, don't you think they'd blow your cover a little bit? That might blow your cover. Mm. All everybody knows me and hates me. <laughs> no, they don't. All right, so you you know the perfect fit. Riley's good. Look at her. She's got that cold, dead gaze in her face. Yeah, what's up? Oh, you, you Riley? Yeah, I'm I, Riley. I, 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 I think it's okay. I can watch some YouTube videos, I guess. I, I think, I'm think I, no, I, I, know, I know what we can do. We can get, I, I know how to do this. I'll get him in a disguise, and, and he can ride in the backseat of my car. But the thing is, though, you know, I'm a senior detective now. I'm not really doing patrol cop stuff. You know, what I'm not. Fuck? Wait. Yeah, I got promoted. I saw you. You were like a sheriff. Now you yeah, like a deputy. With the blue outfit, and now you were an inspector. This yeah, guy was never a sheriff. You were a sheriff. I was Wait, a deputy. I was a depu deputy. You know, he said, you know, people oh. people refer to deputies as sheriffs that you know are outside of the law. They, that's what they call you. Yeah, call yes, people, yeah. I I thought that was the the same thing, but look. No. I don't want to be like playing the card, but people they hear like a Mexican guy they directly think about crime i don't know why i just gonna ignore that fact but look i think i'm really perfect you laughing no you it's laughing? just it just get off of another heat cream and you're describing oh all right like i said i'm gonna i'm gonna forget the fact but uh look i think it would be amazing job for me amazing and also i can be like Really stay close with my brother. I really liked this guy. He, he fucked up my marriage, I think, but that's not a problem. Hey, that's because I was banging her, and I really am sorry about that. Yeah, we got. Hey, we gonna do audition and shit about the telenovela. Don't forget. Oh, that. we do need to cast for the telenovela. Yeah, but I'm gonna do that. You know, Inspector, you have a lot of job, hermano. No, I do. Voice. I got I, a. I, I got a huge. I actually. Got, I gotta head down to the interrogation room. I got. I'm with some uh, right. probational detectives, and I'm supposed to make sure they ain't fucking up. Uh, perfect. Maybe one of these Amazing. days, Riley Reed will join me, and maybe maybe the sergeant Reed. as well. Yeah, that's what I said. I don't want to be a detective. Fuck that. Yeah. <laughs> hey, double Eche. It's always nice seeing you. Like double eche. Lock the doors. Hey, listen. I always fall upward. You know, I've never been demoted in anything I've ever done. I've only ever been promoted. Yep. What can I say? Some people are just good. And I'm one of them. Wait, shit. I did get fired from being sheriff, though. <laughs> They're definitely not the same kind of lost that I remember. They are. Mm -hmm. I. You would say they're they, lost. Honestly, yes. Do you have a relationship with Zorin in any way? Uh, Zorin, I believe, called me one time to be like, "Hey, Bruce is looking for you. We want to know what's going on between you and him. He kind of misses you." Jimbo, thanks uh, for twenty-three months. I had months. talked to them Appreciate in the past that, about man. possibly talking to Jerry for the mayor. No, we could was get elected the about subs their this bike shop I mean, that they wanted not to really open. That many. But then, like, their stories were all over the place. One guy wanted a bike shop. One guy wanted a repair shop. And then they were telling me confusing information, so I just kind of dropped it. Okay, so you never had any arguments with Zorin over the phone? Or any kind or of any... other relation at all? Nope. Okay. Why'd you do it? What? Why'd you do it? I didn't do it. Bullshit. <laughs> okay. Uh, are Have you been informed of the, uh, the full situation regarding... I... So I did make a report uh, about these text messages after I got a call from an unknown number saying that uh, 
some girl named Winnie told this guy to call me to tell me about somebody getting hurt at the yellow jack and because i got that after i got the text messages i said oh shit these are real so i went to sometimes i role play too hard boston i believe is his name and i filed a report with him because he was the he was the closest cop to me and i gave him pictures of i gave him screenshots of the texts the numbers the guy that called me after and all this stuff so i made sure to let them know and uh that was the last i heard about it you said uh zoran had a bit of a crush on you too right no no i don't i don't i didn't know zoran other than the times he would call me for uh bruce which was to complain i think behind his back and be like hey bruce is upset why don't you call him he bruce said and i quote he wanted me to be his old lady so Zorn was complaining a lot. I think Zorn was trying to help his I got president. I got like, hey, in my stream PC you know, now. That's how. Can you do this? And then I'd talk to Bruce and be like, "Do you know that he's calling me?" And he'd be like, "No, I didn't know he was calling you." Uh, did Zorn sound kind of disgruntled about it at all? No, he just seemed just kind of like, "Hey, can you call the boss?" Like he's kind of getting annoyed. I, I got a few I calls from them being Kermodo like, did. "Hey, call Bruce." Like I got calls from Zorin, some guy named Axel, and some girl named May, I believe. Okay. Uh, Lula, do you have any questions? Or Pred? I got a, I, I got a few, but they might have already been touched on. I just want to know. Go ahead and, Go ahead. and ask again. Yeah, I don't mind. All right, so real simple. I mean, here's the thing. I'm going to be straight up with you, all right? You're a POI. You're a person of interest in this, all right? What I want to do is I want to know what you were up to. You know, within that, there's like a two-hour gap where we just don't know what the fuck you were doing. Yeah, I can tell you my whole day. Like I said, uh, I woke up today at the hotel across the street from May's Bank. Then I got those texts. I ignored them originally because I thought it was a dumb prank. So I then went to the DMV, clocked on, Kermodo, went to Clock and Bell, fuck got up. myself some food. I then went to, uh, I think I went back to the DMV, met with Greco. Then he took me to VBD, which you guys were talking <laughs> for like an hour or so. And then we went to the state building and waited there for a while. And then you guys came and picked me up. You said you went to Clock and Bell sometime today, yeah? Yes. Around what I did, time was that? Uh, pro probably like three hours ago. You buy anything? Two. Yeah, I got a sandwich and a drink. My, my thirst would you, trap. Would you willingly let us look at your, you know, bank history for the day? Or are you gonna make us subpoena it? Yeah, you can. Well, so, who else was at Clock and Bell there when you were there? Wait, I did. I did go to a rally today. I, the the fucking dirt rally or the a, demo a rally. Rally. Yes. Over at the uh, the Redwoods. Yes, I was okay. there with uh, Melvin and some other people that showed up. I and don't they, know. They they can confirm the. Yes, were. yes, that was probably after. No, that was before I clocked on, and then met with Greco. So that was I went click a bell, got a text from Melvin saying, "Hey, the rally's going on." So I went there. Then I. Came back, clocked on, found Greco, and then that was the, kind of the start of my work day. Okay. And when you were at Clock and Bell, who was the, at Clock and Bell? Did uh, you uh, see anyone? I mean, I did see Bruce. I saw Bruce and some other guy. What did the other guy look like? Uh, lost jacket, generic, I don't know, Joe Schmo. Kind of hair generic the, uh, gloss guide was he a white guy <laughs> yes were <laughs> the sides of his head kind of shaved uh was he I... wearing like a hoodie underneath his cut color of his hair i don't uh i, I don't noticeable know noticeable features scars tattoos he had white hair white hair okay white short hair like white undercut like it was just like hair on like top. It was longer than mid length for a man. Your hair. So it was, mid. It was, 
If I shaved the side of my head right now, would that look like it? Yeah, if you like messed it up a little bit. Okay. All right. Did you talk what? with Bruce at all? No, I I generally don't Bart, like talking to the them. What's, did they try After to talk the to me with you? No. And it was just Bruce and that other guy there. Yeah, I saw their bikes out front too. Did you overhear anything? No, I didn't talk to them. They were in the back of the restaurant. Was there to get food? Is that is that all they were there for? I assume I wasn't really paying attention. I just when you saw say them back in the back of the restaurant. You know, did you see them there eating? Did you see them waiting in line? I think they were just talking to each other. There's some other guy there, I think they were talking to, but I don't know who it was. Did they not notice you at all or anything? I have no idea. Hard they didn't not look to at me. Notice Moxie. Very true. I'm extremely attractive. <laughs> the only reason I ask is given Bruce's previous statements towards you, you think he would make an approach when he saw you. Well, so the last convert, so something weird did happen between me and Bruce in the past. He came over to my apartment at Roach Motel and asked to stay there after we had gotten into these arguments. And I said, I don't feel comfortable with you here. I don't want you staying here. I really don't want to talk to you. And he just insisted that I owed him something, which I don't understand i i literally don't know these guys i i i don't i don't have any kind of deep connection with them at all and they think that i owe them something because i used to be hanging out with the lost like seven years ago would you say that bruce is a borderline stalker when it comes to you i wouldn't say stalker but he's not afraid to you know be like hey mama how, how you doing you know like he's He's not afraid to make his comments, but that was the first time he's ever been like, listen, take me to safety. But, but I don't know what he was running from. Mm -hmm. So I'm just like, listen, if you want to actually stay here, then fucking stay somewhere on the property. I don't know what you're doing or what's going on, but you can't stay in my room. And I kicked him out. Right. But he is clearly infatuated with you. Something like that. And then I got uh, the last contact I really had was from some guy named Axel, who was like... He texted me something like, uh, you know, your old lost. I think this was the pic. I took screenshots of this and I put it in that subpoena. Uh, you know, your old lost. You owe us. Come back to us. Stuff like that. And then I said, you know, I'm, I don't care for you. You're not the lost I remember. Shit like that. Okay. Do you know the I guy just, I, that was, uh, I, do you know the guy that was, that was killed? You know, I have no idea. Hold on. What were the uh, brother and sisters' names again? What were their last names? Do Burger. Do Burgers. Do you know the Do Burgers? That name sounds familiar. Uh, Melly Do Burger and Otis Do Burger, and I think they have another brother. Mm -hmm. I know. Is it Melly or May? Millie. I know a May. Melly Duberger, Otis Duberger, and Clyde Duberger. Those names are the no. Does she have an MDW? She does. Yes. Open up the MDW real quick. I need you to look up Axel Blackwood. Do I, do I have it on me? Oh, okay. I need to step out for a few minutes. You two got this? All right, I'll be right back. Oh, that's yeah, that's the guy that I saw at the burger shop. It is. Yes. And it was just guy. him and Bruce. No one. It's else. Him and Bruce. Yeah. No, no one, one else. A little bit no of an inconsistency here. Either. No one. Just two bikes and two guys. Okay. I, when's, so, do you have what's your relationship with Axel? Uh, he was one of the ones that randomly messaged me. Uh, so you weren't here for this conversation earlier, but uh, there was a issue where they thought I was giving information to Greco about them, but I, I literally don't, I didn't know them. I don't know, you know, <laughs> I, I have no care in the world for them. They're not on my radar of life, but they insist that I'm telling Greco these things about them for some reason. I think because of Bruce being some kind of obsessive. Let me, but, all right, uh, so here, uh, let me, let me just take a line of questioning here real quick. All right. Okay. So your relationship with them is, they know you, but you don't want to know them. You would yes. say that almost 
the that gang kind of looks at you as some type of affiliate affiliated to some degree but you're not affiliated to some degree according to you yes originally uh our relationship was i wanted to reach out a hand and help them because i kind of wanted to have kind of a higher status of sorts in sandy to help people out stuff like that and consistency uh one of the things that people noted was uh i helped start up the roach motel so they thought I could help with businesses. And so I'm like, I could put a word out, something like that, you know. But they expected that I could just do things. But I, I don't have that power. And so... They, they wanted uh, to utilize you in a way that benefited they, them. I think so. And they kept talking about some mechanic shop or bike shop. And the Zorin guy was... He messaged me talking about how he wanted it to be across the street at route 68 but then some other guy was like that's a bad idea why are you talking to it and talking to any of my lost members instead of me i know where it's going that was bruce bruce called me and said don't talk to anybody else i know where everything goes i know this yeah, and that and the other thing and i'm just like okay then so fine. He almost like he's, at Zorin. yeah he almost subjugated what he was saying he like he, completely wanted you to ignore it exactly and, when did this, and he, this was probably a week or two ago Okay. But do you know who Zor- Zor- Zorin is? Do you know who he is? I, I don't. I, I don't. Open up MDW and uh, pull up Zorin Alexander. All right? Z-O-R-A-N. 5227. 5227 is the state ID. I believe I've seen this guy in passing. I generally, I think the only time I've ever seen him was at the Cluck and Bell. When did you see this guy at the Cluck and Bell? not today it was probably i don't know just like throughout the week Do they frequent the cluck and bell is that like their i think place they work they there yeah uh fred look at the let me let me get the report for you let's give you the report number uh two six one three Six what? And, uh, six one. Say it again. Or, yeah, six one three. Two six one three. And if you go down, you'll find a list of uh of the lost, and you'll find Zora in there, and his relation to Cluck and Bell and Burger Shot. I know the Lost used to work at Burger Shot because uh, of that one incident with what's her name. I I don't remember. She had the short, short hair. Short hair. And she used to say she managed that Burger Shot, and then I think she got stabbed. Uh, I'm uh, just say. No clue. No clue. You're talking about. Cause I used to work at Burger Shop. And I don't. I don't remember. What time was this rally? Uh, probably two hours ago. Who was there? Me, Melvin, a couple mechanics. I think from that Dino place. Dino repair. It's on Route sixty eight. There's a bunch of people from Route sixty eight. It was a rather small one. This one. Hat, hat Carl. <laughs> Uh, Jethro was there. How long did it last? Probably an hour. They were going to keep going, but I wanted to go back to work. So I left after one one little rally. I won, actually. Got $200. Okay. How'd you get, you get paid cash? Uh, I got paid through my little digital thing. So you said that you would voluntarily give us your bank records for the day just so we can corroborate your your alibi here, right? Yep. All right, perfect. Um, I think the only payment I got today was Uh, my... No, but if you are going to voluntarily give your bank statements, I'm going to need your PIN code. From my bank or my phone? Your phone, so I can get to your... uh, your Uh, I think it is... Uh, 
I never use it, but I have it written down on a little piece of paper. Uh, in the I pocket. can give you your phone and you can just change it. Okay. If that works. Right. Yeah. Uh, no, I have no further questions. And as far as I'm concerned, uh, that'll be the end of this interrogation. Hold on. Let's just uh, let us just go talk friends? outside real quick. And then yeah. uh, this, you don't mind waiting here a little longer. I don't mind. I'm going to look up my pin. You good? You good? Okay. I was stretching. Airtight, no inconsistencies from what I heard. Yeah. I mean, uh, um, the clock and bell thing. That's that's good info. The clock real and bell good. thing is good info because it kind of but it kind of good info because puts her all there. the other ones. Everyone else, Melly, Otis, and Look Axel. Both, yeah, excluded her, but they all said they were at Cluck and Bell when they weren't. But she can confirm. What she can she confirm because she, she only see she only saw Bruce there. and Axel. Yep. Means what were the other two doing? Exactly. Mm. Whole thing looks. I don't think she's a person of interest anymore. Out of all honesty. I, I, I honestly didn't think Moxie would have done it, it off the off the get go, but you just you never know with people. I have no idea where Lula and them went. Yeah, where is Lula? No clue. It's gonna be a hard case to work. Because yeah. uh don't have don't, these are the good ones, them. though, Fred. These, these are the kind of cases that are like chef's kiss. It'd be even more chef's kiss if we had casings and and blood. But we don't. I think that just sucks. So. Wow, yeah, it's an unfortunate thing. But, you know, we'll work with what we got and uh, be the detectives that we can be. I think... So here's what I'm starting to think, all right? So, yeah, let's narrow down the time of death, right? Let's, let's, what we got to do is we got like enough information today. We can narrow down the estimated time of death. Okay. Yeah. Me and Lula, we're going to work on that after uh, we went through all the it, recordings. It looks like to me that it wasn't Axel and that it wasn't the guy that's the president. What it looks nope. like is if they were there, they weren't there long. And potentially, during the time at the Cluckin' Bell, when they're grouped together, maybe that's, like, the time of death, and then somehow they meet up at that point. Like, after yeah. that point. Which it looks like they did meet up at the hospital. But they probably only met up at the hospital because Boston, you know, notified, you know, the people. I still think Axel was involved in... Where's the guy's phone? The dead body's phone. Do we have that? Uh, that is one of our most... Report. Okay. Is it in evidence, Should be. though? Should be. Because uh, Boston was the one that... I swear to God, if that phone that. is not in evidence, I'm going to fucking go down to the morgue. I am going to fucking lose my shit. Let's see here. Oh... He are you, are you ready, Fred? He yeah. cataloged his belongings, but he did not confiscate any of his belongings. So you get that fucking phone. Yeah, yeah. All right. Not that big of a deal. We can always fucking subpoena it. For all we know, he could have had a burner phone on him. Could have had anything. How the fuck didn't that guy grab the dead body's phone? I don't know. It's kind of like... <sighs> be real honest with you, Prez. It would be real just... helpful to know who texted him last. There's a lot of, There's him. a lot of, like... There's a lot of uh, just basic police work 
that seems to not get done. We need yeah. to get, all right, listen, priority. Trying to narrow down to time and death, all right, within, and just narrow it down within an hour, right? Yeah. That's, that's what we'll operate off of. And we need to get the victim's phone. I cannot, this John Boston guy has made this case so fucking ridiculously difficult. What happened well, now? We, uh, John Boston uh, he left a dead the... body with his phone. Yeah, he cataloged his belongings, but he didn't take his phone. And I Oh had my assumed... god, we were right there. Yeah, but I mean, I had assumed... I had to... Oh my god, I guess I'm just going to assumed... have to start walking all over people again. <laughs> you know? If, if you catalog the belongings, fault. I, I no, assume this... that he fucking took the phone. This is my fault. I should have said something. This is my fault. It's no, not your no, guys' fault. It's, it's mine. Just as much as our fault. I mean, we were right fucking We were right the there, body. but we just thought he would I know how to do his job. It would be helpful. Real, uh, so what we got to do, we got to get that phone. We're not going to enter it immediately, right? We still have to, you know, make sure everything's good because last thing you want to do is obtain information illegally. That's not a good look for a new budding detective part. We got to make sure we do everything right. Yeah. Like, even her phone, you know, her bank records, I say we just put the subpoena in and say she gave us permission and get it that way instead of looking at her fucking phone. Or we could do it in front of Greco and just... Eh, here's the thing. I'm a kind of, uh... The way that these people kind of want things done is they want us to go through all the processes the way they're intended and not, yeah. like, circumvent. So, but we need... To get this fucking phone. Um, I say we cut Moxie out of here. And we yeah, head down to Zona. Clear. Yeah, There's the quicker, even a chance the, the doctor we, uh, might have cleared all his belongings out of the, out the body and threw him in the trash. Yep. There, yep. There's that. Okay. Alright, so let's get Moxie out of here and then let's head down to Zona. Right. I am so pissed that's off. All, that's my fault. That's my fault. I should have. It's not. It's mine. I you weren't even said there. Something. You weren't there. I was there. there. I should have said something. You. I You're being there. sarcastic right now. No, I'm not. I should have said something. Rapture, thanks for the gifts up. I do need to talk to Boston again. What? used it to get my friends okay. they texted oh. people through my phone to get I my friends to test that. we were there you were there you there. were there i was there you were there with maddox it was maddox oh yeah i wanted nothing you, to do with that you were there yeah i wanted nothing to do with that i'll have you know that i didn't agree nor was i okay with I, it's that fine. entire situation I but what happened with maddox and that was that was my fault uh, Maddox took her phone and just used it to to catch her friends. Okay, well that's was, a right. That's a major rights violation. I gave him permission to use my phone, but I wasn't aware he was going to text my friends with it. And then he didn't what give it you, back. What do you mean so. he was asked to use your phone and you said, "Hey, use he, it." He well, he said that he would give me uh, t it's either time or money off of my charge. This was like way back. Uh, and he said he would if I let him use my phone, he would give me time off of my shit. So I was like, sure, I have it's nothing very, to hide. It's like a bare bones statement. Even if you agree to that, that doesn't give him permission to actually but, go uh, into your phone. You know how much he took off of my charge? How much? One dollar. One dollar. Sounds like Maddox. Yeah. What the fuck kind of shit is that? Uh, but that's that's how I met Maddox, and so that's why I torment him every time I see him, and I tell everybody no, I mean, I'm his sister. You should sue him for that. I mean, here's the thing: he could. What is he taking your phone for? Me. So, I so what did he? What got, was the verbiage? Tell me the verbiage he used. Can I have? If your... you let, if you let me use your phone, or no, he he saw my phone was ringing constantly because I was behind bars, and he's like, I really wish I could answer this. I really wish this could happen. And then he said, you should let me use your phone. Actually, I think he called in if he had permission to use my phone first. For what, And though? then Permission to use your phone for what? I That's think not how to cops operate. That's not what find... cops do. What I gang have, members I... do. 
this was like I said, this was like when I first came back to the city, like a long time ago. And then I got a lawyer to try to get my phone back. And he basically just told me, well, you're out of luck. Cause you, I, I just told him uh, he could do it. No, you didn't tell him he could do anything. As far as you were aware, he could have just been seizing the phone. He Maybe quite literally recorded me saying, I give him permission to use my phone. That doesn't, that's a, such a broad <laughs> fucking statement. That's not how cops operate. That's how Speaking cops phones, do. Lula has your phone. Lula? Oh. It's like me I saying, do have, I'm going to use your phone. I have a question phone. for Moxie, though. Yeah. Um, do you want to go back? or Yes, we need to go back so we can get okay. on recording. Yeah. All right, I'm going to go take care of that one thing. Okay. Thank you. I don't like that. I really don't like that. not slimy it's corrupt I'm very thorough about the way I play police officer on Onyx. I like to, I do things, uh, listen, I might be a dickhead, but I try to do everything right. I, I don't like that. I'm not a fan of that. I do not like that. It's not about, what do you mean? There's tons of legislation that protects people. You can't make broad stroke statements as an officer and try and operate with, you know, use that as a reason to operate. Uh, I don't like that. If I was the sheriff, I'd fire someone for that for sure. I don't like that. On my way, self-driving car. Yeah, purpose. What do you think of that? You you heard that? If that's actually true, that's fucked up. And how uh, they're going to have different salary levels hey, for each. Hey, uh, I think I can die. Yeah, I think I can grab you. Sorry, a I hate to interrupt. Yeah, sure. Hey, Ludwig. What's, what's the other water called that's like cleared of all the? Mm, I don't know if she can touch holy water as a witch. Is she a vampire? Yeah, exactly. A vampire is like water, running water. Right? You got, a, you got like a place we can go talk real quick? Uh, we can go to room two here. Perfect. You know, you're always, a, you're always a joy to work with. I know that sounded sarcastic, but it's true. No problem, no problem. So I got a question oh, for you. So, um, were you here when uh, the dead body was brought in a couple hours ago? Zorin? Uh, the, yeah, I was here. Gotcha. Now, his belongings, did you guys grab them? Because I know the cop didn't, because he fucked up. And uh, nope, we didn't grab anything, so it might be so with still on the, the body cold still storage. On the body. Yeah. Gotcha. We need to. Uh, there's a phone on that body that we need. Mm -hmm. So, uh, um, yeah. I'm not really sure exactly how we go about, you know, covering. Uh, that. There's a funeral plant, but uh, let's see. You can mark it on the profile also. That when the body gets uh, forwarded to the uh, funeral service, that we make sure to get that phone before, before that, that happens. I mean, as soon as that body yeah. is pulled out of cold storage, I need that yeah. phone. And yeah. You guys think you can Go try ahead. and prioritize this? Try and, you know, make sure that uh, happens? Because we, we need... It is imperative to the case. Yeah. 
Uh, I'll mark it on the report and make it known with the doctors we have around. You can, I can tell Dr. Q here that you can put it in our notice board. So it's top priority. Phone calls out, okay. Hey, what's up? Hey, are you in the hospital? Yeah, I'm talking to the doctor right now. Uh, the same one that did the autopsy? Uh, I believe so. Did you conduct the autopsy, sir? Yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah, I am. Uh, can you get that autopsy attached to you, me, and Walker, please? Yeah, can you get that uh, autopsy to Lula McCoy, Walker McCoy, and Kyle Pred when it's uh, finished? Then make sure you That's guys uh, try and get that phone. We, we need to get the phone off that body. I appreciate it. I know it's not really, it's more of a PD fuck up, but I'm trying to, I'm counting on you guys to salvage this one deputy's yeah. fuck up today because a guy fucked up majorly and we are paying the price for it. It's my fault. Yeah, understandable. It is. Baby steps. Okay, Lula McCoy and... Walker McCoy. Walker McCoy. Okay. I appreciate okay. it. Yep. Yep. I'll mark it and notify all the doctors. Yep. Is that all for all for now? I yep. Suppose. Yep. That's everything. Thank you Alrighty. so much, sir. Yeah. No problem. Lots of people at the hospital, huh? Fred left the LSSD because he got offered a senior detective position. That's where I want to take the role play. Hub, thanks for the five bomb. I appreciate that. Ah, ah. Look, I can bang out 10 hour streams like they're nothing, Chad, but. I did 10 hours today, and I only got four hours of sleep. Ah, Connie's never alone. I just feel like this was something that Pred couldn't turn down. Plus, it's the direction I want the RP to go. No, but... I do enjoy the county. I enjoy the county a lot. I only slept 14 hours today. Are, are you okay? All right, so uh, I, good news, I mean, bad news. I'm willing to admit we fucked up, but that's not on us. I mean, he he cataloged his pockets, Catalog but didn't take the phone. I, I just I hate fucking up so bad. Well, you didn't fuck up. That's what I'm saying. It's like, yeah, it's, you know, we should have looked again, but we assumed that since he had cataloged everything in his fucking pockets, that he had confiscated at least the phone. He did probably didn't even GSR test the body to see if there was a fucking struggle. So, I mean. I did. I took DNA. I took fingerprints and I GSR tested. I just didn't. I didn't take his things. And that's my fault. That's that's a my fuck up. But uh, I take responsibility on that. We'll, we'll, we'll fix it. We'll get it handled. So what, what, what did the doctor say? Doctor said everything should be on the body. Make all the doctors aware. 
bodies out of cold storage. They're getting that phone. Don't, we don't 100% need the phone, but man, it'd be a lot better it would than help. having to go the route. It would help. But it's bedtime for me now. Sleepy time. Yeah. Thanks yeah. for your help. Have a no good night. No problem. Let's Appreciate just narrow it, down the. We all, let's just. We've done pretty much everything we can do. Let's just kind of organize information. Refresh the investigative report, friend. Oh, yeah, we're going through all of it right now. Oh, okay. It's the investigation report 4473. Okay. All right, perfect. Oh, so there's nice. an action plan. Yeah, that's good. That's great. Burger, Bruce Teller. That's already been done, right? The subpoena for the phone records. We already put that. Yeah, in. just awaiting the. Uh, yeah, just results. waiting for them to uh, fucking approve it. Fact is, we got to rely on Deputy Boston giving us a timeline of events now. Gee, holy fuck. Um, if you need anything for, I have texts from Moxie. Just she texted me today saying she was worried. Told me about a report number. I can take screenshots and give it to you. It's just mostly just her saying uh, she tried to report something to the police. Moxie's statement now by checks out. I mean, we can confirm that yeah. with the rally. With the okay, that yeah, if you're good on that, morning. I just it's a little more like uh, substance to yeah. her being able to cover her ass. That's that's good. I mean, it's if you feel if you feel it's necessary, then you should definitely add it. Just so no, nope, can... I have I I've, I'm not <laughs> I'm not updated on your shit at all i just uh offered that up in case you wanted it all right so we need to narrow down the timeline of death we need to organize the recordings and the information in them we need to try and find out what the biggest discrepancies are with the interviews of axel millie and otis so we can pounce upon them in a re-interrogation Okay, so that's where that's where you really start. Once we organize everything, get the timeline set up to what we think based off their testimony and where the discrepancies lie. Also coordinating that with alongside Moxie's testimony. Then we bring them in for reinterrogation. Um, well, actually, well, the fact that they I left out being at the Yellow Jacket all that day is is no. Or, concern. or even saying that they were at the clock and bell when they weren't. We still have to wait for the phone records and we have to wait for the phone. And then we have to subpoena the phone records for the dead guy's phone. So yeah. uh, that should be Zoran Alexander's uh, phone numbers listed. You also missed it. Tonight. You also What's missed that? it, but there's three different phone numbers that were contacting her. Yeah. So we have uh, more subpoenas. Perfect. So just real quick. Um, are those phone numbers like the people who were at the hospital? Like, did we uh, just check those numbers to see if it's like Millie's and stuff like Not that? Not yet. We just got that info. Here, I'll, I'll, I'll yeah. check it. Uh, we, we can check it right now. I'm pulling up uh, Millie Dewberger. Just give me the uh, last four of the three in a second. Let me check up Millie. All right, Millie. All right, so uh, her last four digits of her phone number are 8074. Nope. Nope. Okay, and then who's the... Uh, let me just... Otis Dewberger. Otis Dewberger. Okay. All right. Last four digits are 8011. Nope. Okay. Now here's what we do. Okay. To the gang intelligence. Uh, we have some listed names there. Cheryl Dewberger. 7036 is the state ID. So I'm going to pull that up real quick. All right. Last four digits are 7997. Nope. Okay, let me go back to the gang intelligence. Uh, 3878, Bruce Teller. One second, that's his state ID. Bruce Teller. Uh, he does not have a phone number listed, and that's the guy who we, who we believe is in charge of the lost, right? So, Yeah, that's the pre file, El Presidente. Right? Okay. Go back to gang intelligence. That's really all the people we have listed under the confirmed members of the lost. So, potentially, the dossier is growing for the lost. Uh Axel Blackwood, last four digits, 1820. No. Uh, one of the numbers on here belongs to Winnie. 
What do you mean? He what? did confirm that. All we have is the name Winnie. That's all. That's all we got. Let me pull something up and let me just look this up. Winnie's kind of a fucking stupid. Winnie Wallace, Winnie Wispbloom. Class four, three, two, eight, six. Yep, that's it. Confirmed Winnie Wispbloom. All right, so what we can do then? Yell, priors, only reckless driving, third degree speeding, weapons license, hunting license, fishing license. Drives a Cheberic, gang intelligence. I mean, uh, what's her what, profile what was number? The, what was the con uh, profile number? One zero six nine. What was her? Um, what is Winnie Wispbloom's? What is a text message from Winnie Wispbloom? Like, what is that saying to? Wasn't Mox? a text message. Phone Moxie call? said that someone. Wait, Walker. This is the girl that was a receptionist down in the morgue. Are you serious? Wait, say again. She was a receptionist, and she was down in the morgue. They used to be working out of the, the Little Soul gas station. So Winnie Wispbloom was on scene working with the doctor in the morgue? He, they were standing outside the door, three of them, all three from the Little Soul. I guess they don't work there anymore, and now they're re receptionist at Zona. So she's, she's taking information oh. from the hospital and contacting other individuals about violation. I'm going to leave her tab open here because I think yeah. that we should yeah. not. She's not a person's of interest, but she's someone that might have information. So we should get her added to. The and that's releasing informa information on an investigation to individuals. So let's get it down onto the onto the report that we've confirmed Winnie Wispbloom's number trying to contact Moxie around the time of death or around the estimated time of death. I mean, actually, just for now, we just put Winnie Wispbloom tried to contact Mo Moxie. And then once we narrow down the time of death, then we can narrow down when that phone call happened. Uh, well, when we get the coroner's report back, that'll that'll help a lot of that shit. And the coroner's report ain't going to get us the exact time of death, will it? Yeah, it'll get us close to it, though. Okay. All right, so I like your plan. I like the... Um, fuck. I'm trying to think of what is, like, the smartest thing to do here. Give me a second. All right, so what I would do... I would put off interviewing Clyde and Bruce. I would wait until we get the subpoena on the records and get, and get the information that's on Zorin's phone. I would speak yeah, I wanna, with Deputy if, Boston. When that interrogation the comes, I want to be able to hit him with everything we got. Yeah. Um, but right now, our persons of interest, based on like the testimony that we've heard and the inconsistencies, it's looking like it's the fucking burgers might have been the one that did it. Maybe even Millie. Axel had the most to gain from this. Axel's Axel the one Blackwood. That... Yeah. He's, He's the one VP that's now. the new VP now. They did that pretty yeah, quick, he, didn't they? Yep. Yeah. And they Almost also, he's the one that admitted that they had been at the Yellow Jack earlier that day. The other ones left that conveniently out of their statements. So maybe Bruce and Axel head on down to the, what was it, Clucking Bell, right? After the killing? I doubt it would be before. The other, ones, thing. You... the other ones take the shit, get rid of it, head to the fucking to Zona. They all meet up there. That's that's a stretch and a half. All the other all the other individuals stated that Bruce and Clyde left together from the Cluck and Bell. And then ten minutes later they got a call about Zoran or whatever the fuck his name is. The dead guy. It's safe to assume that he, was, that he was dead before then. So he was yeah. dead uh, while they were at the clucking bell then. Okay, we need to figure out who the original caller was. So in Boston's report, it says he answered a 301 where a panicked woman stated, there's so much blood. Oh my God, so much blood. Caller finally told the deputy what location she was talking about and the deputy drove to the Yellow Jack. Did he there's document nothing in the his 301 report. Mm -hmm. Fuck. I'm not seeing it.
Then when he got there, there was no woman there. There was, uh, from what his report says, that's why I need to talk to Boston. Who is the woman that found him, and why wasn't she there when he showed up? Funktron, thanks for the fifty-seven months. All right, let's uh, tomorrow. Let's come together, reconvene. Are, are we able to all have copies of the recording? Yeah, we can get it all, all done out. I'll just like uh, we'll just when me and uh, watch Lula that get shit at two X speed. Yeah, Trust yeah. Me and, <laughs> that's what you do. When me and Lulu get done, uh doing what we need to do to him then we'll just add him to the uh report but here's my recommendation all right recommendation from me is that we don't talk to clyde or bruce until we have more information and then once we have more information we could talk to them and then re-interview uh the other three yeah uh, does that sound Agreed. good to you guys we would like it's gonna yeah. not gonna probably not it's not gonna be somewhere we'll be able to do tomorrow i don't think Sounds like a plan to me. All right, and then what are other cases that we need to look into? Uh, this is the only one that I've got right now. Uh, I'm working on the gang intelligence master file for Metzger. Yeah, that's what he told me to work on, too. All right, well, then I'll get with you tomorrow, and we'll work on that together. Mm, the thing about the gang intelligence master thing is that it, it would get filled out a lot easier if it was a department, like a department effort. Two people it trying is. to fill out a fucking, you know, even the only thing it is, it's been, it's, to... I've, I've mentioned it in meetings multiple yeah. times that if, yeah. uh, if people get intel, they can put it in there. And then we have our own separate ones, uh, so that we can disseminate what's put into the general one and then well, put it the into last... ours. Well, Burton, when's the last time has anyone gone through the tags? Like the, uh, Metzger's you know, constantly going through the tags. Yeah. I just okay. got the lost MC tag added like yesterday or two days ago. Um, because uh the fucking i arrested one of the one of those brothers oh i mean here's what happened all right here's what we do okay um moxie said something about they wanted to get a bike shop right so you know maybe it wouldn't be a bad idea to go to the mayor's office see if there's like a business proposal for some bike shop from like bruce teller or some shit see what's attached to that maybe he has maybe we'll get lucky he has an employee sheet right and that's that's a good place to start trying to, I mean, if it's a lost bike shop, who's going to fucking work there? The lost, right? So that might help us out with the lost. Yeah, you can do that. All right, I got to go to bed. This was good work, though. I'm proud of you. I'm going to go have a drink Appreciate and pass out, and I'm going to go beat animals with a club in Pal World. Fifty-seven months is a long time, Funktron. Seven months is a long fucking time. I like the investigative stuff. It's like a puzzle. You know? I like that. Ooh, new badge in two weeks. Good for you. You are an OG. thing is now what they're probably doing now is they're they actually have time to get their stories straight now then when you crawl when you re-examine them right when you re when you re-talk to Millie about it or you re you know re-talk to all of them especially when you have more information you can really kind of wean some shit out I don't think we'll get a conviction though I don't think this is the type of case you get a conviction because you don't have, you don't know what the murder weapon is. But you don't always need a murder weapon to get a conviction. 
I mean, you can press charges based off interrogations and stuff like that, but at the end of the day, they don't say it on the stand. It's fucking pointless. How long has Whippy been subbed for? I'm not sure. A long time. What level am I? I haven't been playing. I'm not going to play Power World. I'm going to go play Tears of the Kingdom. Yeah, so one of the things that makes... Uh, Alright, so... Here's why detective units in the past never always kind of ended bad. Too many of them. They're not able to work together. They withhold information from each other. They pigeonhole cases. Okay? If you have a small group of detectives working with each other, you'll get a lot more done, and the RP will be a lot better. I got my rebel up north. Now my trailer's up here, and so is my fucking rebel. Alright guys, I am going to wrap up the stream, all I'm going to do is grab my trailer and go park it at the beach or some shit, maybe make an outfit or two, I'm going to sit here and relax a bit, I'll see you guys tomorrow at 9am CST, hit Carl the Matador, bounty hunter extraordinaire, alright guys, have a good one.